till the very next day. Bum, 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 ba, dum. Hello, Wink. Hello, Amy. Hey, you silver. How's everyone doing today? Stop working the day away myself, Ink. Lots to plan, lots to do, little time to do it. Steven, hello, thank you for the resub. How you doing? Ah, yeah, very, very busy, Amy, very busy. We've got a real big month coming along for April. I may not be streaming as much on YouTube, but we'll definitely be live a hell of a lot over on Twitch if you ever want to come along over there and hang on out. But lots of things are going to be happening next month. Messing up your sleep schedule? You're as bad as me, Stephen. Let's be honest, my, my sleeping pattern is half and half. I'm half nocturnal and half normal. How messed up is your sleeping pattern? Wait, hold on. Is it three in the morning for you, Stephen? Just, just a wild guess. Is it three in the morning? Five. I woke up at 2 p.m. 1, 1 p.m. 2 p.m. Something like that. Currently midnight. Ah, okay. Hello, Maz. How is everybody doing today? Welcome on in, everyone. I hope you're all having a wonderful and fantastic time today. Doing some chill Pokemon streams, mostly because I'm exhausted. And I'll be honest, Pokemon is so easy to do. It doesn't require a hell of a lot. I can chill and relax. And overall... It's exciting when we get something, and it's slowly working towards our goal for the ultimate Pokemon Home Pokedex. We, if you are not familiar, have a very big event coming in April. Not all the details are out. I am trying to make it, uh, trying to make the, um, what would you call it? The incentive sheet? Something like that? Trying to make that, uh, to show everything that's going to be happening, what the plan is. 
The main thing is that it's going to be a fund. Uh, my computer is not holding up. Seven years old, uh, processor and motherboard wise, I am on an Intel. And as you've noticed, my streams have been a little bit laggy. They're struggling because all the things that I want to do, while fancy and fantastic, are taxing. So I'm having to bite the bullet. Finances are tight. So we're going to be doing a fun stream to try and help build a better computer. I only need a few components. I don't need to build a whole computer. So that's the good news. And for the entirety of April, I'm like, you know what? I can do way more than that. We don't just need better equipment for the streams. We need the assets for the streams too. So we're going to be doing the emotes. Going to be making more videos that we can release on the TikTok and YouTube because I have been slow with them. I've just been so busy. We're going to finish off a lot of the pre-subfest, uh, like post-subfest, sorry, rewards. Get done all that pixel art. Maybe do some of those horror games. We've got a lot planned and I want to spend it all with you. We're going to be going back to our roots. It's going to be a bit more over on Twitch side of things. We're going to have song requests enabled. We're going to be bringing words on stream back. I swear I'm doing it. <laughs> You'll fight my PC to help make it work. I'm fighting everything I can, Steve, and I'm fighting so much on it. You have no idea. But yeah, so I want to make a lot more things. Uh, I want to make it more enjoyable for you all because it's all about you guys here. It's not about me. Yes, words on stream. Ever since I've moved to YouTube, Stephen, I have stopped words on stream because... If I do words on stream, I can't do it for both YouTube and Twitch. And it's unfortunate. If I could have it for both, that'd be fantastic. So, because during on April, we're going to be not exclusively on Twitch, but we're going to be on Twitch way more than YouTube. We're going to be bringing a lot of those things back. So, I have a lot of plans. I hope it's going to be enjoyable for everyone. And, Maz, I know you're going to be excited about this. If we reach a certain milestone on the incentives, I will do a 24-hour stream. On top of that, I'm either going to be doing a Patreon slash Kofi. I started setting it partially up, but I need to do more research. I need to figure out what's going to happen. The merch store. How long have I been talking about the merch store? The biggest issue of why I haven't gone forward with the merch store is mostly because my model is in the process of being upgraded into a high 4K definition model with all the bells and whistles that are going to have way more to it so that you have a greater quality on everything. However... That's not to say that I can't build the merch store, but not sell the merch and get you guys to see what we're going to have on offer, what's even going to be available, and basically go from there. So, April's going to be a big thing. I hope to get the proper document set up and done to show you all. But, without further ado, let's play some games, let's relax, and let's just enjoy the time together. <laughs> You have to get your shit together if words are coming back. It's been a long time, hasn't it, Stephen? It has been a long time. Ah, <sighs> well, if you just saw that transition, you could see that it was solo. Quilly, get your fingies up in your head pads and thank Jackie you for the 13 months. Rave. How are you doing, sweetheart? It is good to see you. Too long. It's lagging, it's stuttering, it's struggling. So that's another reason we need to do this fund because I'm I'm becoming more and more limited day by day. This beautiful beast of a PC has done me well. It has tried its absolute best. Sadly, it's old. It's old and it needs to be upgraded. Is Marbles returning? Marbles never went away. But yeah, we will absolutely be doing Marbles. We're going to be doing some community games along the way. 100% Maz, 100%. So I can do that on the side. There's been a little thing that I've been looking at too, which is like fishing. Appreciate the hugs. Anyway, we found a Snivy outbreak today, randomly. So I'm going to focus on this little guy because I don't have him at all. Haven't killed off the 60 yet, so we're going to continue doing that for the meantime. So how's the... I, I assume you're back uh, in the States now, Stephen. How's it going for you being home? And head pats? Yes, actually. Believe it or not, Stephen, headpats will make a return on a certain milestone. I have made that. I have mentioned that. It is in my document. I do plan to bring it back. Just like the KFC bucket has also returned. So I want to do a lot. I want to make the streams more enjoyable, more redeemed, more everything for all of you. That's what I plan to do. As long as people are nice, as long as people are nice, headpats will stay. But we'll have to see. It's been interesting. Interesting in a good way or a negative way. That's the important thing that I'm curious about. Do 
Still not quite settled. Give it a little bit more time. I know you've done a lot. You've missed the bucket. The bucket was so abused earlier on, but I think I've got it in a good state where it's nice now. But the bucket will also go through some changes in the future. A again, with the 2.0 model, which is still in development. I'll see if I actually do more design work with it. Tia, hello, beautiful. It's good to see you. How are you doing, hun? Just to get clarification, chat, ASMR is back on the redemption. I can't remember if I re-enabled it or not. Back when I was doing like a really low energy kind of day or giving giving a week to see like, how does it feel to... What's the word I'm looking for? You know, just continually have my voice like this for everyone and seeing if that was nice. Angel, hello. It's good to see you. Welcome on in. There's not many left in the original outbreak, which means we are ready. My head has protected. Throw all the balls you want. I will remain safe. Ah, oh, I've been very busy. Warn you when I'm going to do that? No, I will not warn you when I'm going to do it because I love making you feel good. And sometimes surprises are some of the best things in life. So with that, you will deal. You're all the sweaty balls? Why sweaty? Why are you... Are you, are you that clammy holding onto all the balls there? Hello, Mordred. So soggy, you say. You do have an interview tomorrow? Oh, that's very exciting. Fingers crossed that everything goes well for you, Stephen. You're so tired that the voice doesn't affect you. The voice is probably affecting you. It's probably making you more sleepy. Let's be real. Snivy's going to be a little tricky to find the shiny. He's a bit darker than the rest. But his colours are very samey. We just need to look for that odd one out. Which hopefully won't take too long. You slept eight hours already? Sounds like you've slept well. We've no bucket. There is no borrow. There is KFC, man. <laughs> bucket doesn't last that long. You only slept two hours last night. I slept like three hours, woke up, and then I got a bit more sleep. But my sleeping pattern is going bad. By the way, chat, I ordered some food for myself at four because that's roughly when I woke up. I, well, actually, that's a lie. I woke up at three. I was on a phone call for a good while, and then I'm like, I haven't eaten. I need food. We found a shiny already, by the way, guys. Look at that. Just casually chilling, and within the first five minutes of hunting, look at this beautiful beast. Right off the bat, this is perfect. Um, Yeah, anyways, I ordered food at about four o'clock. And... Um, Taken an hour and 15 minutes, still not here. And by the way, it's down the road. So it's just a bit of a pain in the backside. Hello, Peon. The balls make your hands all clammy. You gotta dry them off. Flint Lockwood? What's that supposed to be? Is that like Leroy Jenkins? That's what I feel like you're just doing right now, Mordred. Decided to make another playthrough of Monster Hunter. Ugh. Why would you do that to yourself? As much as I love Monster Hunter, I never want to restart my games. I have made far too much progress. I just can prefer to continue killing all the monsters. Looks like RNG gods are on my side today. It's about time, because we did last stream, Amy, when we were doing DAs, not a single shiny in sight. Just no luck. So it's very good that we've got that now. Angel Wolf, it's good to see you, lovely. Welcome on in. How are you? You had Pizza Hut for dinner, but no pizza. Had an Italian ziti? Oh, cheese sticks. I have been loving some mozzarella cheese sticks. Absolutely delicious. Just mmm. Yum, 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 yum. I wouldn't mind some mozzarella cheese sticks, but I tell you what. They can certainly make me feel very ill with too much of them. Nice sentient green onion. Are we talking about an oddish here, Munchlax? He's no onion. He's a schneck. It's alright, he's a lovable schneck that we love. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm just trying to check on my food, see where it is, and see if I can get a hold of it. Is it available? We got him in a friend ball. B E A U T full. There's our first one. Well, now we need two more. Beep, 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 Preparing my order. Okay. It is not ready. Well, one down. Let's save that. Question is, does he have a mark? Can I boop the snoot of the snack? I don't know if I can boop the snoot of the snack. I can try to boop the snoot of the snack. No mark, unfortunately. Nice moves, though. Giga Drain, Gastro, Leaf Storm, Coil. I do like a lot of those. Yeah, so he's he's different enough, but I still need to keep my eyes peeled to make sure that I don't miss him anywhere. Let's pull him back. So there was something also that I was on eBay early on today, chat. And I was so close to purchasing a an audio interface. So one of my stream upgrades, and this is going to be a stretch goal. This isn't for my PC specifically, but it's to get an audio interface and to upgrade my microphone. I've been finding a lot of the things that I've been wanting. It's it's called a Rodecaster, by the way, either a Pro uh, 2 or a Pro Duo. Um, they go for about $800. I'm never expecting that for a long time, but I was on eBay and I was seeing it go for about $300 odd dollars. I was very close to picking it up today. Very, very close. Didn't quite get there. Um... But uh, there's another one that's on sale that I'm eyeing off, and I'm hoping that I might be able to get a hold of it. So fingers crossed. You realize the problem to your question? <laughs> and what is the problem with your question? Of course I've unlocked the club room. Of course I have. How are you doing, Jenny? It's good to see you. I was having a chat with Hazy earlier on uh, about... Well, because we raided into Hazy about all the shinies that I ended up getting uh, the day that you helped me out. He got it. I was there. I was there for it, Jenny. I turned around and be like, okay, now do it again. <laughs> oh, I was being very cheeky about it. But yeah, um, we were having a little chat about you. I mentioned that you popped in and you were giving me a hand in regards to the Basque Legion. Because if I hadn't, it wouldn't have had a... Sh a sh exactly, much like exactly. There wouldn't be any snivvies around. Yeah, no, everything's unlocked for this. We got all the starters. It's just finding the shiny variations of them. A Carol Basque Legion? What's a Carol Basque Legion? Guess what you had to do? Mm, I don't know. What did you have to do, Angel? Going to do a lurky and rest more. All good there. How's your finger, by the way, Silver? I hope it's going to be okay. You look after yourself, hun. I'll see you later tonight, I'm sure. You'll pop back in knowing you. Little lovely, beautiful bean you are. I have seen Tiger King, but I haven't seen all of it, actually, Munchlax. I'll need to watch more of it. I've heard good things about it, though. I have heard good things. I saw... What was the last episode that I saw? I believe it was the whole potential murder of someone and probably feeding it to the line so they couldn't find the body. I, I believe that was the last episode. It was a good while ago. Hi, Stormzy. It is a cute little bed you see. The cutest of all. Don't you ever forget it. How are you doing? Welcome on in. I've been very busy, Suzaku. Hello. We've got a big plan coming, April. So, oh, so much to do, so little time, but I'm hoping April is going to be wonderful. It's going to be a time where I plan to tackle everything, to do as much as I can, get everything up and running so that I don't feel so busy all the time. I can relax. Just do a hell of a lot more. Question, I may have an answer for you, Suzaku. Oh, also. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. 
Grilled cheese or mozzarella sticks? Oh, mozzarella sticks, easily. Mozzarella sticks with some snow cheese sauce? Oh, beautiful. Mind you, that is an addition, but both, both are very good. Like, you can make an amazing grilled cheese by using, like, mixed herbs. But if we're just talking mozzarella sticks on their own and grilled cheese on their own, we're not adding anything. I'd probably say grilled cheese. I would probably say grilled cheese. You might get barbecue Saturday. As in, like, a barbecue cooking stove. Davali, hello, sweetheart. It's good to see you. What are you cooking for dinner? Can I have some? <laughs> Maybe I could order some Davali home cooking. That sounds like a plan to me. Home delivery. Might get some barbecue for lunch. Oh, that's right. I'm assuming you're American. So when people say they're going to get barbecue, that doesn't mean what it means here in Australia. <laughs> it means something pretty different. You think ramen? Oh, I'd love some ramen. I haven't had ramen in a good while. I need to go back to... Okay, Davali, I don't know if you know of this. There's an amazing um, ramen uh, shop over in Chatswood that I love to go to. It's one of the best. I absolutely love it. What barbecue mean in Australia? <clears throat> uh, literally turning on a barbecue and cooking meat. That's literally what a barbecue is. Lilligan, hello. Lovely to meet you. How are you doing? You gonna take a geese? Absolutely do it. If you ever are in Chatswood, go to the ramen joint there. They do amazing dishes. You're a sucker for pulled pork? I do like me some pulled pork, Suzaku. As much as I love pork belly, like, cause while, while we're on the topic of pork, I do love pork belly. But it never seems to want to agree with my stomach. I know it's very fatty. And while the flavor is delicious, my stomach afterwards is always just like, Ugh, I'm going to be sick. I'm never actually sick. I never vomit. I never have the runs or anything like that. It's not like suffering. But every time I eat it, I do feel ill. It's always, oh. Who am I shiny hunting for at the moment, Chani? We're looking for a snivy. We got one. And we're looking for a second one. Okay, I can call you Lily. Oh, Relina. I haven't seen Relina for a little bit. I hope Relina's doing well. It's lovely to meet you, Lily. Eat what? Uh, pork belly. Pork belly tea we were talking about. Belly doesn't agree with your belly, Maximal Confusion. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it? It's such a weird way to say it, but you know, you're right. It, pork belly does not agree with the belly. You really like the full Evo Snivy Shiny. I saw it today as well, Chani, and I was like, oh, that is beautiful. So I'm very excited to hunt this one down. Like, there were other Pokemon that I was like, oh, I can Shiny hunt this. The moment I saw Snivy, I was like, what does the Shiny look like? Saw it, and I'm like, okay, priorities. Right here, right now. Ariel stuff made hit her hard like badly. I'm sorry to hear that. Lily, please give my best wishes over to Relina. Let her know I'm thinking of her, and that I hope things get better for her. Hope he gets a Mega. Oh. Oh, yeah. For Legends, Zygarde. That'd be amazing, Chani. I'd love that. Like, if that's going to be one of the three new starters. So, I'm being very critical when it comes to Legends, Zygarde. I'm, I'm very much trying to pin it one for one to Legends, Arceus and how they did it. We got three unique starters. Uh, they all had unique forms. And it was only the Sinnoh decks. So, I'm going to assume it's only the Kalos decks. We will get three unique starters, but we can find all the starters still within the Kalos region. Um, and I would love if we get Snivy to have a, a mega form for that. That'd be amazing. Hello there, Fictional. At least it's not 1%. It's a very perfect mid. Silver would be very jealous of you, Tia. You named your character Guts. Is it going to be a great sword user, Angel? I bet you it is. You prefer Fennekin? I wonder what. I wonder if Fennekin, like, I wonder if the Kalos starters will all get Megas. Greninja would be, like, you know, the poster child. It's one of the favorites besides Charizard. Absolutely, I think it's deserving of a Mega form.
yeah, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. I do hope there are no more issues come to Relina. But thank you for letting me know about that, Lily. I appreciate that. Does Havy has his reaction anywhere? Oh, oh, someone would have 100% clipped that, Chani. Absolutely. He was even mentioning it'd be clipped. But I, I think someone did. I think someone did. I don't know if it's the full reaction. I reckon, I reckon if you hit him up in the Discord, he will he will say if he's got the clip somewhere. Might be different without the Megas. I probably, but at least we do know that Mega Revolution is confirmed, Lily, which is I am so excited for. I am very happy about that. I don't know. I'm not feeling the picnicking. I might just run around. See if we can force spawn the shinies in that way. I always prefer to run around rather than do picnics. I feel picnics are so damn boring. Check his Discord channel. I'm assuming Stormzy, you're part of the, uh, Hazy's Discord too. Somebody stole the 1%. <laughs> nah, you're just lacking, Maz. You're just that 1% short. You can't blame others for your own faults. <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking, Lily. That's exactly what I'm thinking as well. I reckon we will find the the Kalo starters in the wild. Also, what's really going to be cool, we're going to find Blastoise, Charizard, well, not Blastoise, but Squirtle, Charmander, and I, uh, Bulbasaur in the wild too, I imagine. Especially considering that the Megas are making a return, that we'd have to see the Megas there. Game Freak will give us Mega Flygon, right? Right. If it was in the Kalos decks, maybe Mordred, but I don't think so. I think the the main Pokemon that we'll see that's not part of the Kalos decks will actually be the Megas that were introduced in Oras. I feel like they're going to be an exception. They will be included. Because if Megas are coming back and they do not give us the Megas from those games, there might be a lot of upset. Um, because I'm pretty certain Gallade, Mega Gallade was actually not part of of uh, the Kalos X and Y Mega Mega Revolution. Uh, Latias and Latios was. It was um, never officially released in X and Y, but it was uh, Data Mind and you could do it. You just want Mega Flygon? I would love Mega Flygon too. I really would. But you want to know what's interesting? Because they scrapped Mega Flygon, they also scrapped a Mega Jinx. If they bring back uh, Flygon and they give him the Mega, I wonder if they're going to do the same for Jinx, if they're going to re-revive Jinx's Mega. Because Jinx never got an evolution. When you look at, like, Electabuzz and Magma, how in Gen 4 they all got an evolution, Jinx didn't. Jinx got shafted and missed out. You hope they have raids with Megas. I feel like they won't have a raid with a Mega in uh, Zygarde, if I'm honest. Because Legends Arceus was not very multiplayer focused, if at all. And I get a feeling that uh, Zygarde, Legend Zygarde, also won't be multiplayer focused. So I don't think raids would be a possibility. I think it's going to be very heavy in story. The uh, gameplay is going to be vastly different. Like, I would love the gameplay to have Pokemon attack us again. I would love for that to make sure that's a return. Having Pokemon be very aggressive and come after us was really a good addition. Fun mechanic. You just hope they won't shiny lock the legendaries? Don't hold your breath, Munchlax. I get a feeling that they absolutely will. Keeper in the ground? Why so much hate against Jinx, Angel? Mega Kabutops will be sick. I get a feeling we won't get a Kabutops because, again, that's not part of the Kalos Pokedex. Yeah, it really was, wasn't it, Mordred? Because we even got Smoochum, which is a pre-evolve. Newer features with gimmicks and skill trees. Oh! You know what? A stamina bar might be interesting. Um, considering in the Legends game, we got to ride Pokemon as we got around. So I wonder if they'll include that too. Oh, finally, my food is on its way, chat. Yeah, I, I do feel like Jinx got shafted a little bit with um, the Sinnoh decks. So let's see if they're going to change that up. You know what? Maybe the Maybe the picnic strategy is probably better. Oh, 
after 3,000 years of food coming. Right, Munchlax? Right? Whoa, oh, well, all of a sudden it's saying it's delivered? Okay, hold on, chat, hold on. I might have to be back. It, apparently it says it's already delivered. I will not be long, give me a sec. Okay, I'm back. So yes, they did indeed deliver it. <laughs> One second, it's like, oh, hey, food's now on its way. Oh, jokes, we already delivered it. I'm like, are you serious, guys? Are you serious? Good morning, Yumi. How are you, sweetheart? Friend told you that PLA is okay. Only okay? Are you serious? Okay, I'm going to level with you, Lily. PLA, in my opinion, is the best Pokemon game you can get on the Switch. Might be a bit based, but... Um, I love that game. Absolutely amazing. Yes, it's not perfect by any means, but it's such a good step in the right direction. How's the hunting? First five minutes, we got a shiny Sniffy, Yumi. We did well. Oh my god, my chips are stone cold. This is disgusting. Hello, Rosebud. How you doing? Yummy food for the tummy, indeed. It's been requiring it, but I hate cold chips. Absolutely hate. Show you? Sniffy. We've got this shiny Sniffy. There you go. Right there. Still haven't fixed the crash with shiny Giratina. What's the crash with shiny Giratina, my class? See? He's a shiny. You're not feeling well? I'm sorry to hear that, Rosebud. I hope you feel better soon. Hmm. Now get a female? Oh. Okay, actually, that's really important. Are there gender differences with this Pokemon chat? If you use Shadow Force with Shiny Giratina, your game crashes. Oh. Is this in PLA, Munchlax, or is this in, um, Scar- <coughs> My apologies, I'm choking a little bit. Scarlet Violet. What Pokemon has gender differences? Snivy. Does Snivy have gender differences? Because if so, then that means I have to get nine Snivy. Potentially. Hmm. Thank goodness, thank goodness. No gender difference. You're hungry? You should get some food as well, Yumi. We'll be real? <laughs> well... Scarlet and Violet has so many issues. Sword and Shield, Dynamax Adventures is really the only thing going for it. The story was terrible. 
Legends Arceus was good on all departments, graphics, gameplay. One of the best final boss fights ever, in my opinion. Ah, uh, the fight with Volo. Like, Pokemon's pretty known for being easy, like a bit of a kid's game difficulty-wise. Not PLA. PLA was pretty hard. It was punishing. You have to drive her there. I hope your mum's going to be all right, Yumi. You got the day off work as well, lovely? Let's set stuff on fire. Why are you so hell-bent on burning things today, Mordred? He's coming to Pokemon EX Masters. Oh, is he, Munchlax? I've never played that. What's the go with shinies in PLA? Uh, all legendaries are shiny locked. Uh, but if you ever encounter a shiny Pokemon in the wild, you will hear a sparkling sound effect, which is great. It lets you know that there's a shiny nearby in the vicinity. It's one of the best ways to shiny hunt, in my opinion. Uh, they have a system called Mass Outbreaks and Massive Mass Outbreaks. Uh, very similar to um, Scarlet and Violet. Sessinger might be a semi-veteran. Definitely. Definitely, Lily. <laughs> no arson. Don't. Don't, um, what's the word? Not don't contribute. Don't. Ugh. What's the word when you're trying to motivate someone to do something? I can't think of the word. Either way, don't do that for, <laughs> don't do that for Mordred. No fire for Mordred. Inspire? Mm, no, not the word I was looking for. I'm glad you're enjoying your stay as well, Lily. Conspirer? No. No, not that. Egg them out? Oh, hell no. I ain't Masuda methoding these guys. I prefer to shiny hunt them like this. Encourage. That's the word I'm looking for. Encourage. Don't go encouraging Mordred to burn things. Almost 69, but not quite there. Not quite there. You were close. G'day, Addy. How you doing? Welcome on in. Maybe tomorrow's 69? One can only hope, but don't go jinxing it, Yumi. Oh, egging them on. Okay, no, that's fair. That's a fair point. Yeah, no, that's that's a clear phase. That could be like, we don't want to egg them on either. You did jinx it, Yumi? <laughs> Yeah, quite possibly. I reckon you did. Yeah, I was saying, Lily, that I'm glad that you are enjoying your stay here. Burn it to the ground. Okay, look, I'm a fan of Nickelback, but not even I've heard that song. Shiny Heatran Hunt. Yeah, yeah, we've been doing this for a little bit now. We haven't had great luck on it, though, Adio. Time to get food. Enjoy your num nums, Yumi. Pretty sure that's not a shiny. If the grass wasn't green, this would help. <laughs> but they blend in. How was my Wednesday? Uh, was this past tense? How is my Wednesday? It's currently Wednesday for me right now. My Wednesday's going okay, Addy. How about yours? Oh! No, no, Lily. Um, there's someone in my chat that wants to create arson, known as Mordred. No quick balls? No, I'm not going to be using a quick ball, Mordred, don't you worry. It doesn't match. Why would I use a quick ball on Snivy? Yeah, Mordred wants to burn things. I'm trying to tell him not to. Get your fingies off me, no head patty, Stormzy. Stormzy, thank you so much for the subscription, buddy. I hope you enjoy your ad-free viewing and emotes. Must commit arson. Angel, stop encouraging him. We playing Persona 5? <laughs> That's Arsen, not Arson. <laughs> I see what you did there, though, Munchlax. Maybe one day I'd like to replay um, Persona 5, because I finished the base game, and then Royal came out, and I haven't played Royal and gotten to the, uh, the extra dungeon at the end. No, you're okay, Lily. You're okay. It can be a bit confusing, especially when there's two chats going at once. Oh, 
Your Squirtle Squad is on duty. Okay, good, Maz. You can put out the fire. That Mordred should not be attempting to start. So, I'm willing to bet that you're a big Pokemon fan yourself, Lily. Do you have a favorite Pokemon? <laughs> God damn it, you guys. <laughs> Looks like he's a pyromaniac. Yeah, Mordred. Mordred's feeling a bit fierce today. Grew up on Gen 5. Ah, that makes sense. Hence your name. But Lily is also a very pretty name. Also quite a nice flower, too. You're a fire dragon type? <laughs> so what you're telling me is that you're Charizard X? Memory says me well. It's X, isn't it? Yeah, X is the one that's got dragon. You grew up on what, Gen 1 and 2? I grew up on Gen 1, 2, 3. Uh, I skipped 4 and 5 and then jumped back on on 6, 7. And here we are. All the way. I do have to remember to soft reset a little bit more with the heat train, otherwise we're just going to be sitting there and missing out on opportunities to get his shiny. Reshiram is better. True, true. Reshiram is very pretty. Also a fantastic shiny. Grow up on one Gen 1, 2, and 3. What is your... F okay. Chat. What is everyone's favorite generation? Me, mine's three with Emerald. Emerald was honestly so good for me. I enjoyed that thoroughly. Wanted you could go back to SR Hunt for your favorite games. SR Hunt. What is S Soft Reset. Soft Reset. I'm like, what is SR? I was... My brain was like, mmm, delicious food. What's SR? <laughs> and I kept jumping back and forth. Gen 1. Do you have a specific one? Like, uh, red, blue, yellow, or maybe even green, if you've given green a shot. Yours is Gen 5, Angel. I'm guessing black and white, or is it black and white too for you? Yeah, no, my mine's Emerald, hands down, Gen 3. Nothing on this, Nivy. Do you have a specific version you prefer, or just black and white? Yours is red. Inspiration from him made you go back to Soft Reset for Osha Watch Shiny. Oh! I don't know how I'd feel about Soft Resetting for a starter. I feel like that'd just take forever. I know a lot of people get really excited for it, but like, ugh. It's so long, full odds, no shiny charm. And you're sitting there for like the absolute maximum amount of chances. You were talking about the anime for Gen 1. I'm talking about the video games here, Maz. Am I on single player? I am Rip Shark. Hello, welcome on in. How you doing? Same goes for Emerald as well. Oh, that's even worse because on Emerald it's 1 in 8,000. No, thank you. Oh, I'd hate that. Rip Shark, thank you so much for the follow. Gen 5 black and white, but mainly black. Is that just because of the flagship uh, legendary fictional? That'd be black version. Wait, was black version? Black version was... Um, not Reshiram, what's his name? Why am I forgetting Pokemon's names? I've got food on the brain chat. I'm just too hungry. That's what it is. Pokemon Stadium. Ooh, Stadium's good for the mini games, Maz. But Pokemon Snap was so, so enjoyable. Did I get the White Snake? No. We got no shinies during our DA adventures uh, last time, Yumi. I had zero luck. No shinies whatsoever. A lot of fun, though. Still had a lot of fun. 
A lady like you has only two pink GBA SPs. Only? I mean, I'd love a pink GBA SP. Uh, funny enough, Lily, uh, pink is actually my favorite color. Zekrom, that's his name. Zekrom. I don't know why I couldn't think of it. It was just chaos and suffering, but it was enjoyable chaos and enjoyable suffering. That was the important part. Least favorite games are BDSP. I still have yet to... Okay. I have played BDSP and I tried to do a Nuzlocke on it. Um, I did get the Manaphy Egg. Was it a Manaphy Egg? I think I hatched it in a Manaphy. But I didn't get the rest of the stuff. And now I have a new Mimby. Hell yeah. I'm glad. You seem absolutely lovely, Lily. So I'm glad to have you around. What is my least favorite color? Brown. Easy. Brown for me. Yumi, do you hate pink that much? <laughs> you like pink when it's paired with black? They look good together. I would agree, actually, Mordred. I, I do agree. Absolutely, I will treat you with respect, Lily. Do not worry about that. I may joke around from time to time, but... For like 90% of it, I will always be respectful um, and make sure everyone feels comfortable and welcome. Unless you dislike ASMR, then I can't help you there. <laughs> if my chat over on Twitch redeems it, I'm going to have to do it for a minute. <laughs> Mordred wants you to come join us, Lily, over on Twitch side of things. But uh, Mordred, no, Lily's not going to burn things. At least I don't think Lily won't burn things. Stop trying to commit arson, damn it. White and pink is better. I mean, pink can go well with a lot of things. Like pink, I would I would be willing to say, and this is completely my opinion, pink and blue is better. Pink and blue go way better together. Howdy, Dungeon Allen. Good to see you. How you doing? Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. Just in case. Better to be safe than sorry. A few extra seconds just to confirm that that was not a shiny. Look, it's hard to see with a bucket on my head, okay? I mean, pink and cyan? I would say pink and baby blue. I wouldn't so much say cyan, personally, Lily. Arson? No arson. I swear, Angel and Mordred are just wanting burn things now. Your favorite Digimon has black, pink, gold, blue, and it's color... as its color scheme. Uh, what Digimon is that one, Mordred? Is it perchance, um... Because that sounds like Imperial Jamon. I could be wrong. Oh, wait, no. Imperial Jamon doesn't have pink. Hmm. You're at a gym battle? No worries, Ripshark. Regulusmon? Okay. I haven't seen or heard of that one. Modra, do me a favor. Chuck me a picture of that Digimon in the pictures thing. I'd be curious to see what it is. Join the cult of the bright flame. What is this, Dark Souls? You can't burn me. Don't burn me, Yumi. Sounds good to me, Mordred. Sounds good. What is this, The Witcher 3? Nah, not quite. I wonder if I should make a, um, oh, not make a sandwich, but like go to the blueberry uh, cafeteria. Get the blueberry special. Is it Dungeons and Dragons going on? Is it? We've gone from Dark Souls to The Witcher to Dungeons and Dragons. Where's all the Pokemon? Here they are. 
I've got to be concerned there. I'm like, where did they all go? Is it Dragon's Dogma? I'd love if it was, but no. <laughs> How's people finding Dragon's Dogma 2? Anybody played it yet, by the way? I've been seeing so many of my streamer friends play it. It looks astonishing. I'd love to pick it up. I know there's a lot of controversy surrounding the... What do you call it? Um, uh, the microtransactions. I know a lot of people are really upset over that, but I don't think it's really all that bad. Had to pick up your warm homemade double chocolate chip muffin from your front door. Why is that a bad thing? Is it Elden Ring? Actually, I'm really excited for the Elden Ring DLC as well. We're just naming off games now all of a sudden. You're going to be waiting for more reviews, Munchlax? From everything that I've seen gameplay-wise, I reckon it looks great. And it's definitely something that I'd be willing to pick up. You've been playing the Stick of Truth lately. Are you also going to play the Fractured Butthole later? Not to mention Snow Day just recently came out for South Park 2. <laughs> Your muffin with a hot cup of copper. Cup of copper? Cup of coffee. Blech. Or maybe it's hot chocolate. Who knows? You must never fight on another man's boss. Some of the things that South Park comes up with. God, I love it. You fight on all the balls. God damn it. I, okay, I had a partner um, that, that I was living with and never fought in the day. But at nighttime, different story all the time. And I'm a cuddler. But there were so many times when we were cuddling and it was just... All of a sudden, there'd be one let rip. Not comfortable, let me tell you that. <laughs> I eat all things, Lily. You can share with me. You don't get it? You don't get someone farting on you, Yumi? <laughs> but stop letting it rip. God damn it, Munchlax. How about seeds and crackers? Depends on the seeds. Also depends on the crackers. You just completed God of War 2 at God Mode. Grats. On to number three for you then, Amy. What did you think I said, Yumi? <laughs> Yumi's never... <laughs> hey, ladies don't fart, Munchlax. What's everyone's favourite character in South Park? Mine's Kenny. My goodness, I seem picky. Sometimes I can be Lily. Sometimes I can be. Like right now, I'm, I'm picky because I'm eating chips and a burger. <laughs> With some vanilla coke. Honestly, the only thing that I won't eat is onions. I hate onions. Mm -mm. Kyle's mum. Stan's dad's actually a pretty good one. Yours is Cherry Coke? Oh. We no longer get Cherry Coke here in Australia, Lily, but it's one of my favourites. Same with Dr. Pepper. We don't we don't get Dr. Pepper here. Have to get it imported. But I love that stuff. I really do. You hate onions as well? Hell yeah. High five. Yeah, onions I'm not big on. Had to build on Stick of Truth in your target with five times bleed damage. Because I've heard status effects work on everyone, bosses included.
<laughs> okay, I forgot about Tally. Tally's funny. That type of soda tastes like medicine. Dr. Pepper? I feel like Dr. Pepper and Cherry Coke taste very similar. At least they do in Australia. You don't like onions, but you can eat onion rings. Okay, so this is where it gets really weird. I eat bruschetta, which does have onions. Uh, obviously, spaghetti bolognese and sauces, they have onions too. Thank you for the hydrate ninja bacon. Also, hello, welcome on in. Um, there is a restaurant chain called the Outback Steakhouse. They have an item called the Bloomin' Onion. That I also eat, even though that's literally just a deep fried onion. Um... Caramelized onions, though? Don't like it. Onions on pizza or a burger? No, thank you. Get rid of it. I will eat spring onion, but in very small quantities. But spring onion has such a powerful aftertaste. Like, have you ever noticed that? When you've had a dish and there's spring onion there, after you've eaten it, this taste stays in your mouth for, like, ages. Hey, Sid, how you doing? You love raw onion? Oh, my God, Ninja. You... Do you eat a raw onion like an apple? Oh my god. I couldn't do that, Ninja Bacon. I could not do that. Hell no. You love onions on burgers and in salad. No, nah, not, not for me. I'd remove that stuff. Oh, you want to know what's a really funny thing that I realized as well? Someone was making a Twitter post and they're like... Here's a hot take. Red onions are not red. They're purple. You have a burger? I have a burger as well, Peon. Usually go for your favorites like chicken nuggets with fries. Yes, that sounds delicious. Maybe some sandwiches. Any bag of chips and soda too. What is your poison when it comes to chips? I do like my salt and vinegar. Uh, barbecue chips are always great. Uh, Doritos has this flavor here in Australia called Mexicana, and oh, heaven in my mouth that one is. Give you your burger. Go get your own burger, Yumi. is mine. Yellow onion is best. They have yellow onions now? Never had a blooming onion, but they sound good. They're very nice. They're, there's a sauce that comes with it too. It's very delicious. I do recommend. I do recommend. You can't? You're at the hospital? Oh, that's right. You did mention that. Sorry, sweetie. I should probably not be talking about food so much. I'm just going to make you hungrier. <laughs> That'll also explain why you're so tired. Do you know how much longer you're going to be in the hospital for, hun? I mean, hell, appointments can sometimes go for hours. Huh. Mmm. Mm. Hospitals do have cafeteria sometimes. Depends on the hospital. I've tried ranch. Cool ranch is actually quite nice, Lily. I still think Mexicana is better in flavor, but Cool Ranch is still very nice. The Doritos have an extreme heat flavor. Yeah, we don't get really spicy Doritos here. Which I'm kind of grateful for, because I do love Doritos. And while I eat spice, I'm also such a white bird. <laughs> I complain so much. You prefer sea salt and vinegar. Isn't that the same thing, salt and vinegar? Just because it's from sea, the sea, it's still salty at the end of the day. Sounds good to me, Mordred. I'll check it out. <laughs> Figurative fi yeah. Figuratively speaking, Mordred. I can't handle my spice, so I am white bird. Kettle's chips are nice, but they're so expensive. 
I tend to avoid kettle stiffs because of the price range. Class of 09. Uh, very recently heard of it, actually, Peon. Um, but I haven't seen anything of it. But it was brought to me uh, a little bit ago. Why do you ask? One with the shinies? Wait, did you say... Are you, do you mean that you saw a shiny there, Lily? Hold on, wait, what? Hmm. Am I a blind bird? You know a very cursed game on PS2? What is it? I'm not seeing a shiny. Oh, you're in a union circuit with someone. What are you shiny hunting, Willie? Mr. Mosquito? Never heard of that one. What makes it cursed? Chippos have been consumed. Now it is time to get Borger. Ow! That is a really big snivy. That's a big boy. Where's your meteora? Hello! <laughs> You're having some iced coffee to stay up. It's very rare I ever have coffee, but you know I'm really tired if I'm like, all right, I have to have some coffee to keep me awake now because this is ridiculous. It's like softcore Japanese pornography. What the hell? And that's a PS2 game? Wow. You were never the same after that game? <laughs> I could probably understand why. So, Yumi, apparently there was a game called Mr. Mosquito that was like softcore porn. Fair enough, Lily, fair enough. Convert them, be one with the shiny hunters, let's do it. That's a lot of Totodile as well. Oh, by the way, chat, is the new raid out in, sorry, not raid, but like the mass outbreaks with all the baby Pokemon, has that uh, been released now or is that still yet to come? You got it 10 years ago as a gift. What a gift, though, of all things. Tomorrow? Okay. 29th. All right, sweet, sweet. Down to clown for that one. Yeah, it would be my Friday. Well, it's definitely soon, Yumi. It's within the next few days. Three turtles? Wait, turtle is in Turtwig or Squirtle? Maybe Torkoal. You get your tattoo? Oh, hell yeah! Your Umbreon tattoo! Oh, that's gonna be sick. I can't wait for that, Yumi. Tootle? Okay, Tootle's another one. It's Squirtle? Okay. <laughs> I tried shiny hunting for a Squirtle for the longest time and it just did not show up for me at all, Lily. Oh, that was pain. I remember spending hours on end. We got so many different Chinese. We got freaking Chin Chow. We got a Geodude, a Lolan version. I just had no luck getting the other one. Ah, that one I'm aware of, Maz. That was literally banned because it, it was literal porn. It was literal porn. I think it's burger time. Where's my burden? Ah, 
Come here. Hands down, bring your Switch. Just make sure to connect online so that you can get the uh, shinies there. You shiny sneevy sneevy sneevy. You shiny sneevy 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 sneevy. I think I should be okay, like, near this cave. I don't think it will actually, like, spawn any Pokemon up there, but I could be wrong. Don't go to switch with you, but your phone. There's your first mistake, Yumi. It's going to allow me to start shiny hunting and potentially get up further than you. Oh, yeah, the PS2 library, Amy, was huge. A PS2 game that I love, and I'll always tell people to grab Grandia 2 and Shadow Hearts. Both really, really cool games. Oh, burger time. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're probably right, Lily. <laughs> it just wasn't the hunt that we were after. The shinies were there, just not what we wanted. Mm. Yeah, well, this is definitely a race, Yumi. I swear I will come on top. How long were you shining hunting the squirtles, Lily, if you don't mind me asking? God damn it, Yumi. <laughs> Can't be mad. I walked into that one. <laughs> and Maz too. Why am I not surprised? I swear you guys. All right, all right, all right. Oh, that's a lovely Lily. Congratulations. Mm -mm. Well, while you're all being frisky, chat, I'm over here eating a nice triple cheeseburger, and it is delicious. Oh, I definitely needed that. No, come here. No killing, Smeagol. No killing. No Yumi, no kill, no kill. It's hard playing one-handed, with a controller in one hand and a burger in the other. It's a challenge, but I'm making it work. Oh. Mmm! Zepho, thank you! Mm. Sorry Zepho, I've got food in my mouth. Yeah. Nom nom nom. Welcome in, in Raiders. Hello, Zepho. How is your stream? Sorry. Again. Food in mouth. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious me. How you doing? 
How was your stream? Did you get many shinies on your end? Well, first five minutes of hunting Zepho, we got a shiny Snivy, and uh, we're just looking around for <coughs> another one. Since ah, sorry, <clears throat> but the shiny hunting's been pretty chill so far, I will say. Oh. You got quite a bit on PLA. Ah. That's one shiny holic hunter you know. We are quite a a large quantity of us, I'm pretty certain. I know many of us shiny hunter holics. Hello, Carissa. How are you doing? You're going to be joining on Twitch, Amy? Hell yeah. If you ever do get hit by ads, feel free to quickly jump over to YouTube so you don't miss anything. But keep in mind, ads are a thing over on Twitch. Have I met him? If you're referring to um, the one that you're with, I don't believe so, but maybe I have. What's, what's their name, Lily? As you call us masochists, depends how far we go with the shiny hunting munchlax. For me, definitely, definitely a masochist. Absolutely. Oh my goodness, yes. You're EP, but you miss your friends, but super EP. That is a mood. I'll tell you what, Car Oh, hiccup. I'll tell you what, Carissa. Get yourself in bed. Get yourself nice and cozy. You can have me on your phone. And maybe that'll also help you get some rest. Masochist? God damn it, Maz. <laughs> Any finds? We got one shiny uh, in the first five minutes. And we're just continuing to see if we get two more. So, so far, not too bad, Carissa. Not too bad at all. It's been a little bit slow, mostly because I've been eating food. Uh, chat's being a wonderful distraction, as always. Gotta love it. <clears throat> the hiccup sounded demonic? Huh? My high-pitched squeak sounded demonic. How does that work, Angel? But it also has these. Yes, it does have a lot of emotes, doesn't it? Puxmon! Hello there, Blackwell Gaming. Welcome on in. <laughs> Aloha, what's up? We're here for Puxman Hype You Up. If it's okay, we'd like to stay and see how you're doing today. That is a very lovely raid message. Welcome on in, raiders. If you don't know me, my name is Ducky. I'm a variety streamer from Australia doing some shinies today in regards to Snivy. We got one, and now we're just looking for two more, and then we're probably going to move on to maybe coughing afterwards. How is your stream, Poxmon? How did you go in uh, Legia 2 Dual Saga? I've probably mispronounced that terribly. What is that? Is that like a TCG game? There is no bird, there is KFC, man. Uh, there is a bird underneath this KFC helmet. Don't listen to Mordred. Mordred just wants to set fire to everything. It's been so much fun. Can you tell me a bit about it? It's a PlayStation 2 game. Ah. Probably a hidden gem. You think? Well, you've already done burping, so now I'm time to cough. That sounds about right, doesn't it? Wait, is that a shiny? Poxmon, you just brought me some shiny luck with your raid. There is our second snivy shiny of the hunt. Look at that. There we go. Poxmon, you've brought the luck. Look at that. Hell yeah. All right. We're going to turn it into a water type so that I can actually put it to sleep, make it nice and easy. We're catching this one in another friend ball. Now, chat, what do you reckon? Will it have a mark? Or, better still, what nature do you think it will have? Alright, I'll put him to sleep. I am going to say adamant nature. What do you guys say? You say it has a mark, Maz? Okay, let's see. And Joey, thank you for subscribing over on YouTube. A depressed nature? Wow, Mordred. <laughs> You reckon naughty munchlax? Okay. Yumi says no mark.
Oh, runny nose. You reckon a playful nature? I don't think playful is one of the natures, is it? Maybe I'm misremembering. All right, friend ball, let's see if we get it. Rip, didn't get it. It's all right, chat. This is why we save before the fight. Don't panic. The shiny's still going to be there. This is why we save. That way I can use all these rare balls. Joy, docile, timid, nihilistic. God damn it, Mordred. <laughs> It's a good thing I didn't have a sandwich, too. Can you tell me what you made? I don't see why not, Angel Wolf. Why, why not? Ow. All right, there's our shiny boy. Let's go again. Cotney line obtained. Cotney has a very nice shiny as well. A vanilla chamomile chai tea. I haven't had chai tea in a while. I mean, I try and be cute. No crying, Pox. No crying aloud. Oh, goodness gracious me. All right, put it to sleep. So, Lily, are you going for a shiny living dex? Is it on Scarlet and Violet, or are you doing it on X and, uh, like, Pokemon Home? What are your plans? Chai and tea are the same? You can tell I totally drink a lot of tea, don't you? <laughs> Progressing, going fast, it sounds it, Lilligan, it sounds it. Scarlet and Violet, but you have Scarlet. Ah, I've got Violet. Hey, you got a Feebas. Nice, Pox. All right, he's awake, but that's okay. We can tap him again. Now we'll put him to sleep. Chai means tea in Hindi. Oh, so Chai is actually Hindi. I didn't even know that. The more you know. I'm learning things. <clears throat> All right, take two. Let's see if we catch him this time. Thankfully, I'm not having to use something like a beast ball, which might take forever. Uh, friendo ball. Friendo ball, go. Got him. There we go. Had to delete. Oh, no, Angel Wolf. That sucks. A thousand and nine elite. Hello. How you doing? Welcome on in. There we go. Number two. Now, does everybody remember the nature? So I said adamant. Let's see what we got here. And it's nature. Wait. Quiet. It's a quiet nature. <laughs> All right, so I don't think any of us got it. And it doesn't have a mark. That's unfortunate. You threw your f in a friend and safari ball? I don't have any safari balls left, I actually don't think. 1009 Elite, thank you so much for the follow. You got the burb starter? Is this... Bird starter? Quaxley? Scarlet and Violet, yeah? Like you said, no mark? Yeah, you're right, Yumi, you're right. You got it. All right, let's save that. So now we have one more to hunt. We're doing good. We're doing good. What are we? We're in an hour and 20 minutes in stream. So that's like an hour. So that's two shinies in an hour's time. You couldn't get your name? Oh, it's Amy. Hey. Hiya, watermelon. Yeah, getting, getting a name in Twitch can be very tricky, unfortunately. But I can continue calling you Amy if you prefer. Stream pause or just you? I hate to say it, I think it's just you, Carissa. You got your PAX badge? Hell yeah! I haven't bought mine, Watermelon, because I'm going to see if I can go as a content creator. You said the next shiny will be female? It is male. Ha 
Hope I get it. Fingers crossed. I won't find out until June or August, because that's when the, the two waves will go for it. How are you doing, Firebrand? How do you spell Chull? Uh, is that the pronunciation? Chull? I mean, I, I imagine you spell it the way that you spelt it, Lily. You reckon number three shiny will be a female? All right. Let's see if you're correct then, Yumi. Let us see. You've been playing some Dead Space 2? That's right, I do, rem I do remember you mentioning you were doing that. Party animals with your lovable senpai. <laughs> Uh, they recently had a Cut the Rope collaboration with Party Animals, the little muncher. Uh, one thing I'm disappointed about in Party Animals, and this is not because of Party Animals, because I missed out on it, is there was a skin uh, for the Chinese New Year. It was a dragon. He looked really cool, and I'd love to get him, but I missed out on it, I think. I don't think I could get him anymore. Maybe, he, maybe he'll make a return eventually, but yeah, it was a really cool design. You say male type Pokemon? <laughs> Spell male the correct way, Maz. M A L E. <laughs> Not male as in like delivering a letter. Oh, we're talking about party animals, Yumi. Maybe your lady luck? Sounds like your lady luck then. Give me some of the luck that you have, Lily. I want some luck too. I mean, I can't complain. We've got two shinies. I'd say I'd get a bit of luck. Deli Bird. Deli Bird's not a postman. Deli Bird's like a Santa's little helper. You've never played it? Party Animals is a lot of chaotic fun, Yumi. It's actually really enjoyable. All the chaos. <laughs> Dillybird should have an evolution. Imagine if it gets a Mega Mordred. Or Maractus? Ugh, I don't know if, how I feel about a Maractus Mega. Slash evolution. It's the rightful owner. Sounds like you're the rightful owner though, Lily. Or maybe you're just a, an amazing lucky charm. You'll find my next shiny in 5 minutes and 42 seconds. Alright, bet. I won't complain about that. That'd be great. Oh, wait. No, that's very specific. I see what you're going to do. You're going to turn me shiny, aren't you, Carissa? I see you. I see you. I see what you're doing there. Sneaky, sneaky. Mega Melodic, or how does it even say the Water Snake looks beautiful? We're totally not going to get Mega Melodic. As much as that would be great, again, it's not part of the Kalos decks. I don't think we're going to get Melodic at all. What do you see with your foxy eyes? I don't know, Stella. What do you see? Hi, lovely. How are you? That wasn't five minutes, was it, Maz? That was a lot sooner. All right, Carissa was very gung-ho at about five minutes. I mean, it's probably less now. Huzzah, shiny. <laughs> I don't count. I'm not a Pokemon. And a near future of shiny grass snake. Soon. Soon. We've got two shiny grass snakes, and we only need one more to finish off the evolutionary chain. What have you been up to there, Stella? Also... Maz, could you out? Maz, could you please shout out Stella? Stella is absolutely lovely. She is a fellow streamer as well. Please go give them a follow. Check them out. I'd very much greatly appreciate it. They absolutely deserve it. Nothing here. No shiny Heatran. 
Five minutes in CST time? I mean, look, it'll be five minutes globally. Five minutes is the same across the across the world. Even in different time zones, five minutes will still be five minutes. Oh, yeah, no, it is Lily. I know the exact cave you're talking about. Yeah, where you get spawns like crazy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't look forward to going for Torchic because I'm going to need a total of nine Torchics. Hopefully three females. I've mostly just been working on D&D &D stuff today. Are you a dungeon master or are you doing character stuff there, Stella? Five minutes goes quicker for them? No, Maz, no. Concept of time is equal around the world. You're waiting outside. Why nine? Because I need the evolutionary chain for my living decks. And then there's the gender decks. So I'll need three females and three males for the gender decks. All in all, that's nine total Torchics that I have to find shiny. I don't look forward to it. You've got two females? Lily, I'm jealous. Goodness gracious me, you are on fire today. I'm a female shiny, Yumi. Yeah, the little pixel butt munch likes it. It's so stupid. <laughs> but Blaziken and then Combuskin also have, like, differences to their gender. I am Chaotic Lumia. I am... I'm definitely looking forward to the uh, getting the Munchlax. The other ones, we can we can get them. They're not going to be too hard. But uh, Munchlax is definitely going to be a priority. I only need the one. And then we'll get a big old Snorlax from that. Uh, but yeah, getting a lot of those baby Pokemon. Oh, that'd be great. One thing I have to ask. What is the increase on? Is it a shiny increase? Is it a mark increase? They're on fire, Mordred. We said not us. <laughs> God damn it. No, Mordred, no arson. <laughs> it's a mark, so high chance of vigor. Okay. Well, that still shouldn't be too bad. Home is down for 10. Oh, I didn't know home was down. That's okay. We can continue to just constantly grab some shinies in the meantime, and then later on, we'll put all of them back into Pokemon Home. I think it's been more than five minutes, Carissa. I haven't found a shiny yet. I am your Torchic, your female one. Did you written it right? I think so. Well, Torchic's name is a bit uh, incorrect. But that's alright. I know what you mean. You just watch him do work, tells me to get it now, and it just throws any type of Pokeball. <laughs> what Pokeball did you throw then, Lily? You mean Lucky Charm cereal? I've never had that. Is that any good? We don't have Lucky Charms here in Oz. 42 seconds, trust. All right, Carissa, I will trust. Imagine Maractus evolution into a grass fire type fire dancer. That would be cool. Don't get me wrong. That would be cool. It's really good. I guess I'll have to try it. You win it for a fast ball? But not a quick ball. Maybe the true shiny was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> Sounds like you're trying to get out of uh, your trust scheme there, Carissa. Guess you're the oddball? God damn it, Maz. You're not an oddball. None of that. No naughties. I'm getting chilly. I need a blankie. Not seeing a shiny in the distance. Wait, 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 wait. Little sneaker up here. Okay, no, he's, he's good, he's good. Long vision. Hopefully that's going to be a bit better. 
right, where's a blankie? I'm chilly. Uh, you need a blankie too? You feel cold? Ow! I hit my funny bone. It was not amusing. Now I'm wrapped up in all the little blanky. I am now cozy. Much more cozy. Nice and warm. Yeah. It's the owl out of nowhere. I hurt myself. I hit my funny bone on my chair. But now I'm all wrapped up in a blanket. You, me, come cuddle. I'll wrap you up in the blanket too. You can stay nice and warm with me. Wrapped like a burrito? Yeah. Maybe not an edible burrito though. No eating the birdie. Bad idea now. I feel cozy. All nice and warm. I just sit back, relax, and fall asleep. I hit myself in confusion. You know what? That would be way more intelligent than just hitting myself in general, Munchlax. Birdie Toe. I hate it, Carissa. <laughs> oh. Can you fill you up like a donut? A donut is hollow. There's no filling you up, Maz. Jelly filled? I love jam filled donuts. Boston cream donuts or jelly filled? I've never tried a Boston cream. I've tried a Krispy Kreme, and they're so good. They're one of my favorite donuts. Kira, hello, beautiful. How you doing? Don't make you think of donuts at 2.30 a.m. No, get the donuts. We love donuts here, Kira. Jelly donuts? You thought they were rice balls? No. Just because the Pokemon anime said that doesn't mean that's actually a thing. Mind you, it was very much inaccurate. My goodness, all of a sudden I've got a bunch of notifications. You've been craving donuts for the past week. What are your favorite types of donuts? Nothing beats a jelly filled donut. You know what does beat a jelly filled donut? Um, two jelly filled donuts. I had to think. <sighs> My brain functionality is just like I am snuggling on a blanket. Oh, did you find a score bunny shiny lily? Onigiri donuts. Can't say I've had that, but I'd be willing to give it a shot. That does sound nice, Mordred. Gotta love the four kids' localizations. Teeth? Are you talking about wisdom teeth? We'll be obliterated in the gym. No obliteration. You could go for some onigiri right now. So what I'm hearing is that we should go to a Japanese restaurant and get some onigiri together, right, Stella? That's what I'm hearing. Three jelly filled donuts? With a side of Krispy Kreme. Does mochi count as dessert? I I would absolutely say it does, Lily. I love me some mochi, but yeah, no, I, I would say that's dessert. Would you say it's dessert? Mochi donuts. Still haven't tried a mochi donut yet, Kira. Still haven't I know I've I'm disappointing you. I still haven't tried a mochi donut yet. You would say it can be? Yeah, I would say it can be too. Because you can get ice cream mochi as well. And that's 100% got to be a dessert. You're already eating one? Oh, what flavor? I love me my strawberry and um, 
uh, raspberry and matcha uh, mochi. You're swimming there immediately. You're gonna you're gonna unravel me in my blanket, Kira, and take me out. I should have a blanket redeem. Maz, can you put in the to-do list blanket redeem, please? I reckon that'll be fun. You are- Oh, I did miss your message. Sorry, Stella. So you are a dungeon master. Tonight you're making the fighter subclass based on uh, hockey users from One Piece. Eh? I got it right? Hell yeah. If Mochi is making you do the chicken dance, then it's probably not a good design. Oh, you're talking about peach runt, Mordred. I was like, why would people do the the chicken dance when eating Mochi? And then it clicked. Yeah, okay. I got you now. I got you. Dungeon Master high five. Speaking of Dungeon Masters, who here plays Helldivers? So if you've ever played Helldivers, uh, obviously there's a there's an AI that generates the enemies and how they generate them, etc. Including environments and destruction. We have dubbed that AI Joel, and we call him the Dungeon Master of Helldivers. He's a little shit. Joel loves to fuck around in our games. One and a half hour drive. Yeah, that's a long trip, hun. You make sure to drive safely, Yumi. And then when you get home, you can get all snuggly, you can get food, you can do some shiny hunting with me. You just slap Peter on in the face and make it go into the corner for punishment? <laughs> hey, some people might find that pleasing, Lily. Rolina, probably one of those people. <laughs> Enjoy a little bit of sus punishment. Blanket on the list. Thank you, Maz. I appreciate that. You adore Hell Divers and Joel. <laughs> I don't know if I adore Joel, but Joel can be really funny sometimes. Making you hungry? Get some food, Angel. You caught Zashian normal ball. Kept killing your Pokemon with that base attack. Yep, that would sound about right. Yeah, that would have taken a while to actually get him in a Pokeball as well, I can imagine. Rulina and you are good friends, but very different people. Hey, sometimes Officer attracts. I still really want to do a D&D &D story of my own. A nice custom one-shot. I reckon that'd be fun. Get a bunch of fellow streamers involved and see what chaos we can ensue. You're waiting for your spoon to heat up in the microwave so you can scoop it out easier? Are we talking about ice cream, Carissa? Kind of like a sisterhood. Ah. So, if that's the case, Lily, who's the good sister and who's the bad sister? <laughs> you can't have anything to eat until later. Are you, like, fasting or something, Angel, or is it just, like, nothing's open? Can you yoke me for a Pokemon D and D? Ooh, I'd be down to clown for that, Stella. Even just a normal D and D session doesn't have to be Pokemon. Yeah, ice cream. What kind of ice cream are you gonna have, Carissa? Are you a good witch or a bad witch? You're the goodie. She's the baddie. Too addicted to cloud. She's been dreaming about me too, Lily. Have you heard about that? Because she's been coming to my stream from time to time and mentioning how uh, she had a dream about Cloud and I was in it. And apparently I've been popping into her dreams a lot more frequently. <laughs> you always play the evil character in D&D. Why am I not surprised, Maz? Why am I not surprised? Nothing's open and you're seeing your mum later. Fair enough. Put you down the list? Hell yeah, I'm excited, Stella. That'd be great. 
Yes, yes, Yumi, I have indeed got both legendary dogs from the code. Ducky or Freddy Krueger? Why would you compare me to Freddy Krueger? She gets carried away with her fantasies. <laughs> she does a little bit, but she's still wonderful and lovely. I wonder if we will phase on a shiny. You got one that from Shield? I got all of them. I got Eternatus, Zashian, and Zamazenta. You got a Demon Slayer mini campaign and a Pokemon Breed mini campaign in the X. Oh. Very interesting, Stella. Very interesting indeed. Mm hmm. You can look at my list, Yumi. That is correct. Speaking of, I need to add the list into my um my YouTube stream uh, information for people to track along and see what shinies I have, or at least my collection so far of what I plan to do. You're good now, and Wahoo plus Eureka? Okay, what did you get? That sounds like that's good news, Lily. What did you find? And pin it down in the DC. Okay, I can do that. I can definitely do that, Yumi. I thought it was going to be pinned. Yeah, I could have sworn it was pinned. Oh, well, my bad. Going to try and tidy a little bit before bed. I feel like you should already be in bed, Kira. But no worries, sweetheart. Thank you again for popping on in, and I hope you sleep well. Pokemon Game Community? What's the event for the community? I do sleep at reasonable hours, Kira, so I can come at you. I absolutely can come at you. You think I can't? Ever eat ice cream while bundled up? Absolutely, uh, Carissa. Ice cream is life. Unless you're lactose intolerant, then ice cream is probably very painful. Wouldn't survive the snowstorms we're having right now unless I'm in your room under your blankets curled up forever staying nice and snug and warm stealing all the heat. I reckon I would survive then, Kira. You gotta find it. Yeah. Starting tomorrow you're gonna finish up your yoga class and get to your apartment. Going for Mudkip line. Mudkip and Cyndaquil. I feel like Mudkip will be easier but I know Cyndaquil's gonna be tricky. I wish you the best of luck on that one, Lily. You're a space heater? Me too. You're going to look at it at home because it's not good on the internet. Yeah. I'm guessing reception's not the best over at the hospital there, Yumi. I would love it if suddenly we get like a shiny totodile. I reckon that'd be great. The shiny we phase on just so happens to be a starter as well. I'd never guess what your favorite sweet is. Probably not, Maz. If it's not ice cream, I don't know what it would be. Chocolate? Chocolate feels like a safe bet. But here you are in a desert valley. Well, that also makes a lot of sense. You being in a desert would definitely contribute. I wonder if we will get Heatran today. What do you reckon, chat? Do you reckon we'll get it shiny today? Do you like Jello? See, we don't call it Jello in Australia. We call it Jelly. It's all the same thing. Song of Ice and Fire type event this week. 
Oh. I see. Doing a bit of like a Game of Thrones thing going on there, Nexo. You just sit back and relax while the good old pal does the work. <laughs> He's a guy who is a man of his word. Yeah. Good men, that is, Lily. Good man. I, uh... Because I collect Pokemon cards, Lily. I, uh, you, you may have seen this. You may not have. On my YouTube channel, there is a short of me ripping up a shiny Pokemon card because someone told me to do it. And like I said in that, let it be known that I am a man of my word. I had to tear a Pokemon card in the face of people and it was so painful. You have 600 points, and what do you plan to do with those points, Yumi? Are we getting 2,000 on Heatran? Probably. It's very possible we'll get there tonight with that Nexo. What hunt are we doing now? Addy, we're doing Snivy still. We need one more. And still just doing Heatran in the meantime. You've seen it? Oh, goodness. It was so hard to do, Lily. It was so difficult. <laughs> now you want cheesecake? Give me some. I want the cheesecake. The last with a blue dog. Blue dog. Blue dog. Okay, shiny Pokemon that's blue. And his dog. Rockruff? Oh, like last time. Yeah, okay, yeah, you did jinx it last time with me in the rock rough. How could you? Haven't forgotten about that, Yumi. I remember. Despicable that was. You wouldn't do that to your collection? Someone paid me 50 bucks to do it, though, Lily. And in retrospect, I was like, I can buy this card as a single for way less than 50 bucks didn't make it easier though did not make it easier it still hurt it hurt a lot to do that and it was funny for you yeah I know it was Yumi ow could have been 500 I highly doubt someone would tear me uh, tear me would pay me $500 to rip a card like that. You're not that evil? I don't know, Maz. I don't know. You can have an evil streak to you, that's for certain. What if it was a donation out of nowhere? Well, would it be in relation to me actually wanting to rip the card, or would it just be a donation for the sake of being a donation? Those are the questions I need to ask. Made them mad? I don't think they would tear me, Mordred. If anything, they'd just cook me and eat me, as they keep threatening to do on a daily basis. It touched 43 Celsius today? Gross, Addy. Gross. No, thank you. You got me there? I'd say you did, Lily, yeah. Hiya, Justin. How you doing? Welcome on in. You make a bet with me, but your card needs to go into the yearly car check, so it'll cost too much. That's okay. That's okay, Yumi. Do not stress on that. Ugh, thank you for the hydrate. Thirty degrees there with the clouds. That sounds like a good thing, though, Elite. Don't get me wrong. Still pretty hot. Still pretty hot. It'd probably be a warm night too. I'm going to guess. What's the other for being too kind? Um. I don't know. I, I I don't know, Lily. 
Well, if someone was going to be very kind to do that, I don't know, I'd probably... Well, I don't know, blow them a kiss, give them some ASMR, give them something, give them something in return. Give them absolutely something in return. Being generous. Oh, that's what you're referring... Oh, okay, no, no, I misunderstood. Whatever do Pokemon card opening streams? Carissa, I do them all the time. I think you've just missed out on all of them, but I absolutely do it. We did Pokemon card... We were just talking not too long ago, Carissa, about me doing a Pokemon card opening and then ripping a shiny Pokemon card in the process because of it. Been storming for 29 degrees Celsius? Ugh. Yeah, that don't sound fun. Uh oh, the bird is yawning again. This does not bode well. Where's my partner at? What do you mean by that, Lily? Don't go EP? Not yet. Talitha, hello, how you doing? My favorite Pokemon, my partner Pokemon. I'm gonna say Shuckle. But there's no Shuckle in this game, so no partner Pokemon out and about running. You just heard the ripping cut. Ah, okay. Yeah, no, it was still on stream, Carissa. You can actually go over to YouTube, Carissa, if you want to see the... See the clip of me tearing the card up, be it over on YouTube or TikTok. Your favorite Pokemon is Mew? Yeah, we know that one. I love the Mew shiny. Very, very pretty. Definitely understandable. I can see that, Lily. I can see that. I do have a shiny Hisuian Lilligant. Unfortunately, it's under a different original trainer name. Gonna go lurk and get some cooking food? All good, uh, Elite. I do wonder how long it'll take us to get the new shiny. <sighs> That's so mean, Maz. Slipping down my chair, I'm shrimping a little bit. I'm sorry, chat. Yeah, exactly. Yumi has a very fair point. Mewtwo was brought into the earth by scientists. Mewtwo didn't ask to be brought into this world, and yet we did it ourselves. Does anyone say Zashian is Zag Zarkon? I definitely don't. I say Zashian. What about you, chat? Does anybody say it like that? Mew didn't ask to be needled either. Ah. Misconception, Maz. Mew was not needled. Mew did not get the needle. They found a fossil of Mew's eyelash. Two favorite flowers giving you a golden tiara with pink rose gem as a fan art. That sounds pretty. You take your spare time. That sounds a lot like me when I do my little projects on how much it sounds, um, how much time I take on it. You forgot about the fossil? Yeah, that's how they did it. It was the fossil. 
Bye bye internet. Bye bye Yumi. Hey Avesta. How you doing? Okay, chat. I'm gonna be right back. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom, stretch my legs, and play a three minute ad. I won't be long. Hello, Pixie! How are you, sweetheart? Welcome on in. Doing another Battle Royale. Best of luck, everyone. Let's see who the Victus goes out for this time around. You just tried a secret... quote, unquote, secret emoji. What was the secret emoji you speak of, Delipa? 
Facing against red with his Charizard. On a mountain and gold with his trustworthy Typhlosion using Thunder Punch against your Embor in a cave, but it's really dark. That sounds very much like uh, gold and silver and you're fighting red on top of the icy mountain, yeah? How are you doing, Pixie sweetheart? It's good to see you, lovely. So, I was feeling... Whoa! Oh, eggs. That's what that was. I was like, what are those giant big old pine cones? They're eggs. So, I was feeling a little bit tired. And I've just taken a caffeine pill. I'm curious how this is going to go down. Last time I took a caffeine pill, my god, didn't mess with me, let me tell you. That was nutty. Still improving it, it needs to be reworked. Fair enough. You're trying to wake up enough to make the sm smallest to school. Ah. You're super sleepy? I've been super sleepy too, but that's more or less my sleeping patterns. Oh, Pixie! How did things go? I hope things worked out after a while. Careful with those? Don't worry, Maz. I'm definitely going to be careful with it. Anyone heard of Splatoon? I absolutely have heard of Splatoon and played it. Apparently they have an event called Splatfest going on right now, Talitha. Or is that now ended? I, kn I know it was going on. It's alright, guys. It's just the one. It's just the one. Coffee at 5pm. It's not even 5pm. It's 7. The fact that I'm having micro-sleeps, though, that's the problem. So that's why I took the caffeine pill. I'm glad to hear that, Pixie. I'm glad. I'm hoping everything's good and you're feeling a bit better about it. And that it's a weight off your shoulders, too. That's the important part. Can have the side effects? They can, they can, true. We'll just have to see how it goes. It was drums versus guitar versus keyboard, and keyboard won. Get your fingies off me, no head patana! Why must you touch the birdie? Hello, sweetheart! You all home now? Hello! I've just taken myself a caffeine pill, Lena. So, uh, might be interesting. Your home. Freedom! What have you got planned today, lovely? Pill? Yeah. I took some nodos. You've had nodos before, haven't you, Anna? I was having a, I was having some micro sleeps a little bit, and I'm like, mm, I don't want this to happen, so uh, let's let's do something about it and see how it goes. I might be in for a wild ride. I guess we're going to have to wait and see. You gotta play some more Dragon's Dogma? You've never taken them? Ah. Well, let's be honest. Your sleeping patterns are amazing in comparison to mine. <laughs> a Pro Plus. I don't know what a Pro Plus is, but essentially it's just a caffeine pill. Just to help keep you up and going full of energy. So, fingers crossed it's gonna be good. Fuck yeah, you are, hell yeah. You've been loving it, haven't you? I've been seeing so many people jump on board with it. Wait, is that a shiny? Hold on. No, it's not. Okay. Disappointing. You have to get up for work, so you kind of have to sleep. Yeah. But you're, you're pretty well disciplined. You will force yourself to go to bed. For me, it's so hard sometimes where I'll just be like tossing and turning. And then when that happens... Then my sleeping patterns go out of whack, and you know, we go from there to like, until I'm basically a nocturnal creature. <laughs> oh, good Lily. It was lovely to meet you, and I hope to catch you again in the future. You sleep well, hun. Good night and sweet dreams. Nizumi, hello. You're starting to want to give up on the shiny Fennec, and really, why is that? Seventh or so replay. <laughs> Come on. Scarlet and Violet's got an easy way to get a shiny Finnegan. You know you want to do it. Be one with us. Join us, Nazumi. 
When you do not go to work, you go to bed at like 4 a.m., <laughs> which is bad. It is bad. I will say that. I won't encourage it. But do I blame you? No. No, I really don't. You want it on an X and Y. Well, it's going to be one in 4,000. You got to keep trying. You've, you've got to be patient or stubborn. Maybe both, Nazumi. But it's going to take a good while. There can be issues with being a night creature, though. Uh, vitamin D deficiency is certainly one of them. Am I going for all three? I am Chani, so we've got two so far. We just need one more. You just live in the wrong time zone. <laughs> I like that. You know what, Carissa? I like that. I don't have a bad sleeping pattern. I'm just in the wrong time zone. Which is also referred to as jet lag. Night creature. I mean, that could be a good thing to hear. It's not a negative. You missed the bus? Rot roll. When does the next bus arrive, DSH? You're just a no-life creature. Yumi, that is not true. Each hunt do I do the full evos. I do my best, yes. Yes, Chenny, I certainly do my best. Not just that, if there is a gender difference, I will also attempt to grab all of them. Because I'm making multiple dexes. Actually, I was even talking to Highly Instagram. I don't know if you know them, Chani. Uh, about doing a move dex for Pokemon Home. With nothing but Smeagol. <laughs> Obviously, there's some exceptions. There's uh, three... Pretty certain it's three moves that Smeagol cannot learn. Uh, which is Struggle, obviously. Chatter, which is Chatot's signature move, followed by Terrapagos' signature move. A move dex, yes. What is a move dex? Basically having a Pokemon... Uh, having a dex, a Pokedex that has each and every single Pokemon move in it. Welcome back, Elite. Sacred Fire does not make contact, but it is a physical attack. Yeah, why the hell is Sacred Fire a physical? Apologize for the spam in our group chat. I've been seeing the night. It, it, it just says 9 plus to me on Discord. <laughs> That's okay. I'll check it later, though, Anna. What about all creamy with her form? So, Talitha, we have each and every single shiny all creamy form. Uh, and right now, I'm collecting the base all creamy form. I'm just being lazy with it. Uh, mostly because I'm trying to figure out what Pokeballs would go with what per uh, what what color of all creamy on the form. But yeah, we've got every single shiny, so I've already got all 56 of them, believe it or not. Um, but here's here's the normal all creamy. And Tia, get over it! <laughs> it's cream! It is a thing that we eat. Just like Maz, get over moist. <laughs> so I can say it. <laughs> Goodness gracious. You still got normal creamy, you didn't evolve them. Yeah, same here. I've still got my um my milceries. I've started getting some of the old creamies, just depending on what happens. I I do need to wait for dusk. You didn't do anything. No, I'm telling you to get over your fear. <laughs> Yeah, what's wrong with cream? Cream is delicious, especially on cake. Like, not to mention, um, what do you call it? Scones? Scones and jam? Oh. Come on, you've got to have some cream with that, man. Still can't face, then. What do you mean by that, Yumi? Every time you use that little giggle, I know you're being dirty in some way, but I legit don't know what it is you're trying to say at this point. Your bed would be an infestation. I get that, Nazumi, and I'm a little disturbed. All creamy shiny is bad. See, it's only bad because you can't see the colored 12 form. But I think it's a good shiny. I actually like the shiny of it. You obviously can't see all the forms. 
You want to know what a bad shiny is, though? Slowpoke. Slowpoke's a bad shiny. Can't even freaking tell the difference on that thing. What is cream made of? Milk, Carissa. Milk. You still can't see them and the dirty face was for cream. <laughs> fair enough, Yumi. Fair enough. Scones and jam. Right, Pixie? So you get it. You get it. See, Pixie's my homie. We'll have like a little scone, jam, and cream date. Maybe with some wine. I don't think it'll really go with wine, let's be honest. But you know what? Alcohol's still good at the end of the day. It's a staple tea food? I know, I know. <laughs> you gotta remember, I'm half Brit. Did I get a shiny slowpoke? I did not. I know what it looks like, but I, I, I personally haven't got one. It's a reference to black licorice. Wait, really? Wait, is all shiny creamy a reference to licorice? How? It's meant to be cream. It's whipped cream. Bad Maz, bad. Just because I'm talking about alcohol? No. Drink water. We're shiny Espeon and Dragonite. Uh, Nido Queen, don't forget that. Nido Queen's terrible. Uh, Espeon's my most hated EV evolution. Its color is in reference to it. But why? How? How is how is the black color in reference to licorice? Because there's out, there's black shiny Pokemon. Like, what's the reference to that? I like how everyone's on Maz now. Hydrate, woman! Get that water. It's food, but it's cream. It's cream. Licorice is a sweet. I don't understand. I, I, I personally don't see how it is a reference to licorice. You were perfectly fine and didn't get an addiction. It's overhated. Okay, uh, Nazumi, let me give you some context. Maz does have a problem, and we're trying to prevent Maz from getting in the habit of drinking on a daily basis. That's why we're talking about it right now, Nazumi. <laughs> I think you're just missing the context here. This is why we're very much ripping on Maz here. We want to make sure Maz is looking after herself. That's the important part. Fire. Welcome back, Kira. Water toast? Wait, what's water toast? OJ is good. OJ is lovely. Actually, you want to know what? No. Apple juice is better than orange juice. Change my mind. But what is Water Toast, Kira? A toast, but with water. Is it just soggy bread then, Kira? Is that what you're trying to tell me? OJ's better than Apple, in your opinion? Change my mind. Come on, do it. Do it. Change my mind. You're going to get some apple juice right now? Get me some Nexo. I want some apple douche. He's a jolly good fellow. I, I I mean, I know that song, Kira. But... Copenhagen. Boyfriend isn't here, so two weeks you get... Yeah. You're going to be a busy gal, Pixie. Mango juice. Ooh, okay. Okay, you know what? Mango juice. You know what? No, I'm, I'm going to one-up you. Mango juice is nice. Mango sorbet is where it's at, though. Oh. A cheers? So is a cheers like water toast? What? Oh. Oh, my God. Okay, I get it, Kira. I get it. No, 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 no. I get it now, lovely. Okay. When you said toast... I thought you were talking about cooked bread. So you're toasting with water. I see. I understand now. Oh my goodness. Because here I thought you were just talking. I thought you were saying there's a type of toast that is called water toast. And I'm like, how does that work? Oh my fucking God. I am so stupid. I am so sorry, Kira. I am so sorry. <laughs> A cheer- well, 
A toast. You're, you're correct. We do call it a toast. You make a toast to people. We say cheers as well, but that's not a toast. Cheers and toast are, are quite different. But my god, my brain. You want headed bread with butter? Don't you mean heated bread with butter? Pineapple and kiwi juice. I've never had kiwi juice. What is kiwi juice going to be like? I see a beautiful sexy sage in my chat. How are you doing, gorgeous? Toast on the brain. I just recently had a triple cheeseburger. I'm, I wouldn't say I'm that hungry. Yes, heated. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say headed bread. What are you going to do? Rub your head all over the bread? And that's headed bread right there. Maybe you'll get some extra dandruff. <laughs> you know, add some seasoning to the bread. <laughs> you drink ketchup? I don't know how I'd feel about just drinking ketchup. I'd feel like I'd need it with something. At least with some chips, man. Pineapple, kiwi, papaya. A slippery time. Look, when you said slippery time, my mind immediately went to the gutter. Just immediately went to the gutter, and I feel like we were talking about sexy time right there. An idiot sandwich. Yeah, that's headed bread right there. <laughs> now you want some noodles? Who doesn't like nudes? Let's be honest. We are moving on, are we, TR? Are we moving on? I don't know. I think we'd stay on the topic. <laughs> Why did you hear this when you get back? Who knows? Maybe the universe is just after you, Nexo. You try not to fall asleep and then hearing sexy time. Hey, look, I've got to keep you awake one way or another. All right. Surely we will get our shiny very shortly. I don't think it'd take too much longer now. We're slowly getting there, chat. Why are we talking about 18 plus in this stream? This is an 18 plus stream, Nexo. That's why. You understand that this this is actually for audiences at 18 plus. And you missed naughtiness? You did miss some naughtiness, Pixie. You did. You tagged the wrong person. <laughs> Yumi. Uh, are you trying to tell me you are under age, Nexo? Is that what this is? And there's Kira with the innocence. <laughs> oh, don't be sad, Pixie. If you want me to fill you in, we were talking about um we we're talking about a fruit juice. It was pineapple, kiwi, papaya. And Tia said it's a slippery time, and my mind immediately went to the gutter about being... about being that. Hand-holding is rated triple Z material. Then let's make some triple Z material every single day of the week, Kira. Can I get a shiny Snivy again? Hello, devil. How you doing? You're just watching the drama unfold, Talitha? <laughs> Your brain would too, right? So it's not just me then. Hiya, Triggs! I have been incredibly busy, but am I doing well? Yeah, yeah, I'm getting there. Look, I could definitely be better, and I won't lie about that. But I could also be a hell of a lot worse, so I'm, I'm good, I'm good. You got a girlfriend, you say? Aww! Congratulations. I'm sure you two are both very happy. That's exciting. Arguing and telling someone. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's a lot of fun chaos. Very controlled chaos, but fun. 
Watermelon strawberry juice is good. Watermelon juice is good. Strawberry juice, however. I'd love to try some. I've never had that. The same girl you were talking about. Ah. You were just here? Yeah, just chilling, Talitha. You finally 100% Kirby in the Forgotten Lands. I still need to play it, Triggs. I've been so bad. I really need to play it. Blue-Eyed Samurai, so you're very unhinged right now. Are you, Carissa? Is it... Is it a bit of a naughty kind of anime, Carissa? I've, I've heard of it by name, but I know none of the context or the details of that. One for the ring finger and one for the middle. Aotia? Wow. Ladies, please. See, it's things like that that just help pass the time. Especially while I'm sitting here running around looking for slightly different colored pixels. Needed one last figurine and to cool Ah, for 100 percenting I do love my collectibles in games. You're going to test something to test the dirtiness. Okay. As long as it's not too far left field to litter, it is allowed. We do, we do allow some lewd slash horny comments as long as it's not excessive. That's the important part. And as long as it respects other people too. T is more dirty than you. Tia is absolutely lovely, and I know Tia has an incredibly dirty mind, but I know Tia is also very... Tia's very careful in my streams about it. But trust me, if you see that girl unhinged, oof. Let me tell you, I need a fan and I need a cold shower. Respecting people? Imagine respecting others? So disgusting? Nazumi, how dare you say such things? Sus, not sub. Look, a sub can be sus. Tia be slamming and jamming. Okay, I got a really weird mental image in my head when you said that, Kira, because... Yes. Yes, that could sound sus if you try and make it sus. Holy water can't get Tia clean. <laughs> Holy water isn't about making someone clean. You need to say what I first think of? Why? Why do you need to hear that for? Just because I think something doesn't mean I say it. Sometimes it's wise to like let a thought just be in your head rather than let the thought go running wild like a little toddler. Lollipops. There you go, Talitha. A sussy sub. I mean, you can get a sussy sub. You can get a sussy dom. You can get a sussy switch. You can get a sussy sussy. <laughs> you get lots of circling back to the full complete on certain stages. You just got to be patient, Kira. You got to be patient. Not that dirty minded. I don't always try and make things dirty. You have a sussy whip. Where does that fall? Wait, do you actually have a whip, Kira? Real real question. Do you have a whip? Because I know you do a lot of um, Renfair sort of stuff and like all that. But I couldn't imagine that they'd have whips. I imagine swords and shields and wands and all that, but a whip... Reggie Alecki light bulbs. I could see that. I could see that next though, but hold on. Why Reggie Alecki? And why not Rotom? Rotom would probably make a really good light bulb. And switch to Shiny Soft Reading. S yeah. Soft Reset Snivy. Oof. I wish you the best of luck on that one, Nazumi. If your brain thinks that's an ugly baby. Months go. Wow, lady, you got one ugly pain. <laughs> Goddamn. What is a whip? You don't know what a whip is, Yumi? Like whipped cream, right? No, 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 no. I'm talking... Whoosh, talking that kind of whip. 
G'day, Ouroboros. How you doing? Ouroboros? Did you ever get that shiny... Should I even bring up the shiny Zapdos? I feel like maybe I shouldn't. But I haven't heard... Haven't heard about it for a good while. I'm just trying to remember if you, like, have actually got it or you've, like, moved on from it. If you move it fast, it cracks loudly. It's really satisfying sound. You're doing some Tapu Lele DAs. Ah, that's one I need to do eventually as well, Ouroboros. Need to get that damn shiny. Yeah, you ended up Googling it there, Yumi. So now you know what a whip is. You still hate the electric bird. Okay, so I won't bring up the electric bird. Still taking forever on this Heatran, though. So in German, it is... Peitsch? Peitsche? I probably am butchering that. I can't speak other languages. I can just make the sound effect. And leave it at that. You have a Coridon now? Nice, nice. Are you on Scarlet or are you on Violet, Talitha? <laughs> Who does the USA Festival circuit look up? Jacques Zewipa. <laughs> are you sure it's just his talent for cracking whips, Kira, or is there more going on there? You're on Violet. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, getting Karate on on Violet, obviously, a little bit tricky. Touch trade, or have you got, like, one permanently? You don't like whips or paddles. You prefer flesh on flesh contact. But you can have whips for some fun, Maz. I mean, maybe a bit of half and half there, Yumi. Bit of half and half. You're a sucker for a hot man that is good at wordplay. <laughs> How would you rate my wordplay then, Kiro? If anything, maybe you just would prefer to rate my ASMR. Ugh. The whole chat has you blushing hard at the convo. We're not even being that unhinged either, Tia. That's the funny thing about it. This is relatively tame. I know there's been plenty worse. But no, I'd, I'd say this is nice. This is this is acceptable. Thank you for the hydrate. You like some leather accessories. Has anyone actually worn leather clothes? Because I have. They made me sweaty as all crazy, and you can feel the sweat. It is not comfy. For, for, for context, I was cosplaying. I was cosplaying a character, and they wear leather pants, so I did that. Just an average ducky stream? True. True, Ouroboros, it is. Leather is too hot. In the summer, it definitely is. Very uncomfy, too. <laughs> Aranea, you're doing your research. Hello, beautiful. It's good to see you. I hope work's going well for you, honey. Hello, vamp. It's good to see you as well. Look at all these cuties coming in all of a sudden. All right. Give me a few seconds, chat. My, uh, my 3DS just crashed, so I just need to reboot everything. Shouldn't take too long. You're black. I did not know that, Talitha. Nexo Lord, you self-destruct. Why do you want Nexo Lord to blow up? That sounds very violent. It's super effective. So... Mind you, self-destruct has never been self uh, super effective. Unless refrigerate. Unless refrigerate, and then obviously it goes by stats that way. 
You're trying to open up Not Safe for Work Riot in comms soon, so you're trying to demonstrate your ability. Oh, interesting. Tia actually does do um, some fanfic writing. Um, I do know that Tia's done some Not Safe for Work stuff also. Maybe you guys could bounce some ideas off one another. I saw Nexo Lord, I saw. Okay, 3DS has finished restarting. Let me retry and reconnect. There we go. You did this yesterday? Did what yesterday? You got up not too long ago and did it yesterday? Oh, you mean the time that you woke up? Yours are really unhinged. I quite liked yours, TL. Some of the stuff that I've read. You've read one fan fiction, it was cursed. Was it <clears throat> Was it called Fifty Shades of Grey? You did the emote a lurk one? Oh, that's your lurky emote. I didn't realize that was a lurky emote. Sorry, my bad. You made that all yourself, Vamp? Vamp, um, I still do need to get a hold of a reference of an image that you would like me to do pixel-wise. When you get a moment, obviously. Uh, but on April, I do want to see if I can focus and dish everything out and get it all sorted. Because that's the plan. And hopefully we can go from there. Are you the only one that likes murder stories with no good ending? No, I've 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 not read, but I have watched and like played games that have like murders in some way that don't have a good ending and they make for some good stories. So long as the storytelling is good. Um no, I definitely like them. I definitely like them. If, I mean, look, if a if a story's good, a story's good at the end of the day. You know, it doesn't matter what happens in it. But I would certainly say you're not alone, Talitha. Fifty Shades of Grey was not it. No, it really wasn't. And the fact that it was meant to be a Twilight fan fiction as well, Tia. Kira's a cat person like you. Yeah, you want to know? I feel like I attract so many cat people in my chat. Look, I may be a bird, but that doesn't mean you cats are going to eat me. The pen display is really good to draw with. Oh, you've been using like a Cintiq, or, uh, uh, like a tablet? We are psychologically best friends then. Is that how that works? The book is better than the film? I wouldn't know. I don't I don't have an interest in watching either. I'm like, no, thank you. You like reptiles? Reptiles are okay. I don't mind them. You're a cat girl? I know. See see what I mean, Carissa? You see what I mean? It's either a cat girl, cat lover, just just all around something to do with a feline. And then there's this bird in the middle of it all. People say you have mood swings. Have you gotten tested? Maybe there's a condition you've got to live They didn't make you interested or uncomfortable. That's how you know they weren't very sexy. Uh, that's definitely a good way to find out. You know, experience the content yourself. Does it make you feel certain ways? Blah, blah, blah. And go from there. You just love animals so much. Why does it have to be cats? Ow. Think about working on the next time you draw. Okay, that's fair. And again, there's, there's not a massive rush for it. Vamp, obviously. But I do want to try and get it out there as soon as possible, just so everyone can enjoy it. That's the important part. Because, I mean, this is... I've been holding onto this for a long time. It's about time I get this out in the, out in the open and done and dusted. Ow. Cats make the world go round? That is a dirty, filthy lie. Well,
world merge. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing uh, wonderfully today. Big cats are not fun to work with. Have you worked with them before, Amy? Cats are so silly with friendships and silly you share. I mean, all animals can be silly. But cats will have slaves and dogs will have masters. Don't you ever forget it. <laughs> Hello, Slim. How you doing? Cats are believed to be goddesses in disguise. Wasn't that something in um Egypt times that they felt that goddesses were... Uh... Sorry, cats were goddesses in some way? Oh, really, Ami? That does sound exciting, but also maybe really sad and stressful. You don't mind being a slave? Ayo, hey, Carissa. Depends what kind of slave we're talking about, right? <laughs> On Kitty Island... Surely that wasn't actually the name, Maz. Surely it wasn't actually called Kitty Island. Who am I shiny hunting today? We're looking for a snivy today, Slim. Have been bitten by so many things. Oh, snakes included, I take it too. Your AO3 accounts, or is it better to keep it to PMs? AO3, AO3. AO3. Uh, what's the abbreviation? Kira, what's the abbreviation? What's AO3? <laughs> Archive of our own. What even is that? Is that, is that the fanfic side or something? Um, it depends. Is it a not safe for work thing, Kira? Maybe keep it to PM, uh, personal messages, if that is the case. Otherwise, hmm. It's not a picture. You could potentially maybe do it in general chat. Just thinking to myself a bit there. Only the best fan fights. Fan okay, fair enough. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind it being in the general chat personally. It's creating a conversation. But yeah, if, if there's pictures attached to it, keep the pictures where the pictures belong in their certain categories. It's like more than Wattpad. Ah, so you're on there too, are you, Tia? Murder and Pain is so fun to look at, I disagree. If you're having fun watching someone get murdered or be in pain, that is very concerning mentally. Don't talk about that cursed site. Okay, there's a story, Emmy. What is... What's the story behind that? You're a part of Wattpad 2 as well, Maz? Yeah, but watching crime series are just fascinating. Finding fun in murder, though? I don't know about that. Like, I could I could sit there and I could be interested in crime scenes on, like, how they deduce DNA, how they collect things, how they try and put the dots together. Uh, trying to understand people's psyche. Those things are interesting. But the act of murder itself entertaining is concerning. That's what I'm getting at. I mean, a hell of a lot of shows all of us like have murder in it. Let's take Game of Thrones, for example. But do you get what I'm trying to explain? About eggs and bread. <laughs> of all the things to write about, that's fascinating. <laughs> that's a bit of an odd one. You get it, Yumi? 
Yeah, but Buffy the Vampire Slayer isn't so much... Well, I mean, it is murder, but it's like killing vampires and things that don't exist, Maz. All right, we're definitely slowing down on this. The shiny needs to pop up. Where is the little guy? I think we're due for him now, don't you reckon, chat? Bunch of humans died. Yeah, well, like, again, a lot of TV shows, a lot of people die. But in Buffy, it's mostly vampires or creatures and monsters. <laughs> mm-hmm. I know, I know, Tia. I, I am definitely aware. You need a chill? No, no, you're fine, lovely. You're fine. Would you watch the K-drama about the girl that turned into a chicken nugget? What? I've heard it all now. I've heard it all now. Now we have an anime about someone being turned into a chicken nugget. <laughs> what the hell? Stephen King's Misery. Stephen King makes some amazing books, Amy. Well, again, I may not read the stuff. I have heard plenty of the stuff. The reviews as well. His movies? Oh, yeah. Talented individual. A chicken nugget. Right, Maz? Of all the things to turn into, you get turned into a chicken nugget. You literally missed the chicken phase and you immediately ran straight to the nugget phase. What an unfortunate thing. Also has a movie. Oh, does it now? Was it actually a good movie? It was nugget time? Oh, so it's no longer nugget time. Is that what you're telling me, Kira? You finished watching JoJo's Bizarre Adventure now, haven't you, um, Tia? You're all finished with that anime? And her boyfriend and dad work together. I feel like in a lot of, um... Asian animations and stuff like that, that tends to be a common thing. Where the love interest is working in the family business in some form or fashion, you know? Should have been a dino nugget. <laughs> what is the fascination with dino nuggies? They're just chicken nuggets just shaped like dinosaurs. There's no difference besides they're just a rawr. Just a dino, that's it. <laughs> they taste the same, guys. Ninety-one percent rating on Rotten Tomatoes. That sounds like a good rating. Has anyone seen Has Been Hotel? Yes, we absolutely have, Talitha. God, I, f I feel like every stream now, there's at some point we start talking about Has Been Hotel. Rar glumps me. Is that how you're gonna glump me? Allow me to glump you back in the sense. Just because I can. Dinos make everything better. I don't know. Uh, a real life dino might not make everything better. I feel like that would cause a lot of death and destruction. But maybe that's just me. But they are silly shaped. They're dino shaped. They're not silly shaped. But dino nuggies are the best. Everyone loves their freaking dino nuggies. Maybe I'm just a weird bird. Where's my bird nuggies? Wait. Hold on. I mean, nuggies are also birds, but... Where's my bird-shaped nuggies? What about a dragon? A dragon-shaped nuggy? Okay, that'd be better than a dino nuggy. It would cause optimum. <laughs> yep, it absolutely would, Ami. You're dragging your sis into it now? you finished watching it and everything now, haven't you, Kira? Now you want some chicken, Kira? Too bad, so sad. No chicken nuggy for you. Or the chicken nuggy for me. Come on, we need one more. But dinos are birds. Cockatiel nuggies, then. Humans cause chaos, we're no different. Oh, I'm not debating that at all. Where's your kitty-shaped nuggets? 
Sounds like you've now just found a business, Maz. You should make some chicken nuggets in the shape of cats. Boots and cats and 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 boots. You're obsessed with the Angel Dust song Toxic. Uh, song Poison. So is Maz, Tia. Maz loves that song so much. Cow-shaped steak. <laughs> it really is, isn't it, Carissa? You can make me into a hot birdie nuggy. Don't do that. Oh, big stretch. Woo. You sharpening your knives in anticipation for 15 minutes alone with Valentino. <laughs> Kira is wanting to go on a murdering spree. What was what was one of the characters named? The cleaning lady in Has Been Hotel. I keep forgetting her name, but I love her so much. She's my favorite. I, I don't know why I'm like thinking Spiffy. M miss m m ah, what's it called? Nifty. It's Nifty. That's the one. Nifty. I love Nifty so much. Step. <laughs> step, step, step. You're going to cosplay her? Wait, as Nifty? Are you? Is Angel not a man? Angel Dust. Uh... Did we ever find out what Angel Dust's pronouns were? I think it was he, him. Your first Pokemon OC was a Unovan named Emma that looked like an Entro Emolga? An Entro Emolga. An Entro Emolga. What's that meant to mean? Angel is a man? I thought so. I wasn't sure though. Short gremlin stabby stab. <laughs> that likes to clean and wear maids outfits. Is that you, Kira? Just a feminine fellow? Yeah. I thought as much, but I, d I just didn't want to assume. You know, the last thing that I want to do is accidentally slip up and then have the entire internet come after me with torches and pitchforks. He got such a wrong deal. I mean, a lot of them have when you think about it, Maz. Take the bartender, for example, that's under a deal with Alistair. Oh, I, I reckon I reckon there's an opportunity that they're going to expand on in the later seasons where they will get Angel Dust out of that contract. You gotta pin Val to a cork board. And do what, Kira? Yeah, where is your tits? <laughs> God damn it, Nifty. <laughs> Whatever you like. Ooh. Ayo, Kira. And wants to strap Angel Dust. Uh, I need to rewatch that again. I feel like rewatching it. Such a good time watching Husband Hotel. You put the cutest gold bat ever in Pokemon Channel. And who's the cutest po uh, who's the cutest gold bat then, Mordred? Oh, I didn't even see that snivy there. You feel bad asking him. Why do you feel bad about asking wanting to watch a husband hotel with them? You should absolutely do it. It'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, I love how Nifty just goes freaking AWOL on Adam. Step, step, step. <laughs>
You don't like asking anxiety? Okay, that's fair. I could understand that. We'd have more documentation today. Is that actually true, though? Like, what was the sciences doing that the Germans were doing at those schools and stuff? Do you know that, Kira? Ah. Your mum is back? Hell yeah, home time for you, Yumi. Charlie once said, fuck you, you old bitch. Charlie, when Charlie gets mad in Hasbun Hotel, the immediate shift in mood. Like, I wanted to see her rip a new one with um Angel Dust's contract holder. Just to see what was going to happen. Oh. Oh, I was not aware of that, Kira. You're hungry? Get some food to you. All right, Nizumi, Kira, I'm going to ask you guys to stop the topic. This is not the place for it. If you guys want to move it to DMs, that's probably better. But right now, this is not the stream for it. And I can see that there is opinions that are probably not going to be agreed upon by either side. And I do not want it to go any further. Capiche? Capiche. All right, good. Alistair changes so much when he's angry, it's scary. He really does. Have you... Oh, I've mentioned this before, actually. Has anyone seen the the VTuber model of Alistair? It's not something you can actually buy, but someone did it for fun and made it. And the accuracy of it all is actually really solid. Do you want to know mice with roll... Wait, mice will roll around when feeling threatened. Why would mice roll when they feel threatened? You never knew that Val was a butterfly and Angel was a spider until today. Is Val a butterfly? I knew Angel was a spider. Like a real fuzzy spider. But... I didn't know Val was a butterfly. Mice and bunnies will eat their offspring in stress. That I did know, but why would mice roll around when feeling threatened? Because, like, for me, when I think about it, mice, when they roll around, would expose their stomachs and stuff like that. And that's meant to be, like, a soft part. So, for dogs, for example, uh, if they're very trusting of you, they will either turn their back to you or expose their bellies because obviously, you know, soft tissue there. Um, that's where obviously all the good stuff is, all the organs, blah, 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 for your body. And exposing that is a great danger, especially in a risk. So if you're rolling around when you're feeling threatened, I don't know, that, that feels weird that mice do that. Val is a moth. Oh, okay. Well, moths and butterflies are closely related. Yeah. Well, there you go. Now we know. Hello, Relinthia. <laughs> they don't. You just made it up. You fooled us. God damn it. I trusted you. I trusted you, Carissa. Angel's a spider because his family was a crime family when he was alive. And his arms represented the corruption he extended in with the web of crime. Eh. Yeah, that makes sense. It's kind of interesting learning the lore of each, like, why each character is in hell. I think Charlie's the exception because obviously, you know, daughter of Lucifer.
God damn it, Executor! Not to mention the Farigraphs and Giraffe Rigs. Go away! I'm not hunting you guys, I'm hunting for some Snivvies. And I need just one more to finish this off. He had a moth like head? I'll be honest, I didn't pay attention much to the head to litter. I do remember the wings, but not so much the head. <laughs> Careful what you wish for, Maz. Maybe there'll be more spiders that you'll love in due time. Mice are surprisingly intelligent, yeah. You're heading off to bed? No worries, Kira. Sleep well, hun. Take care of yourself. God, it's going to be like three in the morning for you. Get some rest. It's four, actually? Oh my god, Kira, that's even worse. What are you doing? I mean, Tia, you stay up all night every night, so there's no surprise there. Kira, on the other hand. Kira being a naughty. It's 5 a.m. for you, Maz. Holy shit, Maz, why are you awake? Would a butterfly would be in hell? I mean, absolutely. Why wouldn't it be, Talitha? Two thirty p.m. for you. It's only eight p.m. for me. It's not too bad at all. You hate when you get hungry and you get comfortable in bed. <laughs> I, f I feel like every stream that is something that happens to you, Tia. Your somnia has been awful again. Yeah. Especially with some of the stress you've been going on with Kira. So I get ya. No worries, Carissa. Take it easy. Hopefully we do get a billion shinies. <laughs> is that in the morning or is that PM, Talitha? Okay, that doesn't have a blue nose. It's not a shiny. Hmm, this last one is struggling to show up for us. You know, real pain in the backside. AM. My goodness. Why are you awake to live then? Can't sleep with what's going on, but things are getting better. Yeah. Obviously, it's pretty stressful, Maz, but, you know, given some time, things will work out in the end. There's a lot there's a lot of stresses going on everywhere I I tend to find nowadays. Yeah, it's all happening, let me tell you. You haven't been able to sleep cuz anxiety school got you in a tight spot at the moment mentally. You're feeling a bit overworked, are you, Tia? The one thing you never want to do is obviously leave things to the last minute, but even then, like, you might be working on it daily and it's still never good enough, and God knows anxiety and stress will go up like that. I could definitely understand. I mean, I could have told you that, Vasta, but why, are you, why have you gone insane recently? <laughs> God, my screen is so bright because it's summer. Too bright! Turn down! Turn down the light, man. Where's, where's my dimmer switch? Medical college is fun. <laughs> yeah, that shit will work you to the bone. Speaking of 
spent three hours on by far the hardest Lego build ever. Really? What are you building, Vesta? Venomized Groot. Oh, I've seen that. That actually looks really cool. I had no idea it even existed, but that that uh, Lego build actually looks really cool. 12 to 14 hours of study for a week. Yep. Oh, easily. Easily. Yeah, the medical field is ex extremely demanding. Mind you, you get a you get a job in the medical field, you'll be set for life, but Yeah, that's that's a long study period on top of everything else, let me tell you. Now I don't know what the shiny looks like for Tinamo. No, you don't want to attack him? Okay, there you go, you're attacking him. Wasn't a shiny. I have no idea what the shiny would be for that. Now you're on holidays for two weeks. You weren't on holidays before? Well I don't understand. What were you doing before then, Vasta? What's what's now considered holidays? Oh god damn it! The freaking 3DS crashed again. All right, time to boot it back up again. Give me a few seconds, chat. Let me just reboot this thing. This is why I need a 3DS capture card so that I don't have to stream it and have it. Black out like this. Don't worry about it. I'm worrying about it. I'm asking you a question. Why are you avoiding the question, Vesta? Why are you avoiding the question? Medical field Dr. Football? What's Dr. Football got to do with it? Is there something I'm missing there? Because you can. The fuck you gonna be so confusing about? I swear. All right. Almost build it up. Eh. Okay. That ought to do it. Now, let me reconnect. Try a P. I don't see a shiny anywhere there. Hmm. Okay, looks like we're good so far. Still no shiny. And 3DS is now properly connected. Beautiful. Cool beans. Okay. Okay, give me a few seconds, chat. I just need to do something. Thank you for the hydrate. Give me a few seconds. I'm just doing something quickly, chat. Uh. Type in something here. You got some good news? You caught a gimme ghoul? Can't wait to get 99 coins. Gives you Google coins so you can evolve it. Wait, what? You mean gimme ghoul coins? Did you catch it in Pokemon Go or are you talking about in Scarlet and Violet Angel Wolf?
Okay. Sorry about that, chat. Ugh, had to do something that was needed. You're back on air? Oh, did you end up getting disconnected, did you, Talitha? You need to catch three Pokemon with a B base stat total of 400 or lower to hatch. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, because I was going to say, how could you hatch an egg in the Pokemon community game? Nope, you zoned out. Oh, <laughs> you're feeling a bit tired or something, are you, Talitha? Okay. Give me a few seconds as well again, chat. I just need to do something. Blech. All the kiddos are supposed to be... You feel like a gold star? So what are you going to do for the rest of your day then, Pixie? Have we found a billion shinies? I wish. I wish. We're still on two, Carissa. Just on the two. Well, at least now we can start doing the heat train again. Still need to find that last little Snivy, and he's just refusing to show up. We're now in three hours. We've got two, uh, two shinies, so we're a bit below average right now for the little guys. Hopefully should be able to find him soon. At least I'd like to. Depending on how generous the game wants to be. I bet you... I bet you Yumi's jinxed me again. Yeah, no new Snivy yet, Stormzy. We just need the one more and it's just not popping up for us. Don't know where he is, but we got to find it. You have no adult supervision for five days. No one here to confiscate power tools or tell you no. Pixie, I can tell you no. I can do all of that. Easy way of putting it, you're near the Steel Titan. The only Steel Titan I can think of is Reggie Gigas. Uh, not Reggie Gigas, the, um... Re not Reggie Lecky. Reggie Steel. Wow, why did I struggle to remember Reggie Steel? It was literally in the name. Trying to figure out what you can get up to. <laughs> no, I'm not going to make that comment. I was about to make a comment to you, Pixie. I was going to be like, I can tell you what you can be up to. Yeah, no, I'm not going to make that comment. <laughs> I'll tell you no in a good way. It depends. It depends. I'm just going to do it because I can. You know, they just come back from a lurk and work. Was it very productive today, Stormzy? Yeah. No, we've only got the one shine. Oh, sorry. We've only got the two shinies. Last one is refusing to sparkle. Make sure to save before you try and catch the burp. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to waste the points. Ow. Ugh, itchy nose. I had to second guess myself for a moment there, chat. Like, am I actually still getting a Snivy outbreak here? And so far it seems to be the case, but still, why are they not showing up? Dang it, you can't reload your safe? Too bad, must be corrupted. You were so tired. Get some sleep then, Vesta. Did you know competitive fishermen are called master baits? Far out. I must be one of the best competitive fishermen ever then. Boom, 
Bum, ba -da -da -bum, bum. Hmm. Waiting forever to finally get a release date. Wait, a release date on what? What did I miss, Vesta? Hold on, I've missed a message from you, Vesta. What what release date are we talking about here? What should be my lineup against Iono? Iono's an electric type uh, user, so ground is going to be your safest bet. Yeah, ground will definitely be your safest bet. The Ark animated series finally got a release date. Ark is in like the video game Ark? With dinosaurs, Vesta? That one? I didn't even know that was getting a series. Who's making it? Because they make everything up. Ugh, I've heard of that one before. That was used in my stream that you're a part of. I'm gonna put a lock on the stream if that continues. I swear to God. Wild card. I've never heard of them before. You swept the Uno with it. Whoopsie. Survived on 2 HP with confusion. That's not too bad. Hello. Who's a speedy little owl butters here? <laughs> you gotta go fast, do you, little smallest owl? Welcome on in. How you doing? Oh, come on. Let me put up the freaking thing. After the battle, masterless cattle? I don't get it, Talitha. Carissa, I hate that so much. Why are you making me suffer? What? Why? 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 But what did I do to deserve this mentality pain? You like speed? Going fast is good. Depends in the what department. Going fast isn't always good. All good, Maz. Lightning McQueen. I've seen that and heard of that so many times. Isn't it like a song or like it's a person or a show? Something like that. Where's my shiny Snivy? It's just not showing up, chat. He says, Ridiculous! Man, I could go for some cheese and crackers. That sounds delicious. Talitha's quoting Hasman Hotel? Wait, really? I honestly don't remember. I only watched it like... I mean, I binged it, mind you. I didn't realize that was a quote from Hasman Hotel. Skill issue? I know, Olympia, I know. I'm trying to improve my skills, I swear I am. Working as hard as I can. Oh. Big stretch. The V's? The V's, the V's, the V's. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The three big wads, the TV, uh, the one that's got Angel Dust's contract, and the other one, which was Camilla, right? I wonder why Alistair did, like, maybe not flee, but why he disappeared. I wonder if they'll go through that in the next season. You get more, but you're playing the PS5, so it's a side quest right now. Yeah, Valentino's a bit of a dick. You glad you finally got headphones. Damn. So what you're telling me, Tia, is that I can't make noises or moans in the 
in the stream anymore to cause you anxiety. <laughs> Who should you go up against? God, Guy Como with. I don't remember his typing. I don't remember his typing. Yeah, I, I can't help you with that one, Angel. I don't remember the typing of who he has. He has Dark? Oh, Fighting then. Fighting will definitely clean that up. Ow. Fighting, Fairy. I'm slowly getting there, Nozumi. Slowly getting there. I just need to remember to soft reset more often. It should be a lot faster, but... Yeah, no, nah, it's a bit slow. It's as slow as these damn Snivies. Two shinies and we're still lacking one. My nose is really itchy right now and I want to scratch. Uh, uh. Much better. Thanks for the lurk, Vesta. Get some rest. I hope you sleep well. Welcome back, Maz. You only f go fast in go-karts? Is that also with shells and bananas? And stars and bullets? I do need to play some Mario Kart again. But it's good to hear you're being responsible. Here's a good little burby. Ugh. <sighs> Come on, man. Where's the shiny little sparkly snake? Just need one more. Just one more. Give me even one more. I feel like at this rate, you're watching has been Hotel Talitha. You wish carts were real, the Mario carts? Why would you wish them real? They do not feel so road safe in the slightest. I don't want the chaos. I want the shiny so that we can move away from the chaos. I can agree with some statements. Sometimes it's good to act your age and actually grow up. But as long as you're not harming anyone as well, you can kind of do what you want, you know? Don't be a jerk. Be mature, but you can certainly enjoy the things that you could be seen as childish, like playing with dolls. Your late 30s have refused to grow up. Hell yeah. Stick it to the man, Pixie. Oh, Silver was here earlier, Vasta, but I'll let I'll pass on the message. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint, this is not where it ends. And then he flees. I have to wonder who has a contract on Alistar? Like, why did he disappear? That's definitely one of the big mysteries I want to find out. Because some big wigs got a hold of him. You watching cartoons? Me watching cartoons as well, TL. Nothing wrong with cartoons. Doesn't that mean you're 21? Maybe, maybe. Is that how old you feel, Pixie? You're hungry for freedom like never before. Yeah, you're just quoting a whole bunch of Hasman Hotel now. 
Your bet is on Lilith. I was thinking that too, Tia. I was thinking that. I wonder what Alistair is going to do with the contract he has with Charlie. Mm. I wish season two would hurry up and get here so I can watch it. You think my joke went over my head? Hold on. Wait, was it? Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I think I get the joke. I think I get the joke. I think I get the joke. Is that the joke? Pixie, is that the joke? I DM'd you. Is that the joke? I'm wondering if that is the joke. That was Pokemon going, not too bad. We got two shinies, but the, it's getting a little bit slower. We could definitely go for a bit more. Hello, welcome. It's good to see you again. Hello, wide. POG? I mean, I play Pokemon pretty frequently. Wide? Uh. That is the joke? Okay, I was right. Yeah, that's the joke. I, I got the joke, chat. I got the joke eventually. Why is it telling me I don't have enough space? Ugh. They can never capture the impact of anime fights. True, true. I can I can definitely see that. Help you choose. Alright, Tia. I would say sandwich. Let's go sandwich. Did you hear about the joke about the gas lighter? Yeah, you already told me that joke, Carissa. Pretty much just reversing it. Uno reverse on Carissa right there. Looks so much more badass. It is, but you haven't. Except you have, Carissa. You have told me it. I like how Talitha's just vibing over here, just quoting Hasbun Hotel. Uh, yes, that is correct. However, it also introduces the shiny charm. So you have a greater chance of getting shinies as well. When you complete the Pokedex, that is. Did someone else tell me? No, you told me, Carissa. You told me the joke. I am so evil here. <laughs> you remember telling me the horse and the tuna piano one. No, 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 you've told me the gaslighting joke, yeah. No. I know I know it, you've told me the gaslighting joke. I don't think he realizes, chat, that I'm actually gaslighting him. And that's part of the joke. Because he was going to gaslight me with the joke. But now I'm gaslighting him, thinking that he's told me the gaslighting joke before. When really, I'm just gaslighting him. Alright, secret between us, chat. Don't tell Carissa. Dearly beloved, we're having a wedding all of a sudden, are we, Talitha? You sitting here confused as fuck. You thought I was cooking with gas? Oh. Uh... Then what's the gaslighting joke? 
I already told it to you, Carissa. One quote made the whole school think you're gay. And what was this quote? Very little sleep. Hope others caught up. You're good, you're good. You cringe every night. Why do you cringe every night? Great husband hotel high school saying I can suck your dick. I mean, how many times has that been said? I feel like that's been said plenty. Oh, did did I say he or him, Carissa? Like I knew you were a she. Mm. If I accidentally said he her, then I'm sorry. Uh, he him, then I apologize. I could have sworn I said she. Like, cause cause I've always known your pronouns are she her. So yeah, no, that that's probably on me then. Sorry, Carissa, I didn't mean to do that. My apologies. Quoting it in high school, too, of all things. What year are you in, if you don't mind me asking? Did you hear about the glass blower who accidentally inhaled? He got stomach pain? Wait. Wait, that's meant to be a joke, but I'm not getting it. You graduated three or something years ago. How are you quoting Hasbun Hotel? Three years ago then, Nazumi. Hasbun Hotel wasn't out then. Can you tell me where you are? Uh, don't, just don't dox yourself. You can tell me what country you're in, Talitha. He, her, unlocking your... Shush! <laughs> It was a Freudian slip for Olynthia. I made a baby. Come on, where is this shiny snake? Now I've been looking for it too long. Window panes. What's a window pane? The pilot's like five years old. But do they say it in that? I don't remember if they actually say it in that. Because the pilot episode I've seen, that's when... Sh Charlie's on the news trying to um, show off uh, the, obviously the hotel and what they're trying to do. And then Charlie's like, hey, yeah, we're, we've got one person already. We have angel dust. But yeah, I don't remember that. The Cole conversation has you dying. That wouldn't be the first time. G'day, Jason. How you doing? Welcome on in. What is it? Now, three hours and 30 minutes still trying to find this damn shiny snake. It is a snake, right? I remember that line. I guess maybe I'm just misremembering it, not thinking it was from a different episode rather than the pilot. A phantom checks into a hotel. The front desk asks if he has any logic. He replies, no, I'm traveling light. I hate it. Kind of a snake, yeah, it's a smug leaf. <laughs> It's a smug, leafy snake. Ah, single V. You need a single V, Relinthia. But this is driving me mental. As someone who listens to Insane all the time, Talitha, I'm not a dimwit. <laughs> I 
I remember, like, um, as well, in one of the episodes in Hasman Hotel, how, like, they're trying to get more... What's the word? They're going to do a movie... Uh, not a movie, like an ad to try and, you know, advertise their hotel. And Angel just like, well, I can have sex with Alistair over here. And he's like, ha, fat chance. That'll never happen. You would have written a fanfic about him by now. I bet you people have already written fanfics about Alistair, even if he is ace tier. I bet you easily that would have already happened. It's kind of cute for Igoroth sleeping under the tree over there. Just a little bit. Seriously, where is this damn freaking... Ah! Come on, snake. I need more than just two. I need one more. Just one more patience wearing thin. Don't think we phased on a shiny, which is kind of nice. Yeah, probably have, but not you. That's fair. You want to watch Finding Nemo with him? Finding Nemo with Alistair? Why? <laughs> what is your favorite Pokemon, Jason, if you don't mind me asking? Or Wally? -E, either, either. I love Wally. -E. A lot of people don't really like Wally -E because there's not really much that goes on in it, and I understand. But it's so cute. Oh, and you're off. All right, take it easy, Jason. <laughs> Alistair is an ace in the hole. <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> that made me laugh so much. Wait a minute. No, that's not a shiny. Okay. I'm second guessing myself on like the normal colors of freaking Snivy now. What is going on with me? Ugh. You want to watch Forrest Gump with Alistair? Why would you want to watch Forrest Gump with Alistair? Is there something I'm not understanding here? Is that why you're wanting to watch specific movies? Or is it you just want to watch your favorite movie with a buddy and you feel like Alistair's going to be a good buddy? You're shiny, Snivy. KGF. What's KGF? I'm not good with abbreviations, I swear. I wouldn't say it's that terrible. It's hard to spot it, though, especially with all the grass and foliage. It's a movie? Okay. One that I'm just not familiar with, then. You have too many favorite shows and movies to just watch the one. That feels like me in video games. Way too many. You sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. This is ridiculous. You feel like you would hang out with Husk more than anyone else. Curious, Tia. Is that because of the alcohol? Is it because of the cards, the gambling? Why would you hang out with Husk? If anything, I'd want to hang out with Nifty because Nifty is hilarious. How many siblings you got, Talitha? Alright, chat. I... I'm going to be right back. I'm going to stretch my legs out for a little bit. Won't be long.
Okay, I am back. How cool would it have been if I popped back in and all of a sudden there's a shiny in my face? I'd love that. One can dream. Unfortunately, that does not seem to be the case. I might actually turn Battle Royale to be a uh, point redemption as well at some point, Maz. The only issue is why I haven't done that is... I don't always have stream avatars. That's the problem. I'd only have stream avatars if I'm doing Pokemon stuff, you know? So, if there's no Pokemon and there's no stream avatars, it's probably not worth having it as a point redemption. Should add like little sound effects as well when people punch and kick and, you know, all that jazz <laughs> in the little stream avatars. <sighs> Let's see if we finally will get... Ah, I really do hope we get Heatran soon. It is between Silver and Talitha. Oh, I wonder if Silver will pick up the health pack. No, Talitha going straight for the health pack. No, they missed it. And there goes Silver. Wow, wow. Talitha is the victor. Mortal Kombat sounds? No. No, that is copyrighted stuff, Maz. Naughty. Well, Nazumi, that is extremely dark. <laughs> Thanks for that, Triggs. You take it easy. Thank you for the lurk. I hope you have a fantastic night and you rest up and sleep well. I'll hopefully catch you around in your streams as well. Bye bye. I wonder how long until we do get this freaking shiny Heatran. At this rate, I am very tempted to make a sandwich, but I know that the shiny chances on a sandwich are not that much better. But this is ridiculous. Favorite drink non-alcoholic? That would be vanilla Coke for me. Hands down. I love that stuff. How about yourself, Tia? What would you say is yours? Hi, Queenie. How you doing, sweetheart? I'm guessing you popped in when I was be right back. IRL sandwich or game sandwich? Well, I highly doubt an IRL sandwich is actually going to give me some shiny luck, Peon. You can't stand vanilla Coke? I mean, I can take all the vanilla Coke you want off your hands, Ninja Bacon. Pineapple juice for you? I don't mind pineapple juice. It can be very acidic, however. Come on, Sniffy! Where's the shiny boy? Meow. Strawberry lemonade. Isn't that just pink lemonade? Red Bull for you? Oof, careful. You don't want to overdo that. Badger Blast Mountain Dew. Didn't... Weren't they cancelling Mountain Dew before? Oh, see, that's what I need. I need a flock of five. Consistently, that'd be good. Don't need the pyro. Never getting rid of Mountain Dew? I thought they were. Diet Dr. Pepper or Coke? Coke easily. I've we don't have Dr. Pepper here, I never tried so the diet version. Didn't they already have a 3D model of Snivy in X and Y and Sun and Moon? Yes, that is correct. Uh, actually, I don't know about X and Y, but definitely Sun and Moon. Definitely. Sun no, you know what? You could. Because it was Sun and Moon was the last game where you could literally get each and every single Pokemon in a national dex. Uh, since Sword and Shield and uh, obviously Scarlet and Violet following that trend, you can't get all a thousand Pokemon. Or all Pokemon from their respective generations. 
Oh, those were your choices. My apologies, Queenie. I misunderstood. You want a wing like Sephiroth? Just the just a singular black wing? Diet anything is out of the books. You hate diet drinks? Me too, Ninja Bacon. I'm not a fan. I'm okay with zero sugar drinks, but not uh, zero, uh, you know, diet variations. Also, caffeine zero Coke is terrible. Does anybody remember trying that? I don't know if they still make it anymore, but that was, that was a horrendous drink. You do, 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 do. Ba -da -da -da. Why did it take two gens for Unovians to get their starters? Ah, you tell me, Nazumi. I haven't played uh, Black and White. You gotta remember, Gen 4 and Gen 5 were the gens that I never actually played. I do plan to play them eventually, don't get me wrong. But it's been a while. Crystal Pepsi? No, I don't remember that. Definitely not a thing in Australia. They just brought back Zero Caffeine Coke. Mm, no, thank you. You can have all of it. I don't want any of it. Favorite color? Pink. Easy. That's an easy one. Pink for me. I like how my favorite color is like Yumi's most hated color. Pumpkin orange. Interesting. Not a color you hear every day. And when the 3DS released and Pokemon Black was all the hype. Fair enough. As long as, like, I know the 3DS is backwards compatible, though, because that's just a normal DS game. It was DS. Uh, it didn't release alongside them, though, but it released on the DS. But it was it was never a title that released alongside. Also, I thought for a second that the pyro that was up on top of the mountain was shiny, but... It's already despawned, so I don't know if it was a shiny. I didn't get a good glance on it. I hope not. I hope I didn't phase on a freaking pyro. Oopsie. It was eating through the can. Okay, that's terrifying. If something is eating through the can that it's holding it in, something tells me that's really bad. Quite seriously bad at that. I feel like that was around the time where I stopped watching TV and didn't see many advertisements for all of that stuff. But certain, yeah, but certain shades you despise. Do you despise the shade of grey? <laughs> Still so weird that that's a freaking book and it's loved. I don't understand it. There's a certain shade of green you hate so much. Is it olive? Olive is certainly not a popular shade. The fruit, though, delicious. Ah, oh, goodness gracious me, where is this? Oh, I didn't even see that Snivy there, but where is this frickin' shiny one? You think it is? It looks like vomit. Yeah, I could, I could see that. I could see that. Smolive's cry, cry makes you want to vomit? Why? What's wrong with Smolive's cry? It's just a weird little sound effect. It doesn't sound anything bad or, you know, vomit worthy. Please, shiny snake, please. Where art thou, shiny snakeu? 
I miss you. Sounds like it's choking on thick water. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I can listen to the Pokemon's cries, right? Smoliv, where are you? I want to listen to this. I want to see if I can hear. All right, Smoliv. Choking on thick water. Is there no way to hear its cry? I'm hearing water, don't get me wrong. I don't know about choking. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Emerald green is pretty, I will say that, yeah. Ugh, thank you for the hydrate. Like, I definitely hear the water. I don't know about the choking on thick water part. I love the description, though. Choking on thick water. Is that like it's it's in a realm between full liquid and jelly? Why did you come into not hearing choking? Uh, apparently, apparently one of the viewers thought that Smoliv sounded like he was choking on thick water. Is that what Smoliv, Smoliv's cry sounds like to you, Yaddy? You hated him? What? Welcome to the choking stream. This is not a choking stream. <laughs> you know that actually exists. Okay, so thick water actually exists. Excuse me? How? How can water be thick? That's what I'm wondering, Nexo. That's what I'm trying to figure out. What did you come into? <laughs> Hello, time. Apparently, Smoliv's cry sounds like choking on thick water. So we were listening to it, um, to its cry. Yeah, it's called semen. That's not water. <laughs> that is not water. It's between ice and water. But that sounds more of a solid than thickness. I thought it was going to be more between water and jello. Or jelly, as we call it in Australia. It's like it hasn't fully set yet, and it's still a liquid-based. Everyone's waking up and being like, what the hell are we talking about here? Why is this a conversation? Ooblek? Is that what it's called? Ooblek? Some kind of water that doctors use for patients that have a hard time drinking water. Electrolytes. Well, that's not thick water. That's just the type of fluid. Because I could put... Ow. I can put powder in my water to fill it with electrolytes. It's too early for these types of conversations. It's not too early for me. It's too early for you. If I Google it, we'll see what I mean. I'm streaming. I'll do it later. Maybe message it to me. Because I'll most likely forget. I'm not going to remember. Because we'll jump onto a completely new topic and it will be completely out of our minds after that. <laughs> Only you matter? Aww. Aren't you adorable? Thinks the world revolves around you. Yes, you do. <laughs> That's right. I forgot. You hate the baby talk. <laughs> did you have a good sleep now, did you? Yes, you did. You feeling all rested now? <laughs> and it begins. Time to make you suffer. <laughs> bye bye. Still no shiny snake though. The stuff is called thicket. I'll give you a thicket.
Honestly, it could have been way... It could be called something way worse. Thicket? Apparently it's called Thicket, yes. I assume that this is Google and like some medical stuff that Tia's looking into, but yeah, it is apparently called Thicket. You don't want to know. Are you sure about that? What is that supposed to mean? I'll leave it to your imagination. It's always fun when people get into their own heads. Because they can think of anything and everything. They could think of the worst case scenario. They could think of the things that they want most. It just means more time and fun for me. Thicket originally con concentrated food and beverage thickener. So it is a formula which means you use less to achieve your desired consistency, resulting in the consumption and fewer calories and carbohydrates. Well, there you go. That is what a thicket is. Just makes it thick. So that's what I gathered from that. Chat. This last Snivy is taking forever. It's driving me up the wall. We got two really good ones. It is now almost four hours. We are above. We are below average for our shiny count right now. We got to find the shiny boys. We got to find the shiny boys. The shiny boys aren't staying. It's not Viagra, Maz. It's not going to work with everything. <laughs> also a copywritten product, so someone farms Smolivs and make them cry to get thick water. But I thought Smolivs cry, as in like his in-game like cry. Sounds like he's choking on thick water. And yes, we're back onto it. Hi, Addy. I thought you were leaving. <laughs> yeah, we never left this topic. <laughs> you just returned at a really bad time. We are back on it. We never left it. What are you talking about? We even went deep diving into what thick it actually was and like what thick water and stuff is. The thought that came into your head is insane. Do I want to know what it is? You don't have anything to do today? <gasps> Free day for you then, time. You gonna play some games and enjoy yourself or just chill? Why did work cancel? Was Is there like some kind of storm going on or something? Or is it just not enough work? Or do you have no idea? Your brain says, no games, only stress. Ah. It's kind of funny you say that. My brain's been like, stress, high stress, only stress. Lots of stress, little stress. Eh, just a little stress. Okay, lots of stress. You want to watch JoJo's Adventure again? You're going to start right from the beginning. I mean, one could hope, though, time. One could hope. I would like to think that your work would care enough to want to, you know, make sure people are going to be okay and safe, like not go out in the danger. Hey, there's a hurricane, but can you come in today? Like, come on. 
I would like to think that there'd be some sense of humanity there. Yeah, that sucks. I'm sorry to hear that time. Hurricane's not scary? Well, that's a lie. Every time I hear about a hurricane, all I hear is about the devastation in its wake and what it causes. That sounds like danger to me. Which is scary. You've been through so many? You have. You've also been through some tornadoes. I remember you telling me. I feel like doing a prediction. Maz, you're on the PC, aren't you, lovely? Could you do a prediction? Will I get a shiny in 30 minutes? Let's do some gambling because I am wondering how long this is going to freaking take me. Get this damn shiny snivy. Now, just a shiny. Will I find a shiny in 30 minutes? Specifically, will I find a shiny in 30 minutes? That is what we gamble on. Holy moly, bull. Bull's angry. Bull's angry. Ah, excuse me. Oh my goodness. I'm really burpy all of a sudden. What's going to be so burpy? All right, predictions up. Who wants some points, guys? Get the gambers on. I don't know why I second guess myself. That's not a shiny. <laughs> I did double look at that. Being like, that's not a shiny. Or maybe it's a shiny. Maybe it's a shiny. It's not a shiny. Three points. I guess we're going to find out. You're going to do some gamba. You've never won with points here. Okay, so Tia, let me know what you're going to bet. And then that will give me an idea of will if I will get the shiny or not. Who pit on and no? You guys. You guys just want me to lose. That's what this is. So we got two votes for yes. Probably because T has voted yes means I'm probably not going to get a shiny. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I'm due for one. I should be able to get one within this 30 minutes. I really, really should. Game just being a bitch. Uh, how am I going to rig it, though, time? There's no way I can really rig it. I am forever at the mercy of RNG. If not if RNG wishes to be nice, is another thing entirely. I'll still laugh if Totodile freaking phases is a shiny for me. Because I know he's a difficult one to spot. I could just stand still. Well, that would rig it for the nose, yes. But, like, I'm, I'm going to be fair. I'm going to hunt it properly. I'm not going to be that mean. No new monster spawn. Yeah, that would be rigging it. That would 100% be rigging it. I hope I get a shiny within 30 minutes as well, Ninja Bacon. That do be the dream. That do be the hopes. Here lies Ducky's hopes and dreams. Without any chance of finding a shiny. It will not exist. 
Oh, and Yeti, this is a, a PSA for you to take your headphones and your drawing pen into work so you don't forget. All right, cool, cool. Does Heatran shiny count? Yes, it does. Yes, it absolutely does. I will laugh so hard if you still forget even after I remind you. What's really funny, uh, Relintha, Relinthia, is when we first uh, did a prediction of will I find a shiny in 30 minutes, we were shiny hunting Reshiram at the same time. And while the vote was going, I literally just finished. Uh, yes, a shiny can count for anything. That includes the shiny Reshiram. And then it absolutely pops up in front of my face. That was glorious. Shadow, hello. Wonderful to meet you. Welcome on in. You don't like being called out like that? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. You voted yes. Time has faith in the RNG gods. I'll be honest, because of how long it's taking me to even get my third and final shiny Snivy, I'm not trusting the RNG gods right now. Um, mods, whichever one can do it first. In my to-do list. Can we put TikTok book... Sorry, can we do book talk uh, readings, please? Just in the to-do list? I'm going to try and do some of that stuff during April. Uh, what's funny enough is, like, Anna and uh, Emery are, like, talking about all the book talk stuff and how they're really enjoying it. So I'm like, okay, maybe I should do some readings and give it an experiment and see how it goes. You forget things all the time. Me too, if I'm a honest. Me too. What do I mean, book talk? I mean reading books on TikTok and stuff like that to you. Like how other people do it. Because, look, for the longest time, you guys have asked me to do smut and book talk. For the longest time. Am I going to read to you? Potentially in little shorts. Yeah, that's the plan. So I thought I'd give it a go. If it's really been demanded that much, I mean, why not? Don't ever do it for the books named the fourth wing. No worries, I can avoid that one. When did we ask about smut? A long time ago. A long time ago, Tia. Uh, it was the day Haven discovered me, in fact. Uh, Haven popped into one of my ASMR streams. And Haven was like, look, you should do smut. You should do... Uh... Book talk, you, you honestly should do a lot of reading with the voice that I have. I've got a good voice for smart reading. Yeah, people have said that. People have said that. Do not do a book named Hunting Ad Adeline? Is that how you say that? Adeline? What's wrong with the book, if you don't mind me asking? Read us the Harry Potter books? I'm not reading an entire book, man. Hell no. Nah. The doctor said you need a follow-up with an MRI since the X-ray can't find anything wrong. Mm. Well, hopefully they find out what's wrong soon, Seraph. And also, hello, Seraph. It's good to see you, lovely. A lot. It's a dark romance book. Oh. Have I read Hunting Adeline? Me? Absolutely not. I don't really read books at all, so like... Even just jumping into book talk in general, I wouldn't know where to begin because I, I haven't really read. Like, what's the things that are in? What do people like listening to? So that sort of stuff, you know? What about the Magic Treehouse books? Ah, I don't know. I don't know time. I know not of these books. Again, not a book reader. Mistborn, I have read no books. Uh, this is not a joke. I have read no books.
They're children's books? Oh. Well, I mean, I did read Go the Fuck to Sleep. And Brenda's Beaver. Let's be real. I have read some of them. But does that really count? Because I don't think it counts. Get out? What do you mean, Relinthia? Why are you telling me to get out? It's true. I, I don't read books. I don't buy books to read at all. Just like that guy from the Matilda. Ah. How am I in Australia not known the magic tree house? Look, I know possum magic. I know the hungry, hungry caterpillar. I don't know the magic tree house. You gotta give me credit where credit's due. Come on, possum magic, Relinthia. Possum magic. Book is a book, doesn't matter if it's child book or not. Alright, well I've read it I've read child's books before. <laughs> what about the magic school bus? I've watched it. Never knew it was actually a book. I I actually really enjoy the magic school bus, the TV show. Loved watching it. Does finding where's Wally, those books, do they count? Do they count as reading? Have you ever read physics textbooks? Uh, no, actually. Uh, maths textbooks, on the other hand, I have. Wheel of Time, can't say I've heard that one. Hey, are you, are you shaming old people, Yaddy? I think you are. You're shaming us old folk. Um, I mean, not recommending really anything because it was just, I'm just going to do it eventually. But I don't know what to read on BookTok. That's the, if you want to recommend things for me to read on TikTok and what's allowed, it would be that. Because I don't know what to read, what people are wanting to listen to. Shaming me for not being well read. Oh, well, too bad. Someone just has to read me. Oh, Jesus, really? It's going to take that long, Seraph? That sucks. The Melazin series might be nice. Read Star Friends? Is that what's kind of in? Is that the hip? You're going to leave this to chat? Why can't... Come on, Tia. I know you can make some good recommendations, lovely. Even if it is just all the sexy sex book readings and shit like that. Because look, the ASMR voice is here for a reason. And if you want me to be a little dirty, I can do that. The main reason people have asked me to do this is because they love my voice. You all know it. I've been compared to goddamn Corp's husband, for goodness sake. So, if this is something that is going to help me get along in life, I may as well use it to my advantage and go for it. You're going to... Yep. <laughs> I had a feeling you would, dear. Fifty Shades of Grey book. You want me to read you snippets on TikTok of Fifty Shades of Grey. Is that really what you want? Did I read any of the Dr. Seuss? Actually, yes. Yes, I did. Uh, I read the Dr. Seuss about the fish. I read... Uh, uh, green eggs and ham, of course. Can't use TikTok here. Who says I can't? Oh, you mean you can't do it in your country, Emmy? Read two chapters and bend it. <laughs> See? And Pixie's as bad as me. And even Pixie binned it. That wasn't entertaining. Tookie's going to be banned in America. I read about that, but... Wasn't there, like, some kind of catch where it could still be on there and it's not just TikTok, it's going to be everything? As long as they have, like, you know, signature laws and stuff like that? Well, 
even if TikTok goes, you do realize there is something called YouTube Shorts that I can still do. I have that possibility. They need to sell it. I wonder where it's going to go because it's still allowed in Australia and all the other parts of the country. Like, it's just America. Like, the rest of the world can do it. Like, take England, for example. What about France? Europe? Is Smut against TOS on YouTube? I don't know, if I'm honest. I'd have to do some research. It's not to say that Book Talk isn't going to be against TOS. Yeah, see? It's only America that's limiting it. I remember for the longest time there was talks on trying to ban TikTok, so they finally succeeded in passing its bill. You hope YouTube buys TikTok? Ooh. Oh, that's not YouTube buying TikTok, though, time. If YouTube buys TikTok, a.k.a. Google buys TikTok, oh, hell no. Because you got to think about that. If Elon Musk buys TikTok, oh, fuck off. Elon Musk wouldn't really be able to do anything with it, then. <laughs> Google already has everyone's information. No, but what's really interesting is that YouTube made YouTube Shorts in order to combat TikTok's short-form content. So if Google buys TikTok, they have no need for YouTube Short content anymore, which means they could be one in the same. They can merger that somehow. And that's the fascinating thing. It would turn into a monopoly Maybe, not necessarily though. It it could only turn into a monopoly because it owns all the things, but like, there's nothing stopping other companies to try and stand up against it, you know? Do I need a roommate you can cook and clean? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, Tia. Do you reckon you could handle living with me? After all, it would mean that you'd have to be around this. Every single day of your waking moment. Is it really something you desire? I don't know. I was trying to be cheeky. I don't know if that's actually going to work. You'll get used to it. Aww. You're like, yeah, I'll get used to it. It'll become boring. Oh, that's no fun. What did you just join in on? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> we were talking about how TikTok is getting banned in America, Jay. Um, but the reason we got on the topic of TikTok in the first place was a lot of my viewers have asked me to do book talk and book readings because of my voice. Uh, and a lot of my viewers here enjoy my ASMR voice. Hence the no little deep tones like this. So you kind of walked in on a mid mid conversation of me doing stuff like that. <laughs> How are you doing? It's lovely to meet you. Ow! ASMR? I don't see the redeem- Wait, did it get redeemed? I don't see the redemption anywhere. Should you out them? Wait, who are we out it? Hold on, have I missed it? I probably have. Zarumi, hello, how are you? Let me scroll down. 24 minutes ago. Yeah, no, I did your ASMR. Yeah, no, I, I definitely did the ASMR redeem previously. What are those white cubes? White cubes? What white cubes? Hello, chat foo, but, but what white cubes are you referring to? Uh, in the distance? 
So the white cubes kind of act as like a, a separation barrier. There's four biomes here in this map. Uh, right now we're in the savannah biome, but there's a coastal biome, there's a polar biome, and there's a canyon biome. And each biome has different Pokemon. So the white cubes are kind of just building blocks, I guess. You're excited for it? Is it a really big update, Zarumi? I'm guessing like maybe a new season, raid, or something along those lines. I've never really played Warframe, but I know it is still extremely popular. You can't remember what the white cubes like of this. Maybe just... Oh, this is the DLC, though. Uh, do you happen to have the DLC? Cal has awoken and need to cause chaos? Oh. I was like, you have a pet cow? No, you're talking about Elliot. Tell Elliot I say hello to ya. And any of the lovely people in his chat. Yeah, this is from the DLC. Cow? Oh, a cow VTuber known as Elliot Maz. A pet cow? What's wrong? You'd like a pet cow, wouldn't you? I know many people that would actually love to have a pet cow. This is still ridiculous. Where on earth is this damn shiny? We've got 10 minutes remaining, by the way, to f find it. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> Finally, I was about to pull out a freaking picnic and complain as to where this damn thing is, and we found it. Well, we found it. Cows are loving creatures. They really are. They really, really are. Well, will we find a shiny? Four of you said yes. Four of you said no. However, no had 20k points and yes had 1.5k. Everyone's about to be so damn rich who voted yes. Congratulations, everyone. Enjoy your points. There we go. Prediction completed. Okay, Spore. How many points did you put into it, Relinthia? 13k points? Oof. That's a hell of a lot. Spend my points. How many points did you put in, Maz? Perfect. It's about time, though. I've been wondering when we're going to get this shiny. It started driving me mad. You got 13k points? I think Yaddy, like put all the points in. And you only put about 700 in. You got such a massive winning there, Ninja. You only... Did you lose 20 points, Ami? Okay, let's put him back to sleep. We're doing really good on the counter right now. Did I see your last message? I may have missed it, Zarumi. What was your last message, lovely? Well, that sucks that it got out of the ball, so we're going to reset that just so I don't have to wait it. Hmm. E. 
So there he is. I was like, where's the shiny Snivy? We're retrying this. Ugh. All right. Soak it, make it wet. Itchy nose, itchy nose, itchy nose. Put him to sleep. This is a female Snivy too. So Yumi was correct. Yumi was like, hey, I bet you on the third one we're gonna get a female. And we did. We absolutely did. Oh, goodness gracious me. You gambled a whole 10k stash. My goodness. Yeah. Goodbye, 10k. I'm sure you'll make that back really quickly though, Relinthia. One more false swipe and that should do it. I feel a sneeze coming on chat. <laughs> you ever sneeze and it's just backfired on you? That's what happens when you stick a bucket on my head. Uh. <laughs> I'm alive, I swear. Ugh. You just sneeze your brains out as well as a ruby? Huh. 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 Oh. Okay, I think I'm good. Oh. Okay, we got it. <sighs> oh. Yeah. We finally got the Snivy set. Let's go. Oh. Uh. <gasps> uh. All right, evolving. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, is it marked? We're gonna find out soon, Ninja Bacon. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, I don't know, maybe I am allergic to the bucket, Seraph. Ah, oh, this is normal, Relinthia. This is normal for me. I have my sneezing fits quite frequently. <laughs> like this. Ah. Oh. Who's going to guess the nature? We've got Docile from Maz. I'm going to say Adamant again because just because. Oh, goodness. Ugh. Ugh. You're going to say Jelly Nature. How does that work? <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Oh, jolly. <laughs> Look at how beautiful this snake is as a shiny. I really like it. Savannah nature? That's not how that works. It's not good to reuse again. <laughs> it definitely needs a clean, doesn't it, Seraph? All right. Let's find out. Does it have a mark? No mark. And it's adamant. Hell yeah. Mwahahaha! I was right. Uh. No worries, Relinthia. Oh, my nose, man. Let's save it. Let's finally do a new hunt. The mods <laughs> clean it up for me. Mods, do your mod job. Clean my KFC bucket. Chat has demanded. And now we have our shiny set. Uh. Okay, so. We've already got Froki, so that's another starter that's down and out. We don't need to worry about it. <clears throat> I could go for Charkadet. 
The Pichu I'm not going to worry about because we're going to have a massive thing with all the the baby Pokemon to be huntable. There's a Flareon there. I don't care for Flareon. All right. We're going for a porcupine, a sea urchin. I was about to say a sea porcupine, but it's a sea urchin. <clears throat> a seductive moo? Moo. Why is it your immediate job? Do it, Yataka. Clean my bucket. You're up for cleaning me, Pixie? Okie dokie. Anab Gilla, uh, G'day, welcome on in. How you doing? I'm a burb, not a cow. And yet I mood. Meow. <laughs> Something tells me this frame rate is terrible. Oh, there we go. Frame rate looks better now. You sometimes mess with your roommate when he starts sneezing. You say watermelon between his sneezes, which makes him stop. What? Wait, why is he getting mad at watermelon? What's wrong with watermelon? Watermelon's delicious. Ugh. Maz isn't wanting to clean me. Maz just wants to eat me. I don't trust Maz. Keep Maz away from me. Who taught this bird how to talk again? What do you mean? <laughs> I've been able to talk this whole time. Okay. And now we fall. You won't eat me, and yet you want to lick me. What's the difference? Very close to one of the same. I will not be your rotisserie chicken. I don't think I've actually ever been on this beach. Pinchurchin shouldn't be too hard of a shiny to find. I could be wrong, but I don't believe it's that difficult. <laughs> yeah, Yeti is a butthead. No eating the birdie, not a- Wait! Oh my god, we found the shiny straight away! Are you serious? Holy crap! Dude! Oh my god, it is actually a shiny! I killed, what, two pinch urchins and we found it straight off the bat! Oh my gosh! We really did! Hello, Maw. You must have brought in the shiny luck with you. When you start sneezing and you feel like you got to sneeze again? Yeah. So you're saying watermelon triggers him to make him want to sneeze, but he can't sneeze? I'd be angry at you too, Zerumi, if you did that to me. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I am... I am extremely happy. That's great. That was so fast. And a smack. Electric terrain. Oh, that sucks. That means I can't catch it. That's okay. I actually want to capture this in a luxury ball anyway, and I've got plenty of them. This should be fine. You would say that was a little too fast? Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. Definitely not. I need more like that, Ninja Bacon. I need more like that. I definitely... I've been trying to clip my own things from time to time, chat, but I know for a fact that I missed that clip. Could someone just grab that clip just very quickly for me when I encountered it? It'd probably be too far back, so someone might have to go back through the VOD. <laughs> Triggers him to stop sneezing despite the fact that he was about to sneeze again. <laughs> yeah, you're a little shit then, Zerumi. Wow, that was great. You got here when you caught the other one. Oh, okay. I must have missed a message then if you said hello then more. Beautiful. That was great. So quickly to find that. Does it do the ghost curse? Oh. That's a really cool idea time. I never thought about that. Yeah, no, that's kind of cool. 
Could you imagine? Oh, that'd be such a good strategy. Go into Terra Ghost and immediately use Curse. Ooh. Okay, okay. That that would be have to be something we'd have to test. Okay, yeah, didn't mind to didn't mean to bump into the Axu. Move away, Goatsy. Really? <laughs> Go away. Oh, good, thank you. You would have laughed so hard if that Axu was shiny. Could you imagine? Don't tease me like that. That'd be great. Definitely doubtful, but that would still be great. Okay. Who's the next one? I'm making every noise except the bird noise. All right, hold on. Let me... There you go, Tia. Birdie noises. Well, I guess coughing next. Get a toxic gas cloud. I could probably get three and then transfer one over to sword and shield as well. That way we can evolve it into Galarian wheezing. I need to be careful though. I'm almost certain Coughing will probably have explosion. You wish you could whistle like that? I, I taught myself how to whistle, so I've been able to whistle since I was about six years old. Aw, the 3DS crashed again, chat. All right, give me a second. Ba -da -ba -da. Stored power, really good TM. You can't whistle? Time to get some practice, mess. <laughs> A mass outbreak of coughing. Hello. Oop. Don't run around. Get him. There we go. You can't whistle either. It sounds like a lot of you can't whistle. Why did you just avoid all three of those coughings and go straight down the mid lane? For room, please contain yourself. You're missing one of your front teeth. Uh. That would be tricky, because teeth actually do play a very important role when it comes to whistling. Not to mention the, the shape of your mouth, what you can do with your cheeks, if you can puff them out. So, I, I get you. That, that would definitely cause things to be different. Like, I have to wonder, if I get my wisdom teeth removed, is that going to affect my whistling? I do have to wonder that. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. But I won't know until I get it done. Your front teeth is why you can't do it. You have very nice teeth though, Yaddy. You don't see how whiz- uh, Okay, so for me, I can whistle using the puffs of my cheeks. I also make sound effects like this. Now I know my wisdom teeth actually do help with that. But maybe I can still do it even when I lose my wisdom teeth because there's other teeth that I press my cheek against to make that squeak noise. And sometimes with whistling, uh, I can do stuff and whatnot. Person with no wisdom teeth says it'll be fine. I'm sure it will be. But I wonder if like, because I can do really high notes, really low notes and all those kind of things. So who knows? Maybe even getting rid of my wisdom teeth could enhance it because it means more airflow. So, yeah. I, I just have to probably experiment. Okay, let me restart the 3DS because now it's back up and running on my hardware. So now I just need to stream it. 
Got the receiver. There it is. It's now streaming. And now we can get back into playing. We'll save this. This will be a good spot. Uh, yes, Tia. Yes. I don't know what I'm saying yes or no to, but yes. You have a definitive answer. Go. Yes. Do it. Even though I don't know what it is. Just do it. Just do it. So what is it? What is it that I'm telling you to do, Tia? <laughs> Okay, be right back. Okay, what have I made you do? No eating birdie. We're not allowed to eat the birdie. There's all these coughing over here. V Vroom, what are you doing? Small car, you have problems. I do not understand you. Don't worry about it. I want to worry about it. Tell me, Tia. Tell me. I didn't say yes to you, Time. I said yes to Tia. But I want to know what that is to Tia. Hello, Magma. Am I allowed to know yet? Oh, god damn it. I hate. Ugh. It's the uneven terrain. Varum, you've went straight past it again. What are you doing? Okay, that should be fine. Outbreak is starting to go down. First prompt. You just went to redeem stuff with Elliot again. Nothing crazy. Was it the good girl stuff? Oh, sorry, Chimling. You need to get some rest, Maz. The way I know where I'm really tired and I know I need sleep is if my eyes start to burn. Just another seductive move? Cheap, cheap. How is that for a seductive cheap? <laughs> I don't know if that really works. It really doesn't work. There's no way that actually works. That's just weird. <laughs> the You just can't sleep because you're so stressed. Yeah, no, I understand the feeling, Maz. Have you tried meditation? Uh, it must, it sounds silly, I know, but clearing, oh, clearing your mind can certainly help a lot. Because I know the biggest issue about trying to sleep while you're stressed is obviously you've got all these thoughts running through your mind. And sometimes they can affect you to the point of really causing you problems. I like how I've just made a friend, but I do know the more that you get practice into clearing your mind and not thinking about things, it can really help. A few teas help you sleep. Warm milk with honey definitely helps. darley has got a very strong point there. Chirp, chirp, call, call. Okay, I can try that. Chirp, chirp. Kaka. You know what? The caca is more fun to do. I'll say the caca is better. Hey, cub, how you doing, lovely? Maybe even a tweet tweet. <laughs> Alright, you've had your minute of fun. 
You're doing good. I'm glad to hear, sweetie. You're hanging in there, which is good to hear. I have not been paying attention to how many coughings I've been killing, so I need to make sure that I'm not going to overkill these guys. Keep it safe. Keep it safe. Darvely, actually, I've been meaning to ask, because you have Monster Hunter Rise, don't you? And it's on PC, yes? It might sound obvious, but the reason I'm asking is there is quite the possibility that if you're ever streaming it one day, I'd be down to play with you. You're making a cat beanie. I'd love to see it. If you ever get the opportunity to share it, cub. You reckon the ASMR will work if there's rain noises? Oh, for sleep for Maz? Maybe, maybe. Okay, outbreak's going lower, so this is uh, notification number two. We're good to go. You will share it soon? Okay, I'm excited. I'd love to see what you made. You'll 100% be playing Rise? Heck yes, Darvely. I wish I could play Rise with you. But one, I have it on PS4. And two, I also don't have PlayStation Online. I'm very rarely actually ever online with that, so it's just better I don't. Rain noises put you to sleep normally? Well, there is a 10 hour uh, rain sound effect that you could potentially put on a, in a loop, Maz. It, it could add, add, add eh. it can act like white noise for you. Why is the English language so hard? PlayStation Online is a bitch. It's just, I don't want to pay for my internet. Why do I have to pay for my internet? That's what a PC's for. You pay for it just to play with one friend, and that's what I used to do for World for the longest time. So I feel that, Darvely, but now that I'm, like, not really playing with that friend anymore, there's no point in me holding onto it. You do most of your gaming on your Switch. That's fair. That's fair, Ninja Bacon. I can't wait for the wilds, Monster Hunter Wilds. I am so excited. Use Thunderstorm soundtracks to sleep. That could be another good one. I actually really like thunderstorms. I just like listening to them. Because that's the thing. Uh, rain can sound too much like white noise that you start to tune it out, but it's noise that can still help you rest. When there's a thunderstorm, you're not really thinking of stuff, but your mind is listening out for the thunderstorm. So a lot of your mind turns off from worries and other things in your head, and you're just listening to the thunder. Thunderstorms get you excited? Ayo. Obviously not that excited. <laughs> but maybe maybe that's a thing that can help you get some rest, Maz. Okay, the best thing about coughing is just how obvious of a shiny it is. It's been hell for the past couple of days. Yeah, I imagine it would have been. You love windy rain. If it's like pelting really heavily on my window, it's a bit annoying. Thunderstorms give you too much anxiety. Is that just like a fear, Relina? That uh, Relinthia? Hiya, James. Slept like crap, but you're here. I'm sorry to hear that. Sleep can be such a bitch. I think maybe this will be a good spot for a picnic reset. Let's give this a shot. Let's see how effective this is. You got a Windows update. Ugh, I hate doing Windows updates. They cause so many problems with my computer to the point of like, why even use them, you know? I'm just like, no, thank you. Okay, coughing there. We do have some Hound Dower. How much can I push this close? Your dog keeps waking up every night? Is it just your dog's restless? I hope your dog's not been having any nightmares or anything, Darvali. You're gonna make a ducky crochet? Ooh! 
I am very excited to see what you do with that then, Cub. When you see the stupid symbol in the taskbar, okay, you know what? I can understand that, James. I can understand that. Little OCD brain sees that and it just annoys me. So I was like, okay, I'll update. <laughs> so I do feel that. Okay, no discolored coughings from what I can see. Munching away on his leftover dinner. <laughs> He's savouring it though, Darvali. He's getting a little midnight snack. Having a little Scooby snack. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. He's such a cute little doggo though. I am saving up more of my points in your stream just so I can give him a treat. <laughs> Has a good pastel Halloween. That's not for a long time away. Always YouTube live with calm tunes. I have seen a lot of those as well, more. Who has a doggo? Oh, Darvali has a doggo over on Twitch, James. My avatar is super adorable when the feathers on my head stick up. That's just when I... It's just when I'm happy, Zarumi. Next Monday is a long away. I don't understand. What is pastel Halloween? Monday. Ow, you... Oh, are you saying the 1st of April? Is that what you're referring to? April Fools? Is that is that the plan? year easter oh of course of course yeah no that makes a lot of more sense zombie jesus day yeah 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 james just informed me time the bird was being a bit silly i was having a brain aneurysm Gonna get us on April 1st? Yeah, probably. I probably will. You're not wrong, Maz. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be doing a lot of work. Because April will be the first day of the marathon. Your birthday's on the 1st? Oh, more your birthday's coming up. Oh, we will absolutely have to celebrate that with you, lovely. That's exciting. You got any plans, hun? Hmm. You know what? I feel like roaming around to see if we can find this shiny coughing. That's what I feel like doing. Meow. I wish it'd be nighttime though. It's a bit easier when it's nighttime for finding any of these shinies because it's so bright and white. Your birthday isn't until June. I'm a June baby too, Zarumi. Are you a Gemini? Can we be two faces together? Boing. You're a Cancer? Yeah, you're July. I remember that, Maz. Oh, you're a Cancer as well, so that means you're in late June. Maybe around the 27th-ish? Is my going to be suspicion? You're a Leo. When is Leo? What month is that one? Do I live by myself? <sighs> I actually don't. Uh, so I will give you some backstory, Darvali. Uh, right now I live with my mum, but I used to live with my now ex-partner. Uh, back in the day, uh, we used to live over at Manly. 
and the rent was absolutely expensive. Um, moving back home was so goddamn difficult, but it was also around the time of COVID. So it was, it was just as COVID settled down. Um, I miss having my own place. I really do. Uh, but rent-wise, uh, yeah, no, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. Uh, it was such a beautiful place in Manly, though. It really was, because it was so close to where I used to work back in the day. And, um, yeah, beautiful area. You live in a granny flat at the back of your parents, so you get ya. I, uh, it'd be nice if I did have a granny flat, not gonna lie, but gonna be moving house very shortly as well. So I'm not gonna be here much longer where I'm currently living. Probably, I have no idea where we're gonna move, but hopefully next year I will move out myself. But the dream is to always buy a home. That is definitely the big dream I've always wanted. Did I find a place for Sephiroth? I haven't. He's still right next to me, actually, time. You're a Taurus, Ninja Bacon. Will I have roommates? I've never lived with a roommate. I've never lived with a roommate. In all honesty, I probably don't want to live with a roommate, only because... I love having my own space, and... You know... Actually, that's a lie. I did have a roommate once upon a time. It was a friend of mine. And my friend didn't flush the toilet properly. So sometimes he would be in the middle of the night, didn't flush the toilet. You'd, you'd hear it go and then stop, which means he didn't push the button down all the way. So it barely flushed. Uh, so surprises were left. That sucked. Um, didn't turn the shower off properly so it would drip. It was, it was a lot of problems. And when I kept telling him, hey, you know, this needs to change, this needs to change, you're doing this... It would either one cause a fight or it would constantly feel like I'm badgering him, you know? And that sucked. So I don't want to do that. And if I move out, it's going to be with someone that I'm in a relationship with. Plus, walking around naked is amazing. <laughs> Let's be real. Hello, Yumi. We got all three of the snakes and you were right. It was a female. The last snake we got was female. Walking around what? Walking around butt naked. Having your own place to be as loud as you want without worrying family members. Walking around naked. You know, doing doing things how you want. You know, putting putting display cabinets up, showing off nerdy things. Because I've got so many retro consoles, I would love to have them on display like a little museum. It'll be great. But naked was the best when living alone. Oh, hell yeah. You can do whatever you want, wherever you want, in any place of the house. Great fun. So yeah, I don't think I will actually get roommates in all honesty, but... Also, in desperate times, sometimes having a roommate helps so much because, you know, you're sharing the costs. Couldn't care less about her neighbors. <laughs> okay, when you said your friend did that, I was thinking it was just more or less a guy friend. No, you're literally telling me that your female friend literally has... M maybe not, maybe she's wearing underwear, but maybe her vagin tits just out for the neighbors. <laughs> Jesus. You just got to be comfy with your housemates? I don't think I could be that comfortable with my housemates, Relinthia. Let alone... Let alone a female housemate. Like, put it that way. It's one thing if it's a guy... If it's a male housemate. But if I'm walking around naked and then there's a female housemate... Oh, that's, that's asking for trouble. Because, my God, I could be turned around and be called a sexual... Be basically being told that I'm sexually assaulting just because I'm walking around the house naked. You sure they enjoyed it? Probably, Darvely. Probably. <laughs> Look, I've said this plenty of times on my stream. The female body is an art form. And it is beautiful in every way, shape, and form. Having a roommate is okay since you experienced having an apartment before. That's fair, as long as it works out for some people. Here is the art, you are the art. <laughs> I mean, I don't disagree. It's illegal to walk around naked where you are. Really, Seraph? 
Neighbors can call the... Wait. Even in your own home, neighbors can call the police on you if you're walking around naked? Oh my god, it's a crime to take a shower in my own house, chat. Could you imagine that? Gotta love thighs. <laughs> Look, I love thighs. I also... I'm one of those guys, if you ask me the question, tits or ass, I'm neither. I'm what's between the thighs. So yes, I get the enjoyment of both thighs and what's in between. Win-win in my books. I'm a form of art, am I, watermelon? <laughs> I'm assuming you're talking about someone else's, Yumi. Your answer to that? Yes. <laughs> Since it's so hot inside. See, I could understand that. Especially if it's really hot and in the summertime, like, it gets up to like 40 degrees and everything. It's disgusting here in Australia. It really does get bad. Connie, hello. You came in at the right timing. Absolutely, you did. You got an ass too to stop. <laughs> Okay, so you're talking about your own one then, Yaru. Be a naked statue of me? Oh, I doubt it. I'm not that fancy that I would probably be, like, you know, special enough to have a statue. Because you had to be quite a figure. Um, not, not physical figure. Like, you know, a figure in the community in the Roman times to actually have a statue made of you. Maybe if I was a hero, who knows? Who knows? You would say that about you in a statue? You reckon there'd be a statue carved of you, Yumi? Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting to soft reset the heat train. Hello, little piggy. You left for two seconds. Why are we on an arse slapping? Oh, I brought up the topic on, um... Oh, God, we really did go down a rabbit hole, didn't we? So it started off talking about living in your own home because it's nice to walk around naked in your own house. Followed by, um... The female body is an art form, and I reckon it's beautiful in each, every single way, shape, and form. Followed by, thighs are nice. And then I got into the topic, if you were to ask me the question of boobs or ass. I would say neither. I'm more what's in between the thighs. And then we started talking about asses and how good we can slap them. This is very normal for me. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's all about that. <laughs> Have I always done VTubing? Kind of. So very early on, Darvali, when I first started streaming, I was a no-cam streamer. I was almost a 3D model of what I actually look like IRL. Uh, however... It was kind of a happy accident how it became a, a bird VTuber because I came across a... Because a chocobo was originally my display picture and then I came across a cockatiel and I was like, what if I do a 2D art of a cockatiel? It's nice and simple. So I made my own model to what you see today and Bob's your uncle, I was born. And I've been VTubing ever since. Wants a headlock using your thick thighs? Okay, okay. Cub? Cub. That is very exciting for me, and I can go into more detail, to which that would probably start to get very hot in here. Let's put it that way. Let's put it that way, Cub. You're randomly thinking of the Megamind movie, Flower Heart. That is a fantastic movie, by the way. You gotta go now buy the... um. Pokemon Shield later for the shiny hunting legis. You can get them in... Hold on, hold on. For DAs, Yumi, because you can still get them in yours. You don't need the other one. You can have one copy and you can still get all of them. Now your mind is running images and I bet you those images are actually accurate to what mine was thinking to you. Let's be real. I'm not going to be shameful about doing that sort of stuff. There's nothing wrong with it. Meow. 
Oh, you're talking about the um, you're talking about Zashian and Zamazenta, aren't you? Those legendaries. See, that makes a bit more sense. It's too hot in here to let's cool down. Oh, that's no fun, Cub. You can't give chat a good time and not carry on. <laughs> look, look. You have to make things interesting, Seraph. You got to tease a little bit. You can't just give all the good stuff away. You know? The Dark Horses of the DLC 2 in Shield. Oh! Oh, so Spectria is only in one and uh, the Ice one is in the other one. It's Spec... I can't remember what the other one is. So you're... Okay, okay. I didn't realize that, Yumi. Very good visit from the dentist. Oh, was it just a general cleanup vamp? Honestly, it's kind of fun going to the dentist when it is just a general clean, because it does feel really nice on your teeth. So sword has ice. Okay. Like the drag... Wait, I thought you get both... Wait, are you telling me you can't get both Reggie's in the one game? I thought you could. Okay, my mind has just been opened up to everything. What the hell? Let you tell me a dentist story? Okay, I am listening. Only one? You can't choose one of them. Uh... Rude. Okay, so that means I do need to buy the DLC then for the next one. Uh. You're heading out, are you, Yumi? Alright, see you later, lovely. Just delete your fill and replay to get them. I mean, I could re- Oh, well, I mean, I, I can only get one in the version, or do I have- Yeah, so I can only get one of the horses, so even if I delete my delete my save file, um, I will still need the other version to get uh, the other horse legendary. Did the dentist bite you instead? Okay, if your dentist is biting you, you probably need to call the police. Your teeth are super bad, and the last time you visited the dentist, they tried cleaning. Accidentally hurt one of your teeth. Oh! Oh, that sounds like you had a deep clean, Zarumi. This music is really nice and calming. Had to go to the dentist for a checkup. You had a new dentist when you got there and met him. The first thought it was like, he's hot. <laughs> the first thought that came to my head, Tia, was definitely not a safe for work one. Put it that way. You've also had to stitch someone's wound. Hmm, that's fun. I freaking hate stitches. I used to have them all the time. I was a pretty rowdy kid, so like every year there would be some year where I'd need to get stitches in one way or another. Fun time for me. Seriously, where is this shiny coughing? Again, he's not a hard one to find. Having this boy pop up though is another story. You know what? If I can set up a picnic here, this will be a great spot. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Yeah, let's picnic spawn this. Hell yeah. Very sensitive to pain and stress. He used local anesthesia on you. Oh, that's good on him. 
All the roots are showing on your teeth? Oh, okay, yeah. Hence the deep clean. That makes sense then. And you get fake teeth. That's fair. That's fair. Honestly, do get fake teeth as well. Don't do root canals or like shit like that just to try and save your teeth. You may as well just get them replaced with fake ones. You've never had stitches? I don't recommend it. It's literally someone sewing into you to try and, you know, prevent wounds from remaining open in some form or fashion. You've never had stitches, but you cut yourself pretty big? I've done that too. Turn your head open wide. <laughs> he would say, good girl. Oh my god, that's your weakness right there, Tia. You felt so overheated. Probably need a mop and bucket after that too, Tia. It's not fun to sew a person? I don't think it would be. I don't- I'd, I wouldn't find it fun to sew anybody. Oh. You don't know what you needed? You needed to leave because you were going through it? <laughs> you just needed some private time. Only stitches you had are from an acute appendix removal. Oh! Oh, so you've had surgery. God, how many times have I had stitches? Both my eyebrows, my forehead, uh, my chest, my big toe, my hand. Oh my God, my hand. That one was a bad one. That's a lot of other Pokemon other than the freaking coughings. The after feeling is so awful from the drugs. Mmm. I could imagine. My chest? Yeah, so what's a really funny story about me is when I was young, uh, it was during summertime. I was playing with the neighbors. It was really hot, so we had the sprinkler going. We we're just basically, you know, having like a bit of a water party sort of thing just to cool off. Anyway, um, at my home, we have a very short driveway. And... Because we've got trees and fences all around it, the driveway is very narrow, and there was a car next to a mailbox. Now, this mailbox has been hit by cars because it is so thin. And it's always, like, hit the corner, and the corner would stick out. So, while I'm playing uh, with the water and racing around, being doing what kids do, I tried to squeeze between the car and the mailbox, and the mailbox got a hold of my chest and tore it open. To the point of muscle was sticking out of my chest. This was a really bad wound. It was literally like a hacksaw had gone across my chest. And I needed to get that stitched up. Ah, uh, that was not fun. That was not fun. Oh, there's our shiny. Let's go. Let's save it. Yeah, no, it was not fun, Darvali. I've almost completely amputated my own toe by stepping on glass that I accidentally dropped and broke. Yet stitches once in the worst place ever because of the surgery. The stitches are in your... Oh my god, Connie! Woo! Yeah, no, that's terrifying. Having stitches in the eyes. Oh god, I couldn't imagine that. What was the injury, Connie, if you don't mind me asking? Just the thought made you squirm? Oh, trust me, when I looked down and saw a piece of muscle sticking out of my chest, that was not fun. Hello, Ellie. That's probably a really bad time for you to jump in right as I'm telling a story about how I got stitches on my chest. Let's put this guy to sleep. Can you wrap me up in a cotton wool and keep me safe? <laughs> I'm safe now, Silver. I promise you. I'm not that rowdy anymore. It was surgery because cross-eyed. Oh, so it was to try to correct it, was it? I didn't realize they did that. Your worst injury is nowhere near as bad as that. Yeah, no, I was a pretty rumbunctious kid. It's a usual day for you doing a lot of stitching like that, Ami. I could imagine. I wonder what would be a good fitting ball for this guy. What 
you reckon, chat? What's a good ball for this guy? Oh, he has Memento? Wait, he avoided it. He avoided it. Oh, that's good. Oh, you have a fear of blood, Darvali? I didn't know that. I was about to ask a question, though, if you have a fear of blood. I, but I don't think it'd be really appropriate to ask. They found out later that it was allergic to these stitches. Oh, God, which means it would have been worse. Friendship? You reckon a friend ball would match? I don't know about that. There's not really a ball, but what's the closest Pokeball that could match this? You're so used to blood tests now because you get them. Oh my god. I re you just reminded me, Darvali, uh, of where I passed out in the middle of a hospital after getting a blood test done because I have, um. I've been starting getting a condition which seems to be getting worse and I don't understand why. Uh, it is called, um, Vasovagal condition. Um. My body just hates me, man. Uh. And I've had that happen to me, and that really sucked. I could go a Master Ball. Not to say that won't work. You've passed out before, it's horrible. I hate it. It's so annoying. You see blood like it's water. Well, I can do that too. Like, I don't feel lightheaded from that, but... I got my blood test done. I was good. I got up, started moving around, was about to leave the hospital, and bang, I went down. Uh, love ball, not very lovely. He's more greeny than anything. And I love the little pink puffs of smoke. I'm going to say a heel ball here. I know it's not completely matching, but I'm going to go a heel ball. And it's getting worse. Yeah, it's... I don't understand why it's getting worse, Darvely. It's kind of strange. Our bodies do so much. It's so strange, like... Put it this way, I confronted someone. I confronted someone. I was ready to fight and everything because it was shit, personal shit that was going on. But either way, it agitated me. And then I passed. I, f I felt lightheaded and passed out. Nothing had happened. Nothing scary was going on. But I just blacked out. It just really sucked. Yeah, so it knows I've been injured, so protection mode kicks in. But, like, what are you trying to protect me from if you make me pass out when there's about to be danger, you know? <laughs> Blacked out or passed out? Passed out. Passed out. Yeah, I, I full-on collapsed. Not fun. Oh, let's save it as well. And let's increase the counter. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. I don't understand why it happened. It does look more grey than green, but I can assure you it is green. But yeah, that was super obvious to find him as a shiny, so we can just chill here and just keep doing this. So I need two more. Because I need one for Galarian wheezing. <laughs> Usually black out when you get into physical altercations. One minute you're arguing, the next you learn that you kick someone's ass. <laughs> yeah, no, I've never had a blackout situation. Just passed out. I see a random mimic you over there. I wonder if that mimic you is shiny. Sadly, you gotta go. No worries, Connie. It was lovely to meet you. You have a wonderful day, and hopefully, I'll catch you again in the future. Can you evolve coughing into the Galarian form in this? No, Ninja Bacon. I will have to transfer it through home over to Sword and Shield uh, to evolve it there. Um, but that's not to say I can't catch a shiny here and then, you know, do it over there instead. It's going to be a lot easier that way, I imagine. 
Oh, you're fucking kidding. You got spiked? Were you okay, Darvali? Did anything happen to you? Like, maybe that's going to be really personal. And if it is, look, feel free to DM me if you want to talk about it. But like, fuck, that's, mm, that's not cool. That is not cool at all. You're going to have to redeem it, cub. If you want to find out what it is, you got to redeem it. But you've seen multiple cases. I could have met, like... <laughs> I did pass out when I saw my own hand after I got the stitches. Remember how I mentioned it was got cut up and everything? Well, what had happened was... I dropped a glass bottle, put my hand through all the glass. So my, my hand was a mess. Anyways, I immediately ran over to water and start ran my hand under the water. I looked in my hand and I could see all the bone and muscle in my hand. That's what caused me to go down. Not so much that I was bleeding... It was the fact that I could see everything. That's what got me. I was like, ah, fuck. It really sucked. Bummer. Thank you so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Yes. Do you like it, Cub? When did I return the KFC redeem? Uh, last stream, more. How are we going for time? I have an hour and 30 minutes until all, uh, outbreaks reset themselves. Look at the little peepers. Hello. I should add a little hole for my beak to stick out of. So you can see me talk. You like it so much? I'm glad. Jeepers creepers, check out my peepers. Please do that, that would be adorable. You know what I want to do? I want to grab the kernel image, flip it around, have my peepers peep out where his eyes are, and then have the mouth there just so I can talk. That's what I want to do. So it'll be the KFC bucket, but it's perfectly placed that my mouth and eyes are in line with Colonel Sanders. You were getting bullied, went into the bathroom, ripped the stall door off. Honestly, Tia, I am not judging you in the slightest, sweetheart. In fact, I feel for you. Being someone that used to get bullied all the time, it's absolute bullshit. And sometimes it's good to take out your, your anger rather than bottle it up too. So do not. I don't think you're insane at all, honey. I promise you. Do it. I'll do it for the April stream. I'll tell you that. We'll do it there. You hate being bullied? I don't think anybody likes being bullied. Let's be real. Why is the coffin getting less and less? I'm getting all these other guys from, like, over there. Oh, not the rain. Not the rain. You like being bullied, not bullying, though. Yeah, look, bedroom bullying's different, Yaddy. We're not talking about bedroom bullying here. <laughs> We're talking about actual assholes. Yeah. How would I do it? Oh, Ninja Bacon, don't you worry. I have my ways. Not the gumdrop buttons. Oh, my God. There was a TikTok that I lost my absolute shit on chat. It was someone that's, like, doped up on morphine and painkillers in a hospital. And randomly, like, you, they've got the curtains closed and everything, so you can't see who this person is. And it's a fellow person that's, like, in the thing with them. And they're recording, and randomly you hear, Do you know the Muffin Man? And then the person next to the store goes, The Muffin Man? And <laughs> the person who said it initially screams, The Muffin Man! <laughs> At the top of his lungs in the hospital. I fucking died crying. 
just watching that. I wonder if I can find it again. I'll, I'll have to look, but I lost my collective shit. Ah, oh, it was so good. One time you blacked out on top of one of the people bullying you at school. Oh. Sucks to be that person then, Maz. Sounds like you gave him a good ass whooping. You're jealous of people that get to be happy from Med's bloody hilarious stuff? I mean, they will get very, very embarrassed afterwards, though, Silver. It's kind of like someone who's drunk, you know? Gonna go back to Lurk. Need to lay down and snuggle, Scooby? That's perfectly fine, Darvali. You rest up, sweetheart. I hope you're doing okay, hun. And hey, again, if there's anything you want to talk about, Darvali, please feel free to DM me anytime. You met a bully as a patient. Oh, the best kind of revenge. Did he, did they recognize you, Emmy? There was no way he kept beating you and then come back for more. Eh, I don't know. Some people can be really messed up mentally. Like, Here's the thing, you don't know what your bully's gone through in their life. I'm not excusing their behavior. No, they fucking suck if they're bullying you. But you got to think, maybe they're in a really shitty place in their life as well, you know. The look was so satisfying. <laughs> I'd be like cracking my knuckles and I'd be like, So, it's good to see you again. So, you're my patient. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'd be fucking with them so badly. I wouldn't even be gentle either. It's like, you paid for this, you little bitch. Not just that. It's probably like, hey, the fact that you're a doctor as well. It's like, oh, I know for a fact I get way more money than you, and now I get to do this to you. Oh, this is going to be excellent. Came there from ED. ED? ED. Uh, what's what's ED? Gotta give you 13 needles today. Oh no, I'd, I'd be fucking around with this. Like, hmm, this isn't looking good. I don't know about you, sir, but like... Oh, emergency department. Uh, you know, you could fuck with them and be like, I don't know. This could be pretty serious. Oh, a reptile this fuck yeah. <laughs> No, that's when you look at the clipboard, realize what it is, you point and you fucking laugh. Oh, that's beautiful. Don't think you can legally do that. No, of course you can't legally do that time. Of course you can't. That's why I wouldn't be a doctor. Because I'd be an arsehole. But that's not to say you can't point and laugh. Sucked in. Absolutely sucked in. Oh yeah. Satisfaction a bit there. Definitely form of satisfaction. Hundred percent compassion is your heart. Yeah, you, you do need to put a lot of stuff aside to help people in need. Demonic Angel, hello. How you doing? You will let your real feelings out? Yeah, so that's the same with me and um, retail. I couldn't do retail. If someone was to be really shitty to me, you have to smile and nod in retail. No, not me. I'm not going to sit there and get abused by some asshole. Because they think they have a right to talk shit to me like that. I would 100% blast them. I would take no prisoner. You don't be an arsehole to someone for no reason. I'm doing good, Dominic. Thank you. Uh, Dominic? Demonic. I'm doing good. Thank you so much for asking. 
You'd be straight up saying, ha, your dick don't work. Oh, that's funny. Dealing with people as well, it's not easy. And then you put on the their place. Yeah, it sucks though, Yaddy. It sucks though. At least you kind of work in a place where you can professionally be rude and shut them up, you know? But like if I was to be in retail and I just have to sell products and shit. Yeah, I couldn't do it. Being professionally rude is a skill. Oh, absolutely. You have to get your emotions in order and make sure you don't, you know, react emotionally, but at least be professional on how you word things and your stance. I mean, how many years of practice have you had with it too, Yaddy? I imagine quite a fair bit. Fifteen years you've had to put up with that. Ugh. Honestly, I applaud you. I couldn't do it. And you've done it for three as well, MA. Yeah, that's not easy. Sweeps Milo's team with a Hurricane Gyarados. That's not bad. Milo. Milo's the bug? No. Yes, Milo's bug grass? One of the two? Eleven years? Oh, okay. Still, it's still a lot. Getting dinner? No worries, cub. You speak fluent sarcasm. It's grass. Okay, okay. Working in hospitality 11 years, 5 years, call center. Oh my god. Yeah, I couldn't do it. Look, no offense to people that work in a call center. But if you're also one of those people that are calling up, constantly harassing people, it does get frustrating. Me? I'm not a complete wanker about it. But the people that try and call me up and try and sell me stuff, I'm just very quick and very blunt. I'm like, look, I'm not interested. Leave me alone. Please take me off your call list. Goodbye. And I'll hang up. Mind you, I'll do it firmly. I won't use language. I'll be respectful because obviously you're doing your job, but it's a pain in the ass having to deal with that on a daily basis. You couldn't work those jobs. You get physical as well. Oof. Tia, getting a bit feisty. It is nice knowing your limits, though. That's, that's the important part. You know, you know your limits, you know what's going to work for you, what's not going to work for you, and you're not going to put yourself in an environment where you will, like, do those sort of things. Retail and customer service for seven years. Yeah, again, I still tip my hat off to all of you. Not something I would enjoy doing. Know things about Zelda? I certainly do, Peon. How can I help? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, defending yourself, Tia. 100%. 100%. If someone was to come at me, take a swing, of course I'd defend myself. Fucking oath. I'm not going to sit there and let them take punches on me. You never answer the phone in the first place. I I have been getting in the habit of answering the phone just to be, like, professional and listen to things. Moonada! Hello, beautiful. How you doing? It's good to see you. How's some of your plushy work going? Who's the pig villain? You talk about Ganon. Not Ganondorf, Ganon. There, there is a difference. Ganondorf is the human form. Ganon is the pig. Plushy order doing well. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Oh, 
That's why you need to learn MMA. MMA. I feel like I've heard that abbreviation before. It's not anger management. I'm just trying to think of what it is. You thought Ganondorf was the orc or something. No. No, there's no such thing as the orc. The pig is Ganon. No, don't ever apologize for being away, Moonetta. Life gets in the way, and if you don't... I always say this to everyone. Only come into my streams if you enjoy being here. There's no need to not be here. If you, People can come in once, and you can come in maybe once a year. You're here for your own entertainment. You're not here for me. Well, I mean... Uh, you know what I mean, though. I want you to be here if you want to be here at the end of the day. That's what's important to me. Mixed martial arts. Ah... Oh. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah. Messy martial assets. Great assets. Great, great assets. Great assets. G'day, diggity. How you doing? Welcome on in. This Heatran needs to hurry up and shine. We're almost at 2,000 soft resets now. Wait a minute. Okay, it was a Geodude. I thought it was a Geodude, but then I was like, no, oh, wait, well, I mean, it wasn't. You played Splatoon 3 too often. Oh, well, it also had Splatfest, so I don't blame you for that. Never used any of it. You just swung. You needed to learn to fight. Well, you learn techniques, and the whole thing with martial arts and why it's so repetitive, it's so it's, in it's ingrained in your brain, so you react automatically... Uh, rather than having to think on what to do. And not to mention how to, like, you know, properly defend yourself in the best way possible so that you don't injure yourself and can either disarm or harm the other person to prevent any further harm coming to you. Muscle memory, exactly. That is exactly right. You eventually stopped fighting back like every other day was a fight at school. <sighs> yeah, I went to an all-boys school once, and that was basically it. I had no friends, I was always on guard, always protecting myself, and trust me, I took people out from freaking years above me. Bloody bastards. I sure have, Emmy. I sure have. Got so bad that you eventually had to switch schools. Mm. See, that's that sounds like it's an issue with the school itself, Tia. And potentially the kids, too. Like, the discipline was just not there. You have with a punch? I can't say I've ever knocked someone out with a kick. But believe it or not, if you ever get in a fight, know that your kicks are stronger than your punches. Just a little tip. Boop, boop, boop. Hi, Loki Bunny! You miss watching all the Australian streamers. Aww. When your sleep schedule's between 7 a.m. to 2 p.m., that's fair. I mean, look, you're looking after yourself and your health, and that's what's important, Loki Bunny. That is what is important. But this Australian streamer will actually be streaming a lot more come April, even in the mornings, hun. So do not stress on that. We're going to be doing some marathon stuff and trying to do a lot more work, so you'll be able to catch me then, I promise you. You can always hurt sensitive places like the eyes. True, but I don't know how I feel about gouging someone's eyes out in a fight. That's like aiming for the balls, man. You don't do it. Not that it stops people. But it's kind of like an untold rule. Same thing with a girl. You're not going to kick her in the vag. But I'm still betting it won't stop some people.
playing an elaborate April Fool's prank. I'm sorry to disappoint. That is definitely not what's going to happen. The, the April long marathon is definitely going to be a thing. Punch someone hard enough that your hand was just numb for the days and barely moved. Didn't break it, just definitely messed it up. You probably sprained it or strained it in some way. Or maybe even pinched a nerve to you. If it's a life or death, oh, that's a different story. Yeah, no, life or death is definitely different to just a random fist fight hand brawl. You've choked someone? Oof. I've choked someone too. Just, um, not in the way to do injury. Think of that like you will, chat. <laughs> God damn it, Tia. You're kidding? No, you're not. That's the funny thing, too, Tia. I know you're not. You're like immediate regret, abort, abort, control, <laughs> control Z. No, you're not. No, you are absolutely not. If you were in a situation having sexy time, I bet you would feel comfortable with some nice hands around your neck. You specifically grow out your nails so you can catch Scratch Peach and peep broken the skin? Oh yeah, I could definitely see that. Yeah, you girls are something else. Lots of scratchies. Your mind went in the garter? I mean, it was meant to. That comment was literally a sus one. <laughs> Hate that you got to put it out there. Oh, true, true, true. Like, it's not... All right. In order to do sexy choking, you never crush the windpipe. Never, ever, ever. You don't even go near the windpipe. The windpipe is going to be what's in the middle of the throat. The choking I am referring, referring to, the sexy kind, is there's pressure just on the sides of the neck. That's all it is. There is a very, very big difference. Ladder in the back for your ex? Ugh. It's probably why he's an ex for a reason, Silver. <laughs> I feel like Silver's been here for a while. Silver just being a lurky turkey. Not literally, though, Maz. Not literally. We don't want to do that. But I get what you mean. I get what you mean. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow will be better, Maximal Confusion. Maybe tomorrow will be better. You've been here like 50 minutes. Yeah, you've just been lurkies. What have you been doing in that time frame of the lurkies is the question. Choking is only for matches? Are you talking about a choking match? Wait, what? <laughs> Not even push pressure? Oh, no, no, no. So... <laughs> All right, Loki Bunny. Um, now, I do not know if this is fact or not. This is literally what I've been told from multiple sources. It's not just from one, it's from multiple sources. So the whole pressure on the sides of the neck um, essentially cuts off blood to the brain and makes you lightheaded. That's what it is. Um, and from what I've been told... 
it makes an theme it makes an orgasm feel different. I don't know if it's the same for males. I've never spoken to a male that enjoys being choked. But apparently it makes the orgasm different. So, I cannot confirm or deny this. I cannot. It is just from multiple sources. Multiples, not just the one. But it's also... It's also like a protective thing. Like it's someone you're trusting. The major eroder gets blocked. Which is kind of what... That's that's the thing that, you know, gets blood to the brain, right, Ame? Your sweet baby is <laughs> Loki bunny. I know you are not innocent. Yep, it is. Okay. Yeah, I don't know any of the names of the muscles and what's inside our bodies. So that's good news to know. Clever information. Your virgin is. Oh, shut up, Mass. You are worse than all of us. What are you talking about? I hate that I keep getting the spawns over there. I don't want those spawns. I want these coughing. All of us? Not combined. I feel like if we were combined, yeah, we'd probably outdo you. But you're definitely really bad, Maz. And somehow people see through it. Probably because you've openly admitted to some very kinky things, Loki Bunny. Don't lump in... In chat. But it's true time. Are you suggesting that you're worse than Maz? I highly doubt it. You are innocent bebe. No. No, they really don't. They actually do not outdo you, Maz. No. Uh, Tia. Tia, I hate to tell you. You don't. You don't outdo Maz. Here's the thing, Tia. <laughs> this is going to be terrible to say. Arthais! Welcome on in, Raiders. How is everybody doing? It is lovely for you all to come on in here. My name is Ducky. I'm a variety streamer from Australia. We're shiny hunting some, uh, coughing at the moment. And just chilling. Tales of Symphonia. Okay. Great, great, great game. Everybody, if you've never played of Tales of Symphonia... Any of the Tales games are actually really good, but Tales of Symphonia in particular is one of the best, including the music. Welcome on in. How far did you get into the game? Is this your first time playing? Not in front of the Raiders? It's okay, Tia. It's okay. Your secret is safe with me. Ow. It'd be very obvious by your eyes. Yep. Oh, easy, Loki Bunny. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Still not found anyone. We've got five shinies today. Yeah, we've got five shinies. Actually, we're doing okay. Guarding luck. It's not as bad as I thought. That's the wrong button. So how is your stream today, Arthais? This rock is really annoying because I have to angle it in such a way just so I'm able to see anything here. And make you admit it? I mean, Loki, let's be real. You are cute. You can say what you will, but you are hands, hands down absolutely adorable. I only got to the human ranch and Isle. Okay, okay. So this is your first playthrough. I highly recommend Tales of Symphonia. Out of all the Tales games, Symphonia is probably the first one I will always recommend. Then Zestiria. Um, I'm probably a bit more biased on Zestiria. But Tales of the Abyss is another really good one. I do love that game. Yeah, no, the Tales series are really good. You admit it now? Good girl. I mean, boy. I mean, good them. We'll say good them. Because I'm pretty sure your pronouns are they, then. Off to work. Drive safely, Yaddy. On the GameCube back in the day. What were the ones on the GameCube? I know, actually, Symphonia was on the, the GameCube, wasn't it? 
Tales of Zillia. I've heard that's a good one. Actually, there's been a PlayStation 3 limited edition Tales of Zillia 2 I've been meaning to get my hands on <laughs> for my console collection. It is beautiful. Can't use the wrong ones? No worries. I just want to make sure that I respect you. And I'm, I, I'm pretty sure it was they them. So that's why I was like, oh shit, I fucked up. <laughs> Remaster of Tales Symphonia was the was on the GameCube. Uh, the remaster is also now available and coming out on Switch very soon, if I recall. Or is it a re remaster? Are you sure it just wasn't an upscale, not a remaster? So are you doing like a, a Tales marathon kind of thing, Arthias, where you're going through all the Tales games? Extension on Twitch that lets other people use the extension to see what pronouns you use. Yes! Um, and I have that installed, but OBS doesn't actually grab it, which is kind of frustrating. Because I'm, I'm reading chat through OBS, but if I was on Twitch, like, talking to my other friends and on their streams, it actually shows the pronouns there, so I'm, I'm way more confident. But over here, it's... Sometimes I do a... I do silly things, and it sucks. There is... There is Loki Bunny. There is. It's a real handy-dandy one. You're just going to try and do one for now. That's fair. That's fair. I mean, the Tales games are no short feat either. Like, that's a plenty of hours, 50 hours at that, something around them. Tales of Symphonia is on the Switch ever since February. Oh, also it's already out on, okay. Couldn't remember if it was like the remaster was about to come out or if it's already out. Okay. Welcome back, James. I know more, you keep telling me that every day. Epic Mickey Remastered come out. That was a big one. That was a real big surprise. Because it uses classic Mickey as well. They were able to get away with it. Steamboat, Steamboat Larry, was it? Either way, it's the Steamboat Mickey one that you can use. You can't use current Disney's Mickey. Rate your team. Mono bug playthrough. Rabombi, Sizzle, Sizzle's a good one. Galissapod also. Vicavolt, very good. Cricketune, Vespaquin. Okay, I feel like Cricketune is definitely letting you down. Same with Rabombi. But Rabombi's not terrible either, but I do feel like Cricketune is definitely a very, very weak part of your team there. Um I will say seven. Maybe, maybe six, six and a half, seven out of ten, James? Five more years for the current Mickey? Oh, really? That soon? Didn't realize it was going to be that soon. I thought it'd be a bit further away than that. Steamboat Willy, Willy, not Larry. Thank you. Thank you, Silver. And, and Yaddy, you, you both corrected me. Thank you, guys. You miss old Disney? The classics were great, weren't they, Tia? I still want to know what's happening with that horror Mickey game that's coming out about rats. <laughs> Symphonia 2, Abyss, Graces, Zillia, Zillia 2, Vesperia, Zisteria, Varicia, and Abyss. So, my recommendation, Arthais. Abyss, Zesteria, Bessaria, uh, and Symphonia. Those four I recommend. Decent in the early game. Okay, well that makes sense for early game, but definitely not late. He falls off pretty hard. Boop, 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 boop. 
Yeah, you, you did say Abyss twice. I do want to play Arise, but I've not played it, so I don't know how good Arise is. I definitely wanted the Collector's Edition, though, and I missed out on it, unfortunately. I, I don't know. I, I couldn't think of the name still. It was like, was it Larry? <laughs> I don't know where Larry came from either. Don't at me. It is 7 a.m. in your defense. You should probably get some rest, Arthas. You need to look after yourself. Please feel free to do your post-stream stuff. Get some food if you need be. You do not need to stick around. If you plan to swap it out, James, have you got an idea on who you plan to swap it out with? Not enough space. Oh, I somehow my character flipped around. All right, chat. I'm going to be right back very quickly. I'm going to go to the bathroom and do all that good stuff, so I will not be long. I shall return soon.
Hello! Hey, how's what's on? How's everyone doing? Thank you, Silver. Ugh. That scared you? Oh, I'm sorry. You do indeed hear, Bubby. Hello. I didn't think Burby was that scary. I saw we. You're off to bed. Good night, watermelon. Take it easy. Go to bed, bud. Do you even know what time it is for me as your meteora? Mr. Sneaky, hello. Better hide time? Yeah, you better time. You're in trouble. Sweetie, sweetie, time gonna get in trouble from the beauty. <sighs> ah! Yum, yum, yum. You plead the fifth. You are not innocent, you cannot plead the fifth. This is a murder trial, that does not work. You get British meeting, Ed? Huh? The hell even is that next? I've streamed for six hours straight. Uh, what? That that's means nothing. That means nothing. It's not even late for me. <laughs> Hell yeah, vamp. That's exciting. You get immunity if you snitch? No, you don't. You don't get immunity at all. This isn't the court of law. This is the court of burb. Not late, even though it's 11 p.m. That's not late. She's not late. She's not late at all. What do you mean? What are you talking about? All I'm doing is I'm looking for my green gas cloud. I do stream very often like this anyway. I know Azure Meteor is looking out for me though, but I promise you, I am good. I am healthy. I'm a cockatiel, not an owl. I mean, I didn't say I was an owl. Oh, but you're in referencing to the fact of me being awake, which probably means it's, uh, what do you call it? Nocturnal. Oh, I know what you mean. I'm not doing that, I swear, Silver. It's just his nickname? Ah, uh, not really, no. Mm-mm. Kind of ain't, Peon. Kind of ain't. It's not a nickname. It is not a nickname at all. I mean, we could go even further, because there's three types of Ganons. There is a third, known as Demise. Which is the anger of Ganon. Who needs sleep when you have caffeine, right? I wish caffeine worked for me like that, MA. I really do, but it doesn't. It sucks. Your jokes are suffering from lack of sleep. Then get some sleep, Maz. Get some West. Yeah, I don't know who your friend is telling you that it's just a nickname. It really isn't, Peon. Every single game where Ganon is a pig, that includes... Well, yeah, I'm saying Ganon because he is a pig. That includes... Uh, Oracle of Ages and Seasons, the original 1 and 2 Zelda games, uh, the stupid CDI game, which is hilarious... Um, actually, even Breath of the Wild has Ganon, which is fascinating. Then Ganondorf comes in Tears of the Kingdom. Um, 
What other game? What other game? What other game? Link to the Past. That's another where Ganon's in there. Uh, four Swords. Um, okay, I know that there's going to be other Ganons, but there's Ganon Dwarf, which you will find in Wind Waker. And, and when I say you find them, it's they literally named them this in the games. They literally named them this. Ocarina of Time is another one. Wasn't Four Swords Vati? Yeah, Vati uh, resurrects um, Ganon. Uh, spoiler alert, Mr. Snicky. <laughs> At the end of the game, Vati does it in order to resurrect Ganon. Since you studied Fate Watch Order? <laughs> it's... They are literally named that specifically. Like, whenever it's the, the demon, the demon king or pig, I just call it the pig, but time's kind of right, it is the demon. Um, also, we got a shiny, it's just not the one I want. It's always referred to as Ganon. Whenever it's anything to do with the human form, it is always Ganondorf. Always. The human is never referred to as Ganon, and the pig or the demon is never referred to as Ganondorf. Never. Anyways. I actually don't think I have a shiny Geo, dude. Or. I probably should soak him, should <coughs> shouldn't I? You know what? I don't need to get him low, low. Get low, get low, get low, get low, get low. Ah, thank you for the hydrate. Gotcha. Excellent. Oh, oh, oh! There's just a shiny coughing next to me? Hello? Go away. Go away. Why is there just a shiny coughing all of a sudden next to me? Are you serious? Yo! I catch one shiny to find a new shiny. Ah, uh, that is amazing. That is amazing. Ah, uh, I need to run because he has memento. Okay, let's save, let's save. Holy crap. The luck on that, like I turn around and all of a sudden coughing is there. And you've had your headphones in all night. That's a, that's a good thing, right, Tia? That is a good thing, yeah? You made that noise. <laughs> Wait, which one? Me getting really excited? I just love the fact that the shiny was right next to me as well. What? I'm allowed to get excited, Tia. Hey, 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 Tia, Tia. Want me to make it worse? Want me to make it really worse? You want me to make it worse? I can make it worse for you. I can make it so much worse for you. Want me to do that? <laughs> I'll be appropriate. I'll be appropriate. No mercy. I don't... I don't think people want me moaning in the microphone. ASMR is fine, but moaning in a microphone is probably not what people want. Because that would definitely be a whole new sus altogether. <laughs> wow. 
Well then, this is why I had to run away and save. This is why we run away and save, in case he used Memento, the cheeky little bugger. So how many shinies is this today now, chat? That's seven. That's seven in total. How you doing, parrots? Good to see you. Alright, take two. What was it that I went last time, chat? Oh, this one has neutralizing gas. Okay, now we're talking. Welcome back, Cub. Look, again, again, Silver, at least I'm not moaning in the mic. Full swipe, that should do the trick. My deep voice again? Do you not like it, Cobb? I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go for a nest ball for this one. This one, with neutralizing gas, is going to be my Galarian losing. Oh, me saying it is what you did you into the gutter, I see. Oh, you bastard. Immediately wakes up after turn one, and then frickin' mementos. It's damn well annoying. You like it very much, is that right? Well, you've had your minute of fun, everyone. <laughs> what do you mean, thank you for? Safety? Mm, that's so wrong about that so long. What's my favorite Naruto movie? I haven't watched a Naruto movie. I don't even watch Naruto. I've played Naruto. Uh, Ninja Storm 3 was great. But I uh, have not watched any Naruto shows. Yeah, me neither, Maz. Never watched it. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. False swipe, let's go! Was the one with Baruto? That would have been... One of the more recent ones. Pretty sure that came out not too long ago. One big old full swipe, and then we can use a ball to capture him. And because he's got neutralizing gas, I'd love to get a hold of him in a nest ball and send him over to be my Galarian Risen. Nest, nest, nest. Gotcha! Beautiful! We'll hold on to him for later. And I'll transfer him over through home. And now, the fact that I got two shinies back to back was great. Just gotta find one more. God, it's so rare that I ever get back to back shinies. I love that so much. Very, very happy. Okay, back to my old spot. I'll save it here. We just need one more coughing. I do have 40 minutes remaining until this outbreak vanishes, however. So hopefully we can get one more. There goes all my shiny luck for today. What, seven shinies? I'd like to hope not. Come on, I reckon we can push it just a little bit more. 
right? <laughs> Dirty. The noise they make, right? Dirty. See, Paris over here giving me shiny luck. Now nah, more shiny, exactly, more shiny. I'm gonna try for more shiny, don't you worry. All of them shiny. Made you start yawning like crazy, you need to relax. Get some sleep, Maz. You can damn me all you want, but as long as you get some sleep, sweetheart, look after yourself, okay? I hope you feel better soon too and not so stressed, lovely. Bye bye. Why is it that I can't open up my menu if I'm crouching? I feel like that's a really weird design choice in this game. Come on, one more coughing. Coughing. Kofefe? Got you a nice cup of warm mocha? Sounds delicious. I saw your crochet egg when I took a break, Relinthia. It looks so cute. Give my love to Hazy and Juddy for me. You take care of yourself. Thank you so much for hanging on out, you lovely bean. Bye bye. That's the wrong button. You're hoping the mocha will get you to get to sleep soon? Really? But Mocha's coffee. Why would that help you get to sleep? Loki bunny, get your fingies up in no head patties. Thank you so much for the gifted sub. You beautiful being, thank you so much for your support. I appreciate you so much. Welcome home, Yumi. Yumi, we're getting a whole bunch of shinies now. We're actually getting pretty darn lucky. Very happy with it too. So just one more coughing. Just one more. Alright, lucky 2000 reset chat. It has now been 2,000 soft resets for a shiny Heatran. Our luck has definitely not been on our side. Today with the shinies it has been, but not with the legendary. Definitely not with the legendary. And a roll! Wow, I got like no spawns for coughing there. All these other big swarms of Pokemon, the groups have just taken all the spawn slots up. That's a little better. Maybe I might walk over here just a tad. Just try and prevent any more random spawns coming in. I think we should be able to get the coughing. 
I reckon we should be able to. The resets are catching up in years. <laughs> they sure are. I don't think we're going to be able to get over it. We've gotten seven shinies today, Yumi. Hunting's going good. Hunting is going very good. What actually happened before was we found a shiny Geodude. It was a phased hunt, but I was like, oh, whatever. It's shiny's a shiny. Let's grab the shiny. After we caught it, shiny coughing sitting right behind me, just chilling. So we got very lucky there. Okay, I see the fact that there's two coughings, like three coughings up there. So maybe I need to look around a little bit and just be mindful. Yeah, luck's been good, Carissa. Very, very happy with the luck. Did someone clip it? I did. Whether or not if it shows up when I clip things, I don't know, but it's it's I clipped it. You got seven on your first day of joining the stream. I remember that. I was your little lucky charm, wasn't I? It's about time I get some of my shiny luck back. <laughs> I have been meaning to get it. You want to see it? It'll be there. It'll be there. Most recent clip. Shouldn't be too hard to find. But while I have a whole bunch of people here, I want to ask you all, what would you like to see in the streams in the coming future? Just be open and honest. I just want to know what, what are the things you look forward to? Do you want more redeems? Do you want something specific? I just want to hear what you guys have to say. Because April will be the best time to get things up and running and done and dusted. So I want to be able to do that for you all. For me to be happy and healthy. Okay, but like... From a content creator standpoint, that's not going to draw people. <laughs> I want to make sure that you guys are having fun. Because look, let's be real. I know some of you will actually hang around for like the entire duration of 6 hours and 27 minutes, but that's not everyone. So some people will pop in, they might get bored and they might leave. So what are some things that might make people want to hang out longer? That's what I'm curious about. Maybe community games. I do plan to do that. I do plan to do that. A bajillion doubloons? I mean, look, if I was rich... If I was rich, I wouldn't be have asking this type of question. <laughs> Watching people have fun is captivating? I definitely have fun, but I also want to make sure you all have fun. That's the important thing, because you guys do matter to me. Absolutely. So anything big or small, no need to be shy. But I do plan to do some horror games. I, I did take a lot of the suggestions you guys had over in the Discord as well. So I plan to do a lot of stuff. Come April, that's what we're going to be focusing on. Pokemon Scarlet or Sword? Scarlet. Come join me, Yumi. I know you want to. Maybe some cosplay outfits for me. Uh, believe it or not, I've been thinking about that. Now, this is where... This is my fault here. Whenever I've thought of designs or cosplay outfits for myself, Silver, I've always been like, okay, let's not make them for this model. Let's do it for the 2.0. Always the 2.0. Let's do it for the 2.0. 2.0. Do it for the 2.0. So I'm going to be focusing on the 2.0 a little bit. And hopefully we can do that so that I can have all of those cosplay outfits for you guys. That is the plan. Especially if there's a lot of jump scares. <laughs> well, that's where I come in. So hopefully, you can watch me do a lot of horror games. Maybe more redeems. I could absolutely do that. I'm going to be working on more emotes. and I. But that's just it. What are the redeems going to be, though, more? I, I want to do more redeems. But I want to know what will the redeems be. 
Because without a doubt, more redeems, more emotes, hands down. That is the plan. That is what I want to achieve. Because your hands become vice grips when you get jump scared. <laughs> That's understandable. A pretty, pretty understandable reaction, Jabacon, without a doubt. You have a milky outbreak? <laughs> uh, you'd like that, wouldn't you, Yumi? Well, it sounds like you got to reset it. Actually, let me just very quickly check up top. I don't see any shinies there. And Squirtle. Squirtle's a good one. Do you have the Squirtle evolutionary line, Yumi? Auto redeems? Auto redeems, Carissa? In hopes to jump scare me. Audio redeems. Okay, well, actually, there is some. There is some, Carissa. Uh, they're tied to donations. Yeah, we, we do have some of those. They are tied to donations. You can find them in the About Me section down below. Just the war total from S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh. Yes, Hop. <laughs> it has... Hop is such a weird freaking rival, Nex. Really, really is just a weird rival. I miss the days when we had jerk rivals. They were way better. You have a record? Oh, damn, Loki Bunny. So if I was to ever stream a horror game, you probably would be absent. I do want to do some horror games, though. It's been a while. It's been too long, actually. Nothing coughing there. How am I going? I've got 26 minutes remain. It's still possible to get the shiny in this time frame. Very, very possible. What games do I have in mind regarding, like, horror? Um, some of the games I really want to do are, like, I'm on Observation Duty. There's this one where it's kind of, um, you're in a, a train subway... And you've got to look for distortions and find the correct exit. I think it's called Exit 8. Uh, there's a... Don't Scream, it's called. Bunch of jump scares. You cannot make a noise in your microphone or you die. So, some some games as ideas for like that. Doesn't mean you don't want to watch it. You build up an immunity to FNAF. FNAF's one that I've got to do as well. What rival from Pokemon would you spend a day with? Uh, a day with? An actual rival? I'd say Wally or May. Uh, the, the Gen 3 at the very least. Maybe more so May, I would say. May's a good one. I hate the fact that I've got all those dogs over there. I'm the male Torchic? Oh, okay. Yeah, same here, Ninja Bacon. Same here. He was my favorite too. Got your headphones and your pen? Good girl. Now you get to enjoy everything at work. Where they turn up to max so any sound or something closing the door in the living room away stream gets person unalive. See, that sucks. I wouldn't want to do that. It should absolutely be a noise from my microphone. Directly. Nothing from anywhere else. <laughs> This is true. This is true. It's as Yumi says, this is absolutely true. 
Mass hug. Oh, look at the cuddle pile. <laughs> That's cute. You need all the boobies. Cut down. <laughs> you can only think of three games, but you're sure there are more? There'll definitely be plenty. And there's all the time in the world to keep trying on different ones, you know? So this doesn't feel like there's enough. Maybe there's some up there? I don't know. Not from what I can see. Boop. Time for Huggies. Time for Huggies, Silver. Do, 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 do. Get my game on. Getting my game on. Don't you worry about that, Sliffer. Welcome on in. How you doing? The game's not doing a whole lot while we're shiny hunting this coughing, though. Talking about rhythm games, one was a horror mod. Oh. What happens if you fail? Do you just get jump scared on it? I'm willing to bet that's going to be the case. Ugh, God damn it! Come on, let me see. Any coughing up there? Nope. We have... 12... Wait, 12? No, 22 minutes remaining, not 12. You just realized... What did you realize, Ami? I realize a lot of things. You just realize the reference? Ah! Wish there was a faster way that I could do that rather than just doing this all the time. Besides running around. I mean, running around makes sense. But I'm lazy. Okay, no shiny coughing there. I'm definitely going to have to try and do a Feebas with a sandwich. Once I get the outbreak, that is. All right. I wonder if we'll get the shiny before 2024. Did you realize that you can just go and buy a birthday cake and eat it all by yourself and not share it with nobody can stop you? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. I would absolutely do that with a red velvet. Something that co-op or whatever so you can try and scare you? Hmm. What's a co-op horror game? There's a few, but some of them are similar to, like, DBD and stuff like that. But what would be a good horror game for that? Chat, does anyone know of multiplayer horror games? Protest, hello, how you doing? Red Velvet, you've never had a Red Velvet cake, Loki? Beautiful, beautiful type of cake. Rainbow Friends, is that actually a thing? Is that actually a game? Like a horror game called Rainbow Friends? I feel like you're pulling my leg. I'm doing all right, protest. Thanks for asking. Very, very busy, but I'm doing all right. It really is? Okay, I'll check it out. First thing that comes to mind is Roblox. Yeah, I'm not so sure I'm too keen on Roblox. Phasmophobia? Ugh. Nah, Phasmophobia is not great. Same same with um, Demonologist. These are things that both me and Yaddy are immune to. Demonologist, Phasmophobia... I mean, there's the back rooms. Can't scare you in those? Nah, you can't. Fear. 
Ah, uh, you're not wrong, Protest, but I don't really find fear, and it's only fear three, that's a multiplayer, is really scary because you get a gun. <laughs> Fun game, though. I love the story of fear. Good morning, Joey. It's good to see you. I hope you're well. Ah, who am I kidding? You're doing fantastic, as you always are. What's your plan for the day, Joey? Try without the gun. How? How could you do it? Resident Evil. Is there a multiplayer of Resident Evil? Wait. Hold up. Hold up. Give me a second, chat. Okay, I thought maybe the puppies may have been shiny. Uh, I'm definitely wrong on that. Yeah, no, I thought the Hound Dowers were shiny for a second. I was about to get very excited, not gonna lie. There's Resident Evil 5. Ugh, no, thank you. Cult of the Lamb. That's not horror. It's fun, but it's not horror. Minecraft. Fuck off. <laughs> Call of Cthulhu. I do have Call of Cthulhu, but I thought that was just single player. Unless, I mean, my Call of Cthulhu is a really, really old one. Maybe there's a new one. That's multiplayer. When we don't know horror games. <laughs> Happy Tree Friends. That's not a horror, and that is a great cartoon. Devour. Eh, maybe. No, I want to. I want to find a real proper good horror game that really fucks with you. Like an amnesia esque multiplayer would be great. Happy Tree Friends is a horror. Don't know what I'm talking about. Definitely not a horror. What about Hide and Shrek? No. No, that's a meme. <laughs> Flippy was your favorite. Hmm. Actually, Tia, no. Tia, you often talk about a lot of horror games. I would love to get a list from you. Could you send me a list of all types of horror games to play? Um, any, a single player and multiplayer alike. Uh, see if you can separate them if they're multiplayer as well. Uh, but I'd love to hear the ones that you would love to see, Tia, because I know that you're a great resource for that. Poppy Playtime multiplayer. There is a multiplayer for Poppy's Playtime? Oh, no, I've heard of that, actually, now that I think about it more. Yeah, no, it's it's called something. I, oh, I don't remember what it is. But Poppy Playtime is also one that I need to play. Like, I would love to do all three Poppy Playtime games together, back to back. Do a bit of a horror night. I appreciate you, Tia. Thank you so much. Chapter 3 is a great horror. I haven't seen anything for Chapter 3. I've seen Chapter 2 and 1. And I reckon I'll be able to handle it. It's called Project Playtime. That's right. Thank you, Time. Mm, no promises, Silver. I'll just make you a little bit more scared. Because you want to know what happens. I know that you'll cling to me the more scared that you are. Bonus points for me. It's a win-lose situation. I win, you lose. Ow. You know a lot of horror games, but don't remember them. When you're put on the spot, it's really hard to remember them, isn't it, More. It really is difficult, without a doubt. Ugh. Thank you for the hydrate. So, Ami, how are you finding being over here on Twitch? In comparison, Kaizo Mario, that's not a horror, but someone has suggested me to play that. Any and all, Tia. Any and all. I'll take them all. 
You shut your pants in Among Us? Among Us is definitely a community game. I wouldn't call that a horror. Plus, my chat would be terrified when I start playing that. <laughs> oh, I know Kaizo Mario will make me suffer. I've seen it. I'm not good with the Kaizo Mario stuff. And as much as I could practice, I'm probably going to fail miserably. That is the wrong button. All right, I've got 13 minutes to find a shiny. Still possible, but time is running short. Much more fun here. I imagine it would be. The interactivity is a lot better. Ever thought about doing a, being a voice actor? So many people tell me to be a voice actor. The, the issue with it is, one, someone needs to hire me. Two, who would want to hire me? Three, where do I begin? Where do I even go? As much as I would love it, protest, don't get me wrong, I'd love to be a voice actor. It's just, I've never had any opportunities of where someone would want to use my voice, you know? I'd be a great villain? I don't know about that. Well, I guess I could be a good villain. There's many things that I could probably do. There is no way that's enough coughing. I suppose that's a lot of puppies and piggies and whatnot over there, so maybe they're taking up all the spawn points. Maybe make a TikTok post villain lines? Maybe. Maybe. But how would someone message... Uh, can people message me on TikTok unless I follow them back? I don't know, but maybe you're right, Protess. Maybe you are right. There has been that whole Asterian thing where I've mentioned I was going to, like, take some voice lines from Asterian and just change it into that. So maybe little tests and whatnot from there. You can start with Fiverr. I, I, I don't know, can I? Look, shy and anxiety, like, how do I set up the Fiverr? Will people even want to do it? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. Could link my email. Email's linked. Email is linked. I do have, like, a bunch of business things, but I think I need to actually put it on my TikTok now, I think about it. He train encounters are catching up. Yes, they are. They are. Four more. Four more. Three more. Sorry, three more. Apologies. Madara's speech on stream. Madara Uchiha is what I'm assuming you're referring to. I don't even know how he talks, let alone his own voice lines. There is SCP games as well. What does SCP stand for more? I am silly bird. You need to be a bit more blunt with me. Abbreviations are not my strong point. Madara, do you reckon I'd make a sexy Madara to you? Say nothing. Good day, sir. Ten minutes remaining. Secure, contain, protect. Oh. Yeah, I would not have known what SCP was going to reference. So that's just chat then. I'm going to secure chat. I'm going to contain chat. And then I'm going to protect chat. So can I say... Do I need to do it in an inflection or anything? Or do you just want... This is not the power of your creation. Something like that. Like, I don't know the inflection. I don't know the context. I can say what I see. But whether or not if, like, it's going to be appropriate for what, like, the scene was, that's another thing entirely. Mm. 
Maybe a different villain. Eh, it depends. Do you reckon I'd suit Sephiroth to you? Imagine that. Imagine me doing Sephiroth. There are games, but a bit more free riding. Hmm, maybe. Can I try Joker? Absolutely not. I cannot do Joker whatsoever. Mark Hamill will always be amazing. And there is no way that I would ever be able to top that. Would suit the Green Goblin? Fuck, of all the villains to get, I get Green Goblin. <laughs> Best Joker ever. He really was. Can I try to do Sound Like Stitch? Hell, I don't really know the voices in that Stitch does. I just know that he sounds a little like this. Also has a multi one. What's a multi one? I can do freaking Gollum. Uh, Gollum's always a bit tricky because it takes me a little bit to adjust to it before I actually start getting it correct. But it's it's a little similar to Stitch. Like, <clears throat> let's see if I can do it. Um. Are we doing voices? That we're doing voices, Yeti. We're doing voices. So, okay, Golem. <clears throat> I always feel a bit nervous when I try and do Golem, but I know I can do it well. Oh, oh, oh! Hold on. Hold the thought. Hold that thought. We've got a shiny. Okay, let's save. Brassus has found a shiny he has. Stupid, silly fucking coffins. Beautiful will be my precious. Save, don't worry, I saved. I know it has memento. The shiny made you sneeze. My precious. You're surprised that they did not try to self-destruct. They probably have self-destruct, but memento is just as bad. Can I do Dobby? Uh Dobby, 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 Dobby. Oh, um. Like, I don't know what to say half the time. Uh, how would I even do Dobby? The master has given Dobby sock. One spore left. Yes, I will have to go to Pokemon Center to heal it. Nah, I don't think I can really do Dobby all that well. But I do know who I can do very well. Queen, hello. Well, laugh. Uh, Excuse me, coffin. There we go. It is fine. Turns out that it has explosion as well as memento. Thank goodness that I ended up saving. How am I not a voice actor? I, I don't know. I don't know, protest. It's not really something I've... Again, I... Voice acting's not an easy thing to get into. Let you leave. Why do you want to leave? Bad bird, bad... What do you... What? What's wrong with it? Do you have... Do you have a Professor Snape kink? Do I have a Pokemon with damp ability? I do. I do. Uh... Wait, where's the shiny gone? Something tells me I have to back off really quickly. Okay, yeah, no, uh, I have to close, retry. Kind of important issue. Can I do The Simpsons? Uh, apparently people say that my laugh giggle sounds similar to uh, Homer's. Zero! Hello Raiders, how you doing? 
The shiny was the friends we made along the way. Warp to Pokemon, hello Zero. Welcome on in Raiders, if you're new to my channel, my name's Ducky, I'm a variety streamer from Australia. You're just in time as we're failing miserably to try and catch a shiny coughing who is exploding in my face. Hello there, Skull. How was Halo Infinite? Rico, good to see you. How you doing, guys? Beat the game? Me? No? No? I don't, I don't... Wait, what do you mean beat the game? There he is. There's the shiny. Beautiful. All right. Hopefully he stays asleep this time. Hopefully he stays asleep. I don't want him to go kaboom, but he will go kaboom. You want a decent amount of matches? Oh, you're doing multiplayer. Yeah. Thought as much. Hey, uh, mods. I thought this would be the case. All right, I've just seen your messages now. It's, uh, Miku, uh, mods. Latest person who joined, and I even I suspected this person, to be honest. Can we get rid of them? Uh, scammer bot at the moment. Uh, Capricorn is the name I'm looking for. Thank you, Yeti. All right, so we're going to put this one in a heal ball. Also, we can tag this off because this is 422. Wrong copy message, Rico? <laughs> Rip. Phone anime, believe a voice actor as well as a teacher or mentor role model. Wait, me, Tia? Nah, no way. Thank you for that, Miku. I definitely appreciate that. Oh, don't you ex... Ooh, Destiny Bond. Okay, gotta be careful with that one. So, he has Destiny Bond, Memento, Explosion. What the hell's his last move? Last one. This will be fine. My voice gave that type of role? I guess so then, I guess so. Yeah. Yeah, definitely message myself all the mods. Someone who's available in order to do it. Okay, get into a heal ball and stay there. But do, uh, but again, Miku, thank you so much for bringing it to my attention, lovely. There we go. No, I'm not going to master ball it. It's a heal ball. Okay, now, question is, does it have a... Actually, do any of them have a mark? We never checked. No mark there. With an adamant nature. Ooh, we do have a mark. We have the rainy mark for this one. Cool, cool. Oh, we've even got one for this one. Lunchtime. And no mark for the last one. All right, so we're going to skip the coughing second last on the bottom there, but we're going to evolve the very bottom one. And... Extra large candy. And we'll get our next wheezing. What was the moose set? Oh, I do need to look that up, don't I, Ninja Bacon? I know, Nex. I know. Do not stress. Breathe, Nex. Breathe. Wants to learn double hit? Nah, I'm not interested. All right, Weezing. What moves do you have? Destiny, Bond, Memento, Explosion, and Belch. Yeah, so it had three unaliving skills. <laughs> well, technically two unaliving skills, and one was a different one. Actually, I don't even know why I'm moving around. We'll save that here. And I'm going to be lazy anyway, because I've got so many things here. Done. PP restored. Hate to raid and run? No, do not worry about it, Zero. As someone who is a fellow streamer, I understand that you need to do your post-stream stuff, so please, by all means, do what you need to do, but thank you again for bringing your wonderful community in over here. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'll go grab... I'm gonna grab the... nice little thing over here. And... Outbreaks are about to reset, so we got the last shiny just in time. 
I do need to do timber. We're not going to be able to do it. I am curious. What are our outbreaks going to be today? It's a horrible coughing. I think it's very true to its name. Can you get my shiny luck now? Nah. Nah, it's all mine, Yumi. What was that? It's... We got three coughings, three Snivy, so that's six. We got a Geodude, that's seven. We got a Pinchurch, and that's eight. Uh, yeah, we got eight Shinies. Solid. Absolutely solid. There we go. All right. Outbreaks have now changed and dispersed. What did we get? Knockdown, don't need it. Don't need it. Don't need it. Ah, uh, what else have we got here? I need... No, don't need to pig. Don't need you. Don't need you. <laughs> this is good. Every single outbreak that we've seen, we've got. Don't need you. I don't need you because I've already got you, but I need your pre-evolves. But thankfully, the uh, uh, the the event that's coming out soon uh, will be able to sort that for us. Um, I've got Dashbun. Charkadet's the only one I kind of don't have, and he's near a cliff face, so I don't like that. Yeah, out of all the outbreaks, there is a single outbreak that I do not have. Oh, I've already saved Miku, don't you worry. I've already saved. Yeah, no, I've, I've already saved. But what I do need to do, we need to do this. So I need to transfer him over to Sword and Shield. So let's back out. We'll save again because I need them saved in the boxes. All right, let's jump over to Pokemon Home. How much time did it take for me to set up the bird VTuber thing? Um, It's kind of been an ongoing process. It took me about three weeks of working nonstop to really, like, get the base kind of skeleton uh, up and running protests. And then slowly over time, things have just been, like, evolved, added, and all that jazz. And currently, I'm now making a 2.0 version. So, yeah, there you go. That's what I'm doing. Three weeks. It was in the very early times. I was feeling so inspired to do it too, Tia. I had a lot of fun. It was great. All right, let's access by it. Put all the shinies in home. Um, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Here we go. Here's all our shinies. Yep. So these two guys will go in. They'll be somewhere here. Where would they live? There they are. I see them straight away. Perfect. They're in. Um. Snivy. Snivy's black and white, yeah? With Oshawott and all that. So he goes there. Uh, Pinchurchin is Sword and Shield. No! Damn it! Hold on. I'll come back to that later. Uh... Wait a minute. Wrong spot. Wrong spot. No, right spot. Ah! Pinchurchin. There it is. And get our little Pinchy. Oh, whoopsie. Pinchy. There we are. Just double checking. I'm pretty sure that's the right spot, yeah? You can cancel name change with X. Oh, thank you for the heads up, Silver. Yes. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. 
And lucky last, I am going to stick my coughing in there, just cause. And Geodude. Gen 1. Right here. Save and exit. Oh, big stretch. <sighs> okay, done. Saved. Jumping back in, we're going to go into Pokemon Sword. And while that's happening, I'm going to swap over the cartridges. We're going to send our coughing into the game. So, I remember he was down at the end somewhere. He's not going to be in the null. Here, here we are. Okay. Stick him right, whoopsie, right at the end here. Organization is good. Damn straight. Yeah, that's fine. Save and exit. I know he's going to relearn some new stuff. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Time, you wouldn't believe how long it took me to actually organize my Pokemon as well. <laughs> I really needed to organize them big time. Okay, good. Saved. Let's jump into Sword. And it's time to evolve our Coughing into a Galarian Weezing so that we have him shiny. Tell you what, I'm on a roll. What's it, what's it, what's it? <laughs> Raccoon God, hello, how you doing? Oh right, I actually need to be outside in order to fast travel. Ah, itchy nose. Oh, more likely can't be played on Twitch. What is it though, Tia? Tell me all the things. You're getting EP? It's alright. I'll be ending very shortly, Silver. I'm doing very good, Raccoon God. Our shiny luck has been amazing. Eight shinies today have been solid. Ugh, itchy, itchy. Dead of Night is the name of the game? Oh, Deadly Night. I thought you'd been at Dead of Night, which I, it is a horror game. Deadly Night. I'm curious. Got Ultra Sun a couple of days ago. Hell yeah. Currently doing soft resets over at Ultra Sun myself at the moment, Raccoon God. Trying to get a shiny Heatran. Not really succeeding all that well. There's our coughing. Oh, hold on. I'll swap it out because that's a shiny Mushana. And now let's go into my bag, because we can put the Mushana also in the Pokemon Home decks. Ah, uh, food, 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 food. One extra large candy coming right up for the coughing. And that should transform him into a Galarian coughing. There we go, look at him. It's a normal scary game, sounds good to me. So when's the next Lethal Company stream? Good question, Protess. Um, typically during collaborations, but I do plan to do some collaborations during April with a whole bunch of different friends. So maybe around that month. Trying to get Ray shiny Rayquaza, but still figuring out how to do the Groudon problem. <laughs> Groudon's giving you issues, is it? Check the boxes. There we go. No, wrong one. Oh, I'm, I'm button mashing too quickly. Are you a friend for a collab? Absolutely, Yaddy. Why wouldn't you be? All right, done and dusted. Let's jump into home. Let's put our last two shinies in there.
You know our plan? Yeah. Yeah. But that's not to say that we can't do other things too. Yeah, because you need it in your party too when you're hunting the Rayquaza, don't you? We will be time. We will be time. Soon. Just gotta wait. Indeedy, indeed we do. So, bounce here. Here's our two shinies. Now, Mushana is black and white. Aha! Found it! Right there. Right here. Right now. Right here. Right now. Okay, from memory, it was there, yeah? Did I get it right? I did indeed. Perfect. Alright, let's go. Where's our Galarian forms? Here's our, here's our form decks. So all our shinies that are different forms, you can go in there as well. And that's pretty much it. Save. I'm so handsome. Queen, stop. You're gonna make me blush. How could you say such things? All right, and we are done. And with that, we are going to finish the night off as well. So, I know someone immediately that I want to raid into, and I want to go say hi. We're going to go say hello to a lovely viewer of ours who's decided to start streaming a little bit, and I've actually been enjoying myself in their stream. So, let's go say hello to Vamp. Thanks, everyone, for being here. I hope you had a wonderful time. I have to. I've got so much work to do, Yumi. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but I've got her. I will hopefully catch you guys tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to take tomorrow off, depending on how busy I am, but I've got things to do. Talk to you later, and I will see you in the future. Till next time, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>